Welcome to Jesus Revelation Ministries. We are a learning people. We are students of the scriptures. We are addicted to sound doctrine. We are very, very much as two students and subscribers to this position that scriptures are infallible. There is no contentions about that. There are no equivocations about that. There are no points of departure as far as our faith is concerned. That's why we have subscribed also to the sola scriptura position. Our doctrine should always be based on scripture. We seek to know nothing else but Jesus Christ and Him crucified. It's all about Jesus Christ. All the scriptures are written about Jesus. John chapter 5, yes. verse 39. John chapter 5, verse 45 to 47. Yes. All the scriptures will show you yes. that they were written about Christ. He is our only focus. He is our only Savior and Redeemer. We are His people, His chosen. We are redeemed by His blood. That is why we seek to know Him. And the preacher will teach us more today about Him. Jesus is a mystery hidden in the scriptures. So we read the scripture and Jesus interprets the scripture through the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. One needs revelation to know him. Revelation is given by the Holy Spirit. The gospel comes from God. Mm -hmm. God is the source. Yes of the gospel. Yes. The Holy Spirit only gives it to a minister. We speak as instructed by God. So we shall sit down to learn. We shall be taught by the servants of the Lord the revelation of Jesus Christ. Fast passing by. Just then, we had a, an exciting Sunday service, and without us realizing, it's already midweek. We are already in the middle of the week. They say that time flies when you are having fun, and you don't actually realize that time is gone. So, we are already in the midweek service because we are having fun. We are still. Uh, chewing and enjoying and reminiscing of the events that happened on Sunday, uh, the teachings that we received, very, very, very profound teachings. But now we are in the midweek service already and we are here to learn about God one more time. I am reminded of the book of Isaiah chapter 40, verses 30 and 31. Isaiah chapter 40 Verses 30 and 31, even the youths shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. Verse 31, but, but they, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Those people are those that fear the Lord, those that wait upon the Lord are the elect. Those that wait upon the Lord are them whose names were written in the book of life before the foundation of the world. And those people are in the New Testament, in the ark. Those people are us. What a privilege, brethren. Welcome to our midweek service this evening, Central African time. We welcome you uh, to this service. It's going to be an exciting service one more time. And I know that there are some people in the in, in the Danun section there in, in Cape Town. That's a section where 
I really would love to go and stay. <laughs> <laughs> I like to go and stay in the Tanun section. By the way, I haven't been to, to, to Tanun before, but <laughs> but I would like to stay there uh, regardless. And uh, I welcome all those in the Cape, uh, Cape Town Assembly, uh, stress by section, uh, Joe Beck Assembly, them people, they are always, Cape Town and Chopek, they always come through the Zoom platform. Uh, they, 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 they are very dominant there. So I really would like to welcome you uh, to our midweek service today. All the people in Mtora Shanga, Karoi, uh, in our motherland, Zimbabwe, uh, I welcome you, Marondera, Muriko Ereuko, Marlborough Section, uh, Muriko Ere, Glenview, uh, Warren Park session, Moriko I like. I really want to welcome you to our midweek service, and uh, the rest of the people in the world who are following us, us via live, live stream, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. And with me here, I've got uh, our usual faces here. Uh, Pastor Erengui, uh, Linjani Pastor. <laughs> Believers all over the world, wherever we are, not in the Mwari, Tasanga na Shakari, Pangwea Tineke Tichidzidza, Shoko Tri Pamwechete, Tichikurukura, Pamsoropa, Shatineke Taka Zidza, Kunyanyanya Pam Midweek, uh, this is the time when we always review our sermons and uh, try and find out, get the feedback from you, how the word got into you, how much blessed were you, how much edified were you by the sermon, and how much went into our social stomachs. So I really want to thank God we, we, we are going to have that time today. Eh, inyasha kuvatiri pamwechete vadikani when we get this opportunity to hear from the Lord and to get the opportunity to chew the bones together or even to testify what we would have learned during the week, especially on our Sunday services. Uh, I'm so grateful to God. Uh, the gift of an uh, apostolic assignment among us, the us. Uh, I don't know how much we should thank God for that gift. When I heard Apostle Paul saying in Acts chapter 20, verse 20, he, he, it's a scripture which is ministering something to me when I look at our own apostle, it says, And how I kept back nothing that was profitable unto you. Wait there, Elder. How I kept back nothing that was profitable unto you. Mm -hmm. We are seeing this, brethren, among us, that the apostle doesn't keep anything back. Each time when he has something profitable to us, profitable uh, unto us, mm. he, he, he doesn't look at his time yeah. <laughs> to say today is Monday or today is Tuesday. Mm. Uh, what if I can see in him, we, it's like, <laughs> what if any mischief would happen <laughs> before telling these people. Then you hear there's a special service. Yes. Then you hear there's an all-night service. Yes. Then you hear there's a wedding feast. Then you hear there's a revelation gathering. So I was looking at it and saying, Lord, this is what an apostle is. He doesn't keep back whatever is profitable unto mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. Even if it's uh, something which is like bonds or no nature, but as long as it is profitable unto us, as long as it edifies our souls, as long as it makes us that clean church, mm. 
which is sanctified. Yes. As long as that word sanctifies us, he doesn't hold back. Yes. He, he, he does it, and he said, just to finish it up, Elder. But he have showed, and how I kept nothing that was profitable unto you, but he have showed you, and he have taught you publicly, mm -hmm. and from house to house. Verse 21. Testifying both to the Jews mm -hmm. and also to the Greeks, yes. mm -hmm. repentance towards God mm -hmm. and faith toward our Lord Jesus Christ. What was he testifying, Elder? Mm -hmm. What is it that we are getting from the Apostle? Mm -hmm. He's teaching us. Yes. And I've taught you publicly. Yes. And from house to house, we look at it. There are people right now watching us from that house. You are watching it. <laughs> And from that house, I know you are there. Yes. And from that, uh, whatever place where you are, the word is getting to you house to house. Mm. And what is this word doing? It is testifying both to the Jews and yes. also to the Greeks. Yes. Yes. Repentance toward God yes. and faith toward our Lord Jesus. Mm. Mm. So uh, this is what I wanted to share with you, brethren, that each time when I look at the grace that the Lord has bestowed upon us, I never cease to wonder and say, Lord, we thank you. That's all we can say because we don't have more words that would explain our gratitude towards this grace. Mm. Every day we are learning. Every day we are hearing mm. something that leaves us with that repentant heart to say, Lord, I didn't know all this. And uh, as I was listening, Pastor Juma uh, giving, uh, speaking with you, brethren, I remembered am I saying, <laughs> we Gentiles, we would say, it's our motherland. <laughs> <laughs> it's our motherland. <laughs> but because we are Gentiles, yes. this is what we are used yes, to. But me. when we were being taught, the, 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 the Jews don't say our motherland. <laughs> <laughs> they say our fatherland. Our fatherland. <laughs> <Amen. laughs> yes. 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 We are learning new things every day, and every day we are enjoying in the Word. And I don't know how to say it, brethren, and you are going to say it in your own words to the Lord, how much you appreciate this grace. I am so grateful to God, Pastor. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Pastor. Thank you for that uh, observation, and thank you for that correction. Thank you for the, for the, the, the grace of God. That, that has been bestowed upon us, his beloved. And it's just so amazing. Uh, Jeremiah, when he was lamenting yes. in, in, in chapter 3 of Lamentations, mm. uh, verses 22 and 23, it's an amazing scripture. Yes. Uh, Pastor. It says, it is of the Lord's mercies yes. that we are not consumed yes. because his compassions fail his not. His compassions do not fail. Yes. 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 They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. The Lord's compassions are new every morning. Yes. Because the Lord is faithful. Yes. Great is thy faithfulness, O oh Lord. And so we are thankful to God for the apostolic grace, the apostolic assignment uh, that was given to our mother, Apostle Tia Chiwenga. And we are the beneficiaries of that assignment. We are the beneficiaries of that grace. And uh, I am reminded also of Romans chapter 1, verse 11. Mm -hmm. Romans chapter 1, verse 11, mm -hmm. when we're talking about this apostolic grace. Uh, there it comes, for I long to see you mm -hmm. that I may impart unto you some spiritual gift oh, yes. to the end you may be established. Oh, yes. Ah, we thank God, Pastor. We thank God, Pastor. <laughs> I'm just remembering that I said Nabal instead of Nabot. Nabot. Yes, yes. <laughs> I wanted to say Nabot. He refused with his fatherland. <laughs> yes, yes. But yes, Pastor, every time the, 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 the apostle comes to us, we know that yes. he is coming to impart yes. upon us some spiritual gift yes. so that we may be established. Mm. And we are being established in the doctrine of Christ day, yes. every single day 
because of that apostolic grace. And uh, brethren, before I bring in our next panelist here, I'm going to let you know that very, very shortly, we are going to invite you to come through the Zoom platform and to come through our WhatsApp platform with your testimonies on the recently taught message, the puzzler gesture. We'll be discussing that tonight. Please get excited. Get into your laptops. <laughs> get into your iPads. Get on your phones. Uh, get your egg together and come through on the Zoom platform and come through on the WhatsApp platform with your testimonies on the Pezalai gesture. And uh, at this moment in time, I'm going to welcome uh, one of our usual faces in the studio, Elder Jeremiah. Thank you, Pastor. Uh, greetings, brethren. We thank God for today. Uh, indeed, we are always uh, thankful to the Lord. We are always happy because of the love of Lord, the Lord. The Lord loved us. So, brethren, we must not rejoice in, in, in iniquity, mm. but let us rejoice in the truth. Yes. Uh, John 17, verse 17 says, Sanctify them through thy tr truth. Yes. Thy word is truth. Yes. Yeah. So, I know you Zikla guys, the revealed word. So, brethren, we should always uh, adhere to the teachings that we are having. Uh, Apostle Paul in 2 Corinthians chapter 7, from verse 8. Uh, yes, he says, For though I made you sorry with a letter, Yes. I do not repent. Yes. Though I did repent, for I perceive that the same epistle has made you sorry, though it were but for a season. So you see, Pastor, yes. we are having teachings, mm -hmm. and we can hear the children are saying, these teachings are heavy. Mm -hmm. And yeah. some uh, are expected to make corrections mm -hmm. yes. that in a obedience to the Lord, mm -hmm. they may be uncomfortable mm -hmm. to them. But because they are now children of the Lord, yes. they will have to obey to these teachings. Mm -hmm. So we see the, yeah, that Apostle Paul was rebuked the Corinthian church in the episodes that he had wrote before. And he's saying, for though I had made you sorry mm -hmm. with a letter. Yes. 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 nine. Now I rejoice, not that you were made sorry, yes. but that you sorrowed to repentance. You see now, so for, Apostle Paul is now happy. Yes. That in as much as I made you sorry, mm -hmm. but now I rejoice. Mm. Yeah. Why did the Apostle Paul rejoice? It was because they sorrowed to repentance. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this is what Apostle Paul wanted. This is what he wanted at the end of the day. I'm going to teach, I'm going to write a letter to the Corinthians. And they might be sorrowful, they might be affected by this letter, but the end is, I want a repentance Amen. from Amen. them. Amen. So Amen. the apostle is now rejoicing. Mm -hmm. This is what we expect from believers. Yes. Could, of all the teachings mm -hmm. that we're being taught, yes. we should hear Apostle Chuenga saying, now I rejoice yes. because you sorrowed, yes. you yes. sorrowed unto repentance. So he's now deriving the joy from seeing that indeed the believers have listened to the teachings, have obeyed the word of the Lord. Yes. And now we have believers who are now walking in truth and not in the comfort of the lusts of their flesh. Because you will find that most of these things, it is just because of the flesh. Yes. Yes. And yes. as we were learning in the Basilis gesture, we mm Mm -hmm. uh, it mm -hmm. depicted our Lord being poor yes. uh, by him coming in the flesh. Mm -hmm. yes. So, But our Lord, uh, mm -hmm. being in that state, yes. Yes. so we are being taught yeah. to have the same mind yes. as that was in our Lord yes. Jesus. And so that overcome yes. these weaknesses, uh, the Lord loved us. Uh, Pastor Ereng, you talked about X 2020. Mm. <laughs> Indeed, a apostle we can see good. Uh, <laughs> 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 and we are all amazed yes. each and every day. We are being edified. We thank God. But at the end of the day, 
it is also an issue good after nda komborero inini wacho my way of life iri kuburitsa ire pachena kuti indeed i am being empowered i am being edified eh, my exhortations are kuya my admonitions are kuya is it true that i am now a child of god mm. because the way i live now it must be i must be an open book mm. i must be a light in the world for yeah. other people to see that indeed there are people who fear god mm. there are people who worship god in truth and in spirit was mm. kumashere nzvinongota horwaka but kwati this is we know kuti zvinofana kunge zviri meaningful yeah. so we really thank god pastor <laughs> for such grace Yes. Uh, for yes. raising an yes. apostle elder yes. i really enjoyed your welcome remarks today and what i want to assure you as a minister i'm receiving very positive testimonies yes. from believers all over the world yes. this word is doing wonders elder we really think this what? word is working out the <laughs> and <laughs> you can see the joy yes. which is coming from the believers out there yeah. when they they come to you and express their feelings and how the lord and how the word is working them it's quite amazing pastor juma i think you can testify to that i can yes yes yes, yes pastor <laughs> I, I, i can and, uh, and i must say pastor uh, I, i thank elta for his welcome remarks very very profound mm. remarks and your remarks pastor and uh, sometimes I, I i am guilty of talking too much about the bad as as if there's too much bad in the church more than the good but there's a lot of good <laughs> happening <laughs> in the church <laughs> a lot of good a lot of good we hear some amazing testimonies and even with this uh, with this uh, uh, council, ca- these council sessions that we've been having yes there've been a lot of progress made by the believers who who who, who had all these things hidden underneath mm-hmm. themselves even mm-hmm. though they had been saved but some had been had cases some had had been living a, an unholy life but all these th- those things have been brought to the surface they've been uh, uprooted and they are being sanctified the, the saints are being sanctified the pastor oh, yes. is yes. just yes. so 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 amazing yes. um I, i grew up in the in the rural areas and uh, with my grandfather Uh, my paternal grandfather he he was a, an amazing man he was a, a man of the he, he was a, a herbalist mm-hmm. he mm-hmm. knew he knew all all herbs that can heal anything and everything mm-hmm. but uh, he wasn't a witch doctor or anything mm-hmm. but uh, he knew he, he knew medicine yes. mm-hmm. so the, the people who would have had a, a boil mortar why we are weka pamshapedu vachikamina kuzo swinwa e motairor then white baka swina swina ro parela ko esa mishonga ya chweno iswe ye ku prevent a infection mm-hmm. so, so what, what amazed me is that they knew that when they come to my grandfather they will experience more pain, pain. than they they had mm-hmm. but yeah. no swina motairor mm-hmm. but they will still come yes <laughs> and having come roswina yeah. motairor mm-hmm. bobu da bayenda Mm-hmm. Three or four days later they will come with a, a, a live chicken. Yes. Yeah. Ku so kuvanga kuvanga usika tengi huku. Maingo piwa. Ainga ruma nenyoka aikamina huya. Osko itwa mishonga yacho iyoyo. Oyenda a few days later no yane huku. All the time. So brethren we may say that uh, these these lessons are painful in the flesh but immortal no da kuswino so that you get better yes. Ephesians chapter 5 verses 25 26 and 27 mm-hmm. this is what the lord wants us to be like it's a sanctification process musanyanya yes. kurwadziwa yes is so that at the end you will be established yes yes verse 25 Husbands love your wives yes. even as Christ also loved the church yes. and gave himself for it yes. that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word that he might sanctify the church yes. and cleanse the church yes. with washing yes. of water 
yes. by this word. And this is what is happening. It is happening right here yes. in our time. What a privilege. Yes. Yes. Indeed, it is Even in Pasa Mimi Muri Amai in the flesh and in the spirit, but in the flesh, Maga Wanataku Sabaya. I think I'm she kind of can't tamper pans, a cow, a cane, cane, shena, mauka, cook a question, question, a guy, chemak. Guys, I don't give. Guys, I don't give. But not people. But you will still wash her yes. with water because you know that they need to be clean. Mm -hmm. So the scripture says, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with washing of water by the word, verse 27. That he might present it to himself a glorious church. The Lord wants to present to himself this church as a glorious church. Not having spot. Not having a spot. Or a wrinkle. Not having a wrinkle. Or any such thing. Or any such thing. But that it should be holy and without blemish. This church has got to be holy and without blemish. And that's why we have to go through a sanctification yes. process, yes. which is the washing of water it's by weird. the wet. Yes. Yes. That's what the wet is doing. Yeah. So, brethren, uh, don't take time to prepare. I know you are excited about your testimonies on the puzzle uh, gesture. I know that you understood the, the, the teaching, and I know that you loved the teaching. So we are waiting to hear from you what you learned so that we can celebrate together, enjoy it together, and learn from you. And I know that a lot of you uh, are, are going to pick on other teachings that we, we, we have received that are, are in line with the personal gesture. I think one of the things in what you coach. <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, one way I know what you coaches, the Muslim ones. Two year I know so what you coaches also. We're going to break into a song and dance uh, in, in praise to, to the Lord, and then we'll welcome your testimonies on the Zoom platform and on the WhatsApp platform. Uh, Pastor, so is cut so Kumla Mapach. Oh, yes, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, it's, yes, it's, it's, it's time for us to 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 praise the Lord in song and dance. Don't go away. Please prepare. We're waiting to hear from you. We don't have much time. Do not delay. You will be left behind. Thank you.
Yes, brethren, I'm very, very excited to hear your testimonies about the teaching on the puzzle gesture. I really want to hear your testimonies. So we'll be waiting to hear from you on the Zoom platform and on our, on our WhatsApp platform. Once we wait, I just want us to, to, to read two scriptures. And uh, these scriptures uh, are, are telling us, Elder and, and Pastor Irengui, about the days of our Lord, the days of his flesh. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, Matthew chapter 11, sorry, Matthew chapter 13, Matthew 13, uh, verse 53 to 56. This is what happened uh, when our Lord was in the flesh. And it came to pass that yes. when Jesus had finished these parables, yes. he departed thence. He departed from there. And when he was coming to his own country, yes. he taught them in their synagogue in so much that they were astonished. When he said, went back to his country, he mm -hmm. taught in the synagogue. And mm -hmm. he, he taught very, very, very strong lessons mm -hmm. such that they were amazed, they were astonished. What did they say? And said, Yes. When says this man this wisdom? Mm -hmm. And these mighty and works. And these mighty works. Yes. Where did he come from? Is not this the carpenter's son? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> the, the days of his flesh, flesh pastor, yes, yes. is no, not. The days <laughs> of not his talking flesh. about this poor man. <laughs> yeah. But there is one funny thing, Pastor, yes. about his poverty. Talk about it, Pastor. <laughs> <laughs> How can a man <laughs> who could change water into wine yes. and be said to be a poor man? A poor man. Hey. Imagine if he, he doesn't have any cent in his to pocket. To buy wine. But he has the ability to yeah. change water into yes. wine. It doesn't need to do the farming. Yes. You th you think of the <laughs> labor which is needed yes. in managing grapes. Yes. Up to the threshing floor. Yes. Where we, um, to the to, to the uh, grape uh, to the wine press, mm. where we get the wine, mm. and then uh, he just makes it from water. <laughs> that one is a poor man. <laughs> 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 Who would change that the, the little five loaves mm, 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 <laughs> and he fed how many thousands? Yes. Five thousand men. Yes. Women being not counted. Not counted children, but, but they were there. Pastor. But they were there. Yes. And the children yes. were there. Yes. And even old men, because yeah. That's right. Yes. Yes. So can only pour the Kuru Chiteverao. Yes. Yeah, Pastor, those elderly people, yes. they were not locked up in HDK homes like yes. we see nowadays. No. Why can't we see them? Yes. Why yes. can't we see them? Why can't we see them? Why Those old people. And that man who could feed those people, mm. he was a son of a carpenter. <laughs> Who was that poor in their eyes? Our feet are good now. Go back, go start on my basket. The foot has now got zero. Yes. Kwanzi Kwanzi is poor. Yes. Kwanzi is poor. Yes, Pastor. Indeed, what the Lord did was so amazing. Yes. You can see also in verse fifty-seven. After all this saying, that is not this the carpenter's son. Is not his mother called Mary and yes. his brethren James, Joseph, and yes. Simon and Juza, Judas? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And in verse 57, the, and they were offended in him. Mm -hmm. So Romans chapter 9:33. Now, mm -hmm. yeah. now then understand yeah. that indeed yeah. to the Jews yeah. he was a stumbling block. Yes. 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 Days of his, <laughs> oh, the days when he was in flesh. Mm -hmm. the days of his so flesh. it's so amazing that we are listening these things. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's right, right to our needs. Mm -hmm. uh, just to imagine Baba Said Panashi, mm -hmm. yes. uh, all those miracles, mm -hmm. the wisdom that he, he had yes. when he was talking to them, how he yes. answered the questions. Yes. But because of his poor fat now, yes. uh, I never tumbled out. <laughs> how is this possible? Yes. yes. They could see that, no, this person, <laughs> uh, is something, there's is something about him, yes. but because of the poor fat that he had now, yes. also. 
He was in the flesh. He was in the yes. flesh. Then they would just say, ah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they say. So he's late. Yes. <laughs> uh, it, ma it makes me laugh, Elta. It makes me laugh when I read verse 55. Mm -hmm. He's not this the carpenter's son. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, like what we, we heard from Amai to say, he was not comely. Yes. <laughs> in yes. Isaiah 53. Yes. There was no beauty in yes. him. Yes. And yes. so. Is a son of a carpenter. Yes. <laughs> but <laughs> the, the question still lingers in me to say, is there, why was there anything that would tell them that this man is totally different from other men? To say, hey, when they enjoyed the wine, Yes. <laughs> <laughs> when they ate the bread, yes. <laughs> if he wanted to charge those who were coming with different diseases, yes. he would heal them. Master, oh, the, yeah. the distances they walked and yes. how they looked yeah. for him, yeah. yes. even after yeah. testing this for bread. That poor man. Yeah. They, they, they wanted this bread <laughs> so much. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. But will you just understand? Yeah, he had the mission yes. to accomplish. Mm. Yes. Mm. And this poverty that he had the days when he was in the flesh, mm. indeed to the Jews, they used that mm. to mock him. Yes. In as much as he was God, mm. he was yeah. the Lord. Mm. But mm. because he wanted to mm. redeem us, mm. the Jews mm. and the Gentiles, he had to come in the flesh. Yes. And Shavaka Tambo, Isaiah 55, yes. 53. Yes. Very, very amazing events, uh, Elta, uh, Jeremiah, and Pastor Yerengui. So, brethren, we are still waiting for you to come through on the Zoom platform with your testimonies. Uh, we are excited uh, that you will be sharing with us what you learned about the Pesalai uh, effect. And uh, Elta Jeremiah, have you got uh, some testimonies on the WhatsApp platform there? Greetings, our mothers and Elder Jeremiah. I am Brother Fungai from Cape Town Assembly, Struth by Section. I just want to share my testimony. Indeed, we are blessed to have an apostle in our midst. I just want to thank God for that. I was so blessed when the apostle taught us that we are Christ's siblings. But there is a condition now to be a sibling of Christ. The condition is sanctification. Looking at Hebrews 2 from verse 11 downwards, we see it also on Colossians 1 verse 21 that Christ became the firstborn after resurrection. So us also we need to die in our flesh, fleshly lives also to be heirs of Christ. If we read Romans 6 from verse 4, we can see how we must die to live a new life. I was so blessed and helped also to correct how I live my life because coming to church or listening to sermons is not enough. I need to put the word into practice. That is my testimony. Thank you, Anna Mama. So this is Brethren Fungai from Cape Town. Well, Brethren Fungai from Stress by Section, uh, Cape Town Assemble, is a... Uh, testimony is very very short and sweet straight to the point and uh, brethren uh, fungai uh, pastor irengui what do you think about brethren fungai's testimony there he comes from the strict stress by section in in cape town uh, yes pastor thank you pastor uh, i really enjoyed his testimony especially when he mentioned the issue of us being brothers to our Lord yes. Jesus Christ. Yes. Yes. It was like, this one my chisone But it's that possible? Could you Ishe Jesu, ufunga mkoma wako wa unoti mkoma panyamu. Yes. Ufunga kuti, aposto, wafuta, chokwadi, kutisusu, kutingati mkoma mm. kuna Jesu. And we had several scriptures there that would show that we are his uh, brethren uh, there. 
And I really enjoyed it when we were being taught mm. that our Lord Jesus Christ is our brother. Yes. He is not ashamed to call us brethren from Hebrews chapter 2. Yes. And then when he had resurrected in Matthew 28 there, where he said, go tell my brethren yes. that I meet with them in Galilee. So, Pastor, just to think, and it, it was being brought out that it is true. Mm. We are his brothers. Yes. yes, because in Hebrews chapter 2, maybe I want to read the scripture. Yes. That he brought many sons. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so I, 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 I thank God for that because yes. uh, I really enjoyed the teaching which came from, from our mother, the yes. Hebrews 2.10. For it became him for whom are all things and by whom are all things in bringing many sons unto glory yes. to make the captain of their salvation perfect through sufferings. Yes. And these sufferings, this is the area where we saw him as a poor man. Yes. And then for both he that sanctifies and they who are sanctified are all of one. Yes. 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 Which means we are sanctified by his word. Mm. Yes. So it is saying for he that sanctifies. Mm. Yes. It is his word which sanctifies us. Yes. And they who are sanctified. Yes. They are all of one. Yes. All of one. To say we all belong to one father. Yes. Which means we are brethren. Yes. For which cause now yes. he is not ashamed mm. to, to call, call them, them brethren. brethren. Hallelujah. So, <laughs> So I really enjoyed <laughs> Brethren Fungai's testimony because I loved that part yes. when the Basley just started to be taught. And I started teaching about this issue mm. of our Lord being our brother. Yes. Yes. Uh, thank you. Thank you for your kind comments, uh, Pastor. Uh, and uh, Brethren Fungai, thank you for your, for your testimony. It was very short, but straight to the point. And uh, Brethren, we are still waiting for you to come through on the Zoom platform. Don't take too much time. Uh, time is always flying because we always have fun. Now, I just want to, on that point, Pastor, when mm -hmm. you, you were talking about uh, uh, Brethren uh, Fungai's testimony that the Lord is our brother. Mm -hmm. I want to. I want us to read, read an amazing scripture in John chapter 17. Yes. Very, very amazing scripture. Mm. Now, you remember that uh, John chapter 17 is the Lord's prayer. Yes. So yes. The, the, the Lord prayed mm. after, uh, during his prayer, mm -hmm. he then prayed for his disciples yes. or the apostles. Yes. He did not end there. Mm -hmm. Verse 20. Yes. Neither pray I for these alone, yes. but for them also we shall believe on me through their word. Ah, yes. he is praying for them also mm -hmm. who shall believe on the Lord through the word yes. that is preached by yes. the, the apostles. Yes. Verse 21. That they all may be one, yes. as thou, Father, art in me, yes. and I in thee, yes. that they also may be one in us, ah. that the world <laughs> may believe that thou hast sent me. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> that they all may be one as thou, Father, mm -hmm. art in me and I in thee, that they also may be one yes. in us. Yes. We're going to, brethren, watch it. That the world may believe that yes. thou hast sent me. Yes. Verse 22. Yes. Verse 22. And the glory which yes. thou gavest to me, yes. I have given them, yes. that they may be one, yes. even as we are one. Yes. I in them, I in them, and thou in me, thou in me, that they may be made perfect in one, that they may be pe made perfect in one, and that the world may know that thou hast sent me, yes, and hast loved them, yes, as thou hast loved them. Ah, 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 pastor, <laughs> can you highlight? Can yes. you highlight and and has loved them as thou hast loved me, please? Mm -mm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I in them, yes. and yes. thou in me. Yes. Uh, this is us now. Yes. 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 This is us. In him. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. This is us now. Because in we, in us. Yes, we, we have believed the word that, that has been preached by the apostles. Yes. yes. I in them. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
and thou in me, mm -hmm. that they may be made perfect mm -hmm. in one, and that the, that the world may know that thou hast sent me, <laughs> and has loved them, Elder. Yes. Mm -hmm. Elder, what do you comment here? And he has loved them as thou hast loved me. <laughs> the way we are now being loved, yes. the way we are loved by God, yes. is the way uh, our Lord was loved <laughs> by God. <laughs> so it comes out in the open that indeed God is our Father. Yes. And indeed Christ is our brother. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. <laughs> and I could also see it in verse 22 <laughs> where he had said, And the glory which thou gavest me, yes. mm -hmm. I have given them mm -hmm. Apoca, that they may be one. Apoca. He is now sharing the inheritance as the crown prince. Hallelujah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah, indeed, it's exciting. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, Pastor. <laughs> The moment he said we are one, yes, it then means we are also being counted to be one with them. Yes. So yes. there's no difference. Yes. yes. Me and the Lord Jesus, yes. Yes. we are all in one. We are all in the Father. Yes. So the love, the love of the Father toward His Son, mm. this is the love that we are also enjoying. Yes. yes. Because when He sees us, He's seeing yes. His Son. Yes. 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 Wow. What a privilege. Yes. <laughs> what a privilege. <laughs> you know, I was a pauper, but now I walk with the King of Kings and the yes, Lord of Lords. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes. We have a, a believer or believers on the Zoom platform. Uh, those who haven't come through, please, quick, 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 quick. Mm -hmm. we, are, we know you are excited uh, to share with us your testimonies. And I want to let you know that we are also excited to receive them. Right, believers on the Zoom platform, we are waiting for, for you to come through. Yes, believer, greetings to you and welcome to our midweek service. Uh, I, I, I can see you are excited, you are smiling. I can see from afar. <laughs> uh, can you say, tell us your name and where you are tuning in from? My name is Brethren Mona Lisa from New South Wales, Australian region. Drogo kwa zesai, elda jerebaya, mfuzi chuma, na mfuzi erengwe, zechukwa di mfaro wangu kwa pano nasi. Brethren, Monelisa from Australia, you are the early bird that catches the worm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead and share your testimony with us. Hello, I need to get to the ceremony, I need to get to the ceremony, I need to get to because we are Proverbs 19, 17. He who is gracious to the poor man learns to the Lord. We are going to But this poor man. Because Peter, for private interpretation, but for public interpretation, the poor men in and this poor man is only one man. And this poor man and and he was not poor because he took out this poor man in John 7, 37. I thought he was not poor man. 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 He was not this poor man is not just a poor man. This poor man is angry poor in the nature. In the nature, that our poor is the body. The zoom shakata so the body can do any amount of things. But if you are not looking good, but just one of the panachi. First Corinthians 15, 15, not to be so to see. Yeah, my, I'm not going to be able to see. 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 I'm not going to be
eternal lives. Ratuma bjinya mai dia ikonzira poverty Christ, and they will see that the weakness ayawa na ayawa munyama, and this weakness ayi tuliwa kuzinya mandoe zoda kuno roverero. Tumo shagadi na kiza shinzi kuti na i anga kau yari an angel, cause angel is a flame of fire. Pongo zimaria ni nubi angel, angel ya zora. Tiruko famba pasi wunde kama zin angel, but ayi tuli that this body, taka this body, it was all for our salvation. Taka that's why anga ni weakness mo body yoi. Taka zunu saka di chasa saka naga di chona ti this poor man anga hingo di jase poor man. Taka ba chona na naiki zia six nine ngo thirteen ngo di chi this poor man was the wise poor man. And I got delivered the little I got delivered the little seed just few people. Saka it's not ngo tiwa nuwe se wa chadi wa chazo pone so akang ngo tiwa just a few people. Sat no na ifi di paka ni giri kina paka sti kwa like tika tasa kuna na genesis pa creation. Kuti paka nzi le the dry ground that PM vura nga 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 wanda but the dry ground para kaka pira nga ri 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 panga parisho ma panga paka o ma ushimi zito wachati baru pone swa o washo ma saka tika zita o saka ni tika o saka naga tiki lagi kala tiki tiki tuku boro tiki tuku lenda to the poor man the poor man now we know that is Jesus so for us to be gracious to this poor man is listening to my sermons and listening to my admonitions and the kana chui ati kwa nse udi tuchi kuchi nja my lives edu Chirani according to the law of God that's listening to the poor men. No pano singa uta ora kuna na mepi twenty five thirty five kwa nanga kuti magando nandi nzara kwa ndi pacha kati magando nandi ndi tapa tenge tishi mupa ipa pa kutera masema kwa tenge tishi tishi bumba kuchinja tapa tenge pachi chinjo ndiwa kunigere kina kuwa gracious to the poor men taka sio nusu kandi sio nusu kana kwa masema ni yaka ndi chinja mafungi ronda kwa bandha kwa funga masema ni mpya kambo ito idul samari chen kisu nusu tangu ora la manazo tishi rima jenta asimbo tibu samari chen umu na nika ita sio kana but only to find out uh, to good Samaritan as a moon at all Jesus Christ. When we found out in Duane, Duane oil, Duane bandage, Duane Holy Spirit, Duane Swiss, that I can't do it. I can't do it. I not end. Brethren, Mona Lisa, I want to ask you a question there. Uh, thank you for coming through on the Zoom platform. And uh, when you started, you spoke about the, the, the private interpretation. And this is what we see largely on the on the television sets with all them international uh, preachers evangelists and pastors and and all of them and they they all have this private interpretation that when for instance you meet a, a, a street kid in arare mm -hmm. uh, uh, that is a poor man and they will go street kid here you <laughs> you are lending to God. <laughs> but how many people have helped those street kids mm -hmm. and themselves mm -hmm. have also died poor? Ah, waka wanda. Yes. And waka wanda. Kana tatuka tutura vanu wakala roi nige ato limita kwa mwa nige wa tori rinchi. Wishu minzu mwa muna afaka batira poor man kwa sa atori na washoku batira. Taka now we see that no, the poor man is Jesus Christ. So wala hatu wetari sa wetu poor man aruta ura ni wanu we private interpretation na awaka. Azri. Azri. So, yes. Elda Cherevaya. Yes, mpuzi. Thank you, brethren, Mwana Lisa. Yes. I want to kuti tiwe ni tuma verse is uh, proverbs 19:17 and uh, job 41 verse 11 media can you put them side by side and uh, i want uh, brother mona lisa uh, to look at these two scriptures yes and maybe she can tell us uh, what she thinks of these two verses uh, <laughs> <laughs> Proverbs 41, Proverbs 19, sorry, verse 17, mm -hmm. and Job 41, verse 11. Right. Yes. He that has pity upon the poor lendeth unto the Lord, and that which he hath given will he pay him again. That was Proverbs chapter 19. Verse 17 and Job chapter 41, verse 11 says, Who has prevented me that I should repay him? Whatsoever is under the whole heaven is mine. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Maybe media team can also put them in the NASB version. NASB, yes. yes. Yeah. Because in, 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 Job, in Job chapter 41, there, yes. is 
is is is God speaking. Yes. Yes. <laughs> that's you can can you see those quotation marks there? Yes. Yeah. That's not Job speaking. Yeah. That is God speaking. <laughs> so I'm going to read that. Uh, Proverbs 19:17 again. Yes. One who is gracious to a poor man lends to the Lord, and He will repay him for his good deed. And Job, Job chapter 41:11, who has given me? Can you see that me there? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> with the capital letter. Yes. That is God. Who has given me that I should repay Him? Mm -hmm. Whatever is under the whole heaven is mine. Mm -hmm. So, so in, in Job 41 verse 11, God <laughs> is asking. Who has given me mm -hmm. that I should repay him? Yes. Mm -hmm. Because everything under heaven mm -hmm. is yes. mine. Mm -hmm. hey. But in Proverbs 19, verse 17, he's yes. saying, One who is gracious to a poor man lends, lends to Lord, God, yeah. and he will repay him for his good deeds. <laughs> so in Proverbs, he's saying, If you give to the poor man, yes. Yes. You are lending to God, and God will repay you. Mm. <laughs> so I just wanted to see if Brethren Mona Lisa managed to grasp what am I taught. Uh, am I <coughs> mentioned this aspect in passing? Yes. So I just wanted to see if the Brethren managed to grasp what am I taught. Uh, what have you to say, Brethren Mona Lisa? Agatikona pana job for to unleave and guti eno etuno sauti nika no zarapa yesendi ya Jehovah. And for us, we cannot give God any gift because he and are not cheaper. Saka apana chati ngati tino mupa Isus. All right, Pastor. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we thank God, uh, brethren, and Lisa. Yes. And uh, I think I heard something like Jehovah. Yes. From here. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that was slip of the tongue. Yes. <laughs> was it a slip of the tongue or... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you want to hear it from here. Okay. <laughs> Is the Lord our God called Jehovah? No, he's not called Jehovah. Maybe it was a slip of the tongue. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine then, my dear. I, I am, yes, hearing what we are learning from here to say, the Lord God is him who owns everything. Yes. Yes. Mm. And then for one to say he lends to God, mm. <laughs> what would have happened? Mm. <laughs> one who is gracious <laughs> to a poor man. Yes. Lends to the Lord. Yes. It's like it's a principle, Elder. Yes. That the moment that you 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 pity the yes. poor man. Yes. The moment yes. you you are gracious to that poor man, yes. automatically you, you have landed God. <laughs> 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 and this is what we want to hear from you. To say <laughs> this person who is lending to God and <laughs> Elder, there's something coming to me to say it is saying one who is gracious. Yes. The word gracious mm -hmm. itself, mm -hmm. when you compare it to the, the grace that we have been bestowed by mm -hmm. the Lord, mm -hmm. to say one who is gracious mm -hmm. to a poor man yes. lends to the Lord. Yes. Yes. How gracious. Yes. That's another question. But anyway, that one we have to leave it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's stick on what we were taught yes. to say one who pities someone, one who is generous to a poor man, mm. one who gives to that poor man, is automatically lending to the Lord God mm. Almighty. Mm. Yet in Job 40, 11, mm. he says, who has given to me? Yes. <laughs> so is there any possibility that someone can lend God? <laughs> but this one is a principle yeah. that the moment... You pity a poor man, you, you are automatically lending, lending to, to the God. Lord. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah. this is the best like gesture for you. <laughs> <laughs> it is quite interesting, brethren. Mona Lisa, you can add something if you want to add something to what you can say comparing these two scriptures. Yeah, like we have learned before, you can lend God, which means you own that person, 
no God is bigger than that person, but there's no one who is bigger than God. And there's no one who ever lend God. But she this one in our way, but gracious, to be gracious is just listening to she, the word of God. According to the laws of God, that's how we are being gracious. It's not like we are being gracious. Thank you, thank you, Brethren Mona Lisa, for coming through. I've, ne- I've known Brethren Mona Lisa for a, for a long time. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was in Australia, uh, so I know her from there. <laughs> And uh, it's, it's also good to see you coming through on the Zoom platform there. Yes, uh, Pastor. Yes, I, I think uh, other brethren will, will also touch on yes. this aspect as they come in. Yes. But I just wanted to highlight something here. Because mm-hmm. uh, in Job 41, you see yeah. that God is saying, who had prevented me that I should repay yeah. him? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's coming out the aspect of attitude. Aha. Uh, one is saying, I am giving to God yes. in, in, and expecting Ten. that the Lord should repay me. Because he owes me something now. Yes. Yeah. But if we look now in Proverbs, yeah. the Lord is saying, he that is gracious, gracious to, the to, poor a, man. to the poor man. Mm. It is now the Lord telling you that if you are gracious, gracious. to the poor man, mm. this is what it means to yeah. me. Yeah. You have given unto me yeah. that I will to. Uh, he's saying, uh, he that uh, the pit upon the poor lends unto the Lord. Yes. So this statement you know, is now coming from God. Mm-hmm. After you being gracious to the poor to man, the, mm-hmm. the poor man we've learned that is Christ. Mm-hmm. And as also as we, we've learned in Matthew chapter 25. Yes. Mm-hmm. So as you were saying, Pastor, if you are gracious to the poor man, mm-hmm. the Lord is now saying, you have Lended mm-hmm. unto the Lord, Hallelujah. and mm-hmm. that which ye had given, yes. will ye pay them again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then in Job 41, I can see there's an aspect again of the Lord saying, You know mm-hmm. that attitude that we had in the yes. Sharains. Yes. But as uh, other brethren are going to testify, uh, some might just also say something about yes. these two scriptures. Yes, yes, Elta Jeremiah, thank you for your for your comments there. Mm-hmm. And uh, thank you, brethren, Mona Lisa, for coming through on the Zoom platform. Uh, brethren, do not delay to come through. Um, we are having some fun here, uh, sharing, you sharing with us your testimonies. Uh, Elta Jeremiah, have you got a, a testimony on the WhatsApp platform there? I don't know where the brethren are, Pastor. All uh, right. We really love to hear from them. I do have one now. Um, oh, right on time. Otherwise, yes. <laughs> we, we do have uh, a brethren on the Zoom platform. So we, we'll take up that uh, WhatsApp testimony and then we'll go back to the Zoom. Greetings, our beloved mothers and elder Jeremiah. I am very grateful to the Lord. Yes. As he continues to bless us spiritually, mm. blessing as he continues to bless us with his spiritual blessings. Yes. After the admonition we had on Sunday, I went and listened to G- after the Gilead died, preached from Judges 11, from verse 32 to 34, to see, to see how God wrote unto us to tell us how he felt when he put his only son, represented by the daughter on that sermon, who was playing type of Jesus, meaning to say the board of Jesus according to Hebrews 10 verse 5. For me to have this understanding that it pained God that led God to write unto us Proverbs 19 verse 17, telling us that his only son was to go through and what his only son was to go through and how God felt about seeing these words in Judges chapter 11 verse 35 when the daughter of Jephthah and Alas my daughter, though he had brought me law. I am thankful also to learn that Jesus was only seen as poor to the unbelievers, but we, according to John 6, verse 63, like what Peter said, we understand clearly he is the eternal life and the word of truth. And we know that when he said, I'm hungry, thirsty, and naked, he's actually talking to us who are dead, hungry and poor, to be given food. We know those words actually in 
interpretation mean that he wants to clothe us and to feed us his word and we give him our ears then to him it is counted that we gave him clothes to cover his nakedness and food to eat and water to drink according to Matthew 25 verse 31 to 40 thank you this is brother Brian Moyo wow elder that was uh, brother uh, Brian Moyo I think brother yeah, Brian Moyo is from the Jobe Assembly. Yes. Yeah, I talk to him quite often. Yes. Yeah, and uh, I would like to I, I love to hear your comments about about his testimony. He's gone back to the to Jephthah the Gilatite. Yes. <laughs> and to, to find out how J, Jephthah failed. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> when uh, was we all understand what happened in that uh, script when yes. we, yes, we learned yes. the, the teaching. Mm -hmm. And he wanted now to see how God felt mm -hmm. when Christ was in the flesh. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and in comparison to how Jephthah felt mm -hmm. when he first saw his daughter, his daughter. Uh, mm -hmm. after giving that vow to the Lord. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the pain that he felt. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he was saying the daughter of Jephthah represents our Lord in the yes. flesh. Yes. Yes. So I, I'm happy for this brother, Pastor Boz. Yeah. Uh, in trying to, we, we were saying, yeah. So yes. to, get, to get a better understanding, yeah. he went back to that teaching, mm. Mm. and he can now link these two teachings, yes. and he's amazed at how they came out, and uh, the words that he said in his testimony, mm. uh, in Jephthah 11, verse 35, when yes. Jephthah judges. said, mm -hmm. in Judges, judges. 11, sorry, yes. verse 35, yes. when he, Jephthah said, Alas, my daughter, yes. though he was, though he has brought me law. Thou mm. has brought me law. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the words of Jephthah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's quite, uh, it was quite good for the brethren to link these two teachings. Yes, it was quite good. Uh, Elta, thank you, brethren, Brian Moyo, for, for, your, for your testimony. Very, very interesting testimony. That is now Elder being gracious to the poor man. Yes. Yeah, being gracious to the poor man. We've got a believer on the Zoom platform. Uh, let's welcome them. Uh, hello. It's also good to see all the Ziegler guys coming on the Zoom platform. They are smiling. <laughs> very, very excited. We are excited to see you. We are excited for your testimony as well. Tell us your name and where you are coming from. Well, greetings, Mamerengui. Greetings, Elder Jeremiah. I'm Brethren Munashem Chenje from Pretoria Assembly, South Africa region. I hope you are well. We are all well, Mwanang. We are all well. Uh, uh, just uh, welcome to our to, 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 to our midweek service and go straight into your testimony. We're excited to hear what you have to say. Thank you, Mama, for this opportunity. So uh, first of all, I just want to thank God um, for what I learned about how uh, Christ is our brother and he's not ashamed to call us uh, brethren. And only those who are actually sanctified are those who are called uh, bro the brothers of Christ. So I remember when Mama was like, it's actually not blasphemy to say, Koma Jesu Christu Dins Weo. Uh, even let's say in our prayer or like when we're praying to God, to, to, to Jesus Christ and we call him brother Jesus. So at first, you know, <laughs> coming from a religious background, it may sound like a bit weird, but I really learned that it's not blasphemous at all. And then um, I also just want to testify about how I learned that the poor man in Ecclesiastes chapter 9 from verse 14 to 16 is our Lord Jesus Christ. Um, and the scripture that was opened that I remember that proved also that uh, the poor man is Jesus Christ is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 9. If I may quickly read it, it says that, For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor, that ye, that ye through his poverty um, might be rich. So, in the shrines, they use the scripture a lot, right? Saying that our Lord became poor for you to become rich. And then they talk about this material, physical uh, wealth. But I thank God for learning that, um, number one, 
the richness uh, in Kurewa, right? It's not the material wealth because we know that everything shall pass away. Everything that we see with our eyes is temporary. But the richness, which is in the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, uh, the revelation of Christ that is being preached, right? The richness that is found in his word and that he became poor for us, right? In terms of his nature, the fact that he had to take upon the form of a man, according to Philippians chapter two from verse five, um, it, it really amazed me, Kutiza Kuti, the suffering of our Lord Jesus Christ, right, um, did not begin at the cross, but the moment he was given a body, uh, in Hebrews chapter 10, verse 5, he says that a body has thou prepared me. And we see that uh, this body, he needed it, right, so that he can come onto this earth, right, and uh, to to fulfill his ministry. Because if you go to the first, first Timothy chapter 6, uh, from verse from verse sixteen, we know that um he if we see him in his um when we see him with that if they had if he had come without his body right no man would have been able to approach him right so we see that the minister of our Lord uh, needed a body and even today um or even in the days of our apostle or when the gospel started to be preached we see that the minister of our Lord Jesus Christ. Um, is a man ministry in the sense that a body is needed in order for the gospel to be preached, in order for the poor man to redeem the city, which was being spoken of in Ecclesiastes chapter 9 um, from verse 14. And we see that even Apostle Paul in Galatians chapter 2 uh, from verse 20, he says that, and the city in, and, and Rorama, but it's Christ um, who lives in me. If I may just quickly just read that scripture, um, it says, Yes, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loves me and gave himself for me. So I learned that uh, right now, right, the ministry of our Lord is still going on, the ministry of reconciliation. But now he is uh, the Holy Spirit, right? He's the poor man, so that um, those who are... Those who are still bound by the king of darkness, right, can be delivered uh, and be saved. And we see Kutijoni, um, Apostle Paul, right, uh, he, his ministry, oh, when Apostle Paul was preaching in his days, right, he was despised, just as our Lord Jesus Christ was despised during the time when he was in the flesh, right? Uh, they despised the gospel because the Pharisees and Sadducees, but, but they didn't understand this mystery, Yekuti, uh, Arunkati, right? They didn't understand who was inside Kutanga Rimwari. So even up until this day, uh, we see even uh, in Jesus Revelation Ministries, I've come across many people who say, ah, your apostle uh, is too young. Ah, your apostle are going in the, um, she went back and through my accidents. Like I died, the, all these persecutions, God is not with him. But they don't understand, Kuti. Um, it is Holy Spirit is actually in him, right? Who's doing this ministry, but because of like the uh, the poor man, or if I may say the, the man ministry, right, where the body is needed, people would despise that and not understand. So no so kaita am I um of course I still need to meditate on this sermon. There's so much that was spoken of. Um but I still thank God for this. Thank you, Mama. Ah, wow. Uh, I really would like to hear what Pastor Irengu has to say about your, 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 your testimony there, uh, Manangu. Uh, I was quite amazed how you brought all those uh, aspects uh, to, 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 to this teaching. Uh, Pastor Irengu. Thank you. Victoria Yapind. <laughs> <laughs> Brethren Munashe, how are you? It's good to see you and it's good to have you on our platform. It was indeed a great message, and she picked up those important uh, points that yes. I would say in the message, yes. especially when she went back to Ecclesiastes chapter 9, yeah. where we see this poor man saving the whole city, mm. and uh, him not being remembered, but he did that great uh, job of saving this city, and where we now learned that what is this city now? being mm. saved by this poor man. And we really want to thank God. She came in with 
Second Corinthians chapter eight, yes. verse nine, verse nine, which is that scripture which is normally abused, <laughs> <Yes>. twisted <laughs> by the charlatans. <laughs> yeah. Yes, to say he was made poor. Mm for us to be rich. Yes. And when they are referring to the rich things, they are referring to the material things. Uh, uh, but uh, the Lord said in Revelation, that uh, uh, chapter 3 to the Laodicean church age, to say, <laughs> you think you are rich, rich and you think you have it yes. all. But the richness in these goods, uh, you are naked yes. before me. I might want to read that scripture. Thank you very much, brethren uh, Munashe, for bringing out that. In verse 14 of uh, Revelation chapter 3, uh, the Lord says, Unto the angel of the church of, La of the Laodiceans, write, this thing says the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. Mm. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would that wait cold or hot. Mm. So then because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spoon thee out of my mouth. Mm. Because thou sayest I am rich and increase thee with the goods. Yeah. Mm. Jinu. Yes. Uchi bota andina mota andina funduka. Yes. Andina chakati chantinga achike. I have everything that I need and have need of nothing. And knowest not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. I, yes. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire. So what I wanted to bring out there was this issue in Second Corinthians 8, 9, to say mm. he was made poor for yeah. us to become rich. Yes. And we want to know the world with which uh, the Lord had promised us to say he was made poor mm. on our behalf so that we will be rich. Rich in what? Mm. So is it rich in good? This is what he said. You have the increased goods, but you are naked. <laughs> You yes. are poor and you are blind. Yes. So um, I, I want to thank God for um, Brethren Manasseh's uh, message and uh, testimony, sorry, yes. to say she really enjoyed mm. uh, the message, mm. looking back to say, who is this poor man? Maybe you would want to also to add something to Elder Jeremiah's question when <laughs> He was comparing Job <laughs> 40, verse 11, and Proverbs uh, 19, verse 17. Maybe oh, okay, Lydia, Tim, please bring them, <laughs> uh, the scriptures back. She might want to uh, say a comment on the scriptures. Um, okay, Mama, please may the scriptures be brought up again. <laughs> yes, okay. dear, there you are. Okay, so it says, He that hath pity upon the poor lendeth unto the Lord, and that which he hath given, he will repay him again. Then Job 41, 11 says, Who has given to me that I should repay him? Whatever is under the whole heaven is mine. Okay, uh, I, don't, Mama, I don't really have a lot to say, but um, what's really standing out to me right now is in Proverbs chapter 19, verse 17. Uh, God is saying that uh, whoever lends to him, he will repay him. But Tarisa, Job chapter 41, verse 11, Nema scriptures, um, Nema semon that Tarambo Terera, Tarambo did the oceans journey, Apana chatting up a mari susu, um, Kuti va Kutivati Badare bag, right? So I, I think reconciliation of this, these two scriptures, um, I still need to do, but, um, yeah, I think that's what I can say now. Something that's what that's what's standing out for me right now. Because the Lord is saying, um, uh, whoever lends to the Lord. So I guess there's a mystery at Ofana Kudzidza, Papa Proverbs chapter seven, chapter nineteen, verse seventeen. Could you lending to the Lord being gracious to, to this poor man, uh, and the ESG where the Lord is saying you repay us right for his for his good deed what what is the lord actually saying because we know that we cannot give anything physical to the lord 
um and even kuto a gracious kwacho kunoto kuti tuwe gracious to the poor men tunoto ba kuna ngani eh kuti muna anzams kwa vangeri atenda kune vangeri and pays attention to what the lord is saying being gracious to the poor men it all comes from the lord so i think i'll end here for now na mama thank you thank you so much thank you so much we are enjoying it and uh, as we keep on reading the scripture pastor yes. Yeah. to my day in verse 17 mm. he that pay that has pity upon the poor lends unto the lord yes and that which he has given mm. will he pay him again which means if you have given <laughs> the, if you were gracious yes the lord will also be gracious yes. because he is going to give you back that which you have given him. He said, and that which he has given, will he pay him again? Yes. So he has to repay. It's a reciprocal <laughs> situation exactly. here. Exactly. I, I feel pity on you. <laughs> and you feel pity on me. So the mystery still needs to be revealed. Elder yeah, Jeremiah is there. Yeah. To help us. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the mystery is on the poor man. Yes. Was it? Do you remember that key? No, no, but the idea to is. Yeah. 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 Was it? If you look at the verse in Job chapter mm. forty-one. Forty-one. Yes. Yeah. Apa na niye the poor man. No. Apa apa. We were learning. Kuti chino zweta kuti muari. At I will pay you. You. Chini ge chi chini ge chambuitika. Was it? Job forty-one is telling us. Dia na kambu pa muari kuti muarazo mupa. Yes. Yes. That statement is clear. Yes. Mm -hmm. Who is giving Given to, to God, God that God should give him? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But here in Proverbs, mm -hmm. there is an aspect of is you giving or to whom someone now. Yeah. Who yeah. is yeah. giving? You are to gracious God. to whom? Is yes. mm -hmm. no sweet out to Marat. Ah, can I what are now? Danish query. Danish query. Teach in a child. So nobody yeah. yeah. aspect of the poor man. Yes. The father guys are the poor man elder to say. Am I, as you are teaching, you are saying, if you look at the KJV rendering, mm. it says if you have pity upon the poor, yes. it did not specify the main aspect. Yeah. So he was saying, is it the poor village? Mm. Is it the, <laughs> <laughs> yes. the poor community that yeah. you are? Yes. Which, to whom are you? Expressing your sympathy or yeah. your empathy, yeah. whom are you feeling this pity upon? <laughs> and then the Lord is ready to repay you. Yes, <laughs> that same thing that you have owed yeah. him, <laughs> he is ready to repay. Saka, saka, ino buda chete pastor. Yeah, tika, 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 nzwisi sanya gudi. To whom are we doing it? Yes. yes. Yes, to the poor man. To the poor man. That is unto our Lord. Yes. That's the correct poor man. Yes. Mm. yes. And not yes. anybody else. Yeah. Yeah. The definition <laughs> so, of the poor man yeah. now is yeah. what we are learning. That's right. Yes. yes. And then how to give to him, mm. how to be generous to yeah. him, mm. how to be gracious to him. Yes. It's also what we are learning in the bus like gesture. Uh, brethren, I believe everyone is ready to go for the <laughs> Part two of the <laughs> <laughs> yes. of the bus just uh, to learn more from there. Uh, yes, sure. yes, thank you. Everyone is ready. I, I'm very, very sure, uh, Pastor, mm -hmm. uh, for the second part. But uh, uh, talking about the poverty of the Lord, uh, we, 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 we are coming here to an end, brethren, uh, on our testimonies. But I just would like to point out that uh, the Lord had a vile body. Mm -hmm. yes. The vile body he was given to, to him by God in Hebrews chapter 10, verse 5. That's, that's what he said. But a vile body is a mortal body, is a physical body, <laughs> is a body that has limitations, is a, is a, is a, is a body is a body that gets tired, as we saw in John chapter 4, verse 2. Mm -hmm. It's a body that is fashioned as a man. Mm -hmm. And he came from the seed of Abraham. It was a a, a, a natural body, and that's what his poverty was. That that body, uh, that was his nature. Uh, 
it was temporal according to Second Corinthians 4, verse 18. The, the things that are seen are temporal. Mm -hmm. yeah, the, the things that are not seen are, are eternal. Yes. So that body was a body that perishes, Second Corinthians 4, verse 16. Mm -hmm. So he was poor in that aspect. It was the aspect of his nature, as we saw in Philippians chapter 3, verses 20 to 21. So lending to the Lord, lending to the Lord is lending, is, is being gracious to this poor man, and this poor man is our Lord Jesus Christ. Ah, brethren, we always, always run out of time. There's so much to learn from the Word of God. The, the, the scriptures are just pregnant with meaning, and the revelation that have come to us through the apostolic assignment of Apostle T.F. Chiwenga is just uh, humongous, it's just huge. We always run out of time. So once again, we have run out of town time and we are going to go into a, a, a very short tete-a-tete -tete and then uh, we don't, don't move off your seat, your seats because we want to go on to the next, uh, next stage of this segment of our midweek service. Stay with us.
Yes, uh, believers, we shall continue with our service. Uh, I want to greet you all, and I want to thank God for those who have managed to be here today with us so that we could learn the word of God together. Um, it's, it's a blessing to be alive today we are going to learn, if not now, a little bit later, that life indeed is an unmerited gift. Hmm. It's a discretionary gift that God has given out. It's unfortunate that the days of grace are such that God follows the principles without really coming to push us every now and again to walk within the framework of his guidelines. And because of his seeming quietness, we have concluded that we are to live uh, to our own and for our own purposes. But there is a day when God will require your soul. Mm -hmm. And he will do so without any hesitation. Yes. He will tell you today is your last day on earth. Mm -hmm. And if you have not had somebody to tell you that God is the sole owner of your soul, mm -hmm. of your life, you are going to have the shock of your life. Mm -hmm. And you are going to realize that you wasted a gift that God had given. Wow. Mm. As much as you would try then to say, let me reason with God, mm -hmm. he won't allow you to reason with him. Mm -hmm. It will not be permissible for you to say, give me another week or another year to sort out myself. Oh, mm -hmm. It will be a very, very painful discovery mm -hmm. yes. that I could have listened mm -hmm. I could have lived for God. Yes. Mm -hmm. I could have walked the life that God had designed for me. Mm -hmm. I walked away from God and never gave him audience. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so it's a gift to be alive. It's a gift yes. Yes. which will be taken without your consultation. <laughs> On that day, God will not ask you whether you are ready to go or not. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You go. Mm -hmm. Even when you are not prepared. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and those who be mourning you at your funeral, mm. they will be giving reasons. Mm. He could have stayed for another decade to raise his young children. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. And God will say, if there's an issue with the children, I can take them as well. <laughs> I don't really have issues with taking children's souls. Can I say, Hey, as <laughs> Dienda and snack butter shiri, vana vano de ruanani. Taij gore as yes in the manning an age. Tono kanga. Apana tambut, as a genita way. Kutumuzere way shiri, wenji vai. Mamutora ea chini vai cheche. Vano saranan. Tai patango tavasku sarava cheche. Ijezi, tulauto nukanga mkanwa, na yu, na zinyinga na zizu. Saka umuari wataka tendi wa pasta kuita na muari. We play God in different facets of life. And God gives us that role so that it won't be difficult for us to understand his godly duties upon our lives. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, let's thank God for the gift of life. Amen. 
on account mm. of the gift of life. Yes. We are here in yes. the service. Yes. Hallelujah. We can't actually invite the dead from mm -hmm. the cemetery mm -hmm. to attend the service. No. Mm -hmm. You need to be alive to attend the service. Yes. Saka upenyo, uno wenyama, chipo foot, chaka vakuna mwari. Tino kwa zera, uye tino fanirwa kuti mwari timtende, kuti akatipa icho chipo cha upenyo. Yes. Isu tine makaya kuti tito mtenda, zwaka nyanya, Nekuti tino ziva zwa tiri kura ramira. Mm -hmm. Kuna wangu wa kura ramira mkondo we saza. Oh, yeah. Ne nindi zenyama. Yeah. Ne marata, ne raba. Mm -hmm. Doza wa kura ramira. Mm -hmm. Isu tine chinangwa chaka kosha kudarika jeni izo zo. Mm -hmm. Saka, kana tikapua upe nyo toti ishe tino kutendai. Yes. Mm -hmm. Shichida mangwana tine chumwe cha tichaita, chicha kufadzai. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uye chichaita kutitive mizio, mm -hmm. ichaende sa umambo wenyu mberi. Mm -hmm. Tisha ndisei sezo wa munoda. Yes. Atina chingwe chipenyu chatinga ite panika ino. Yes. Chisina kumboi tukwa neva katitangira. Mm -hmm. Chatinga nzisu, tazo itambiri, mm -hmm. yegu discover another way to, 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 to achieve a greater purpose mm -hmm. outside God. So the message is, the Basilai gesture, part two. The Basilai gesture, part two. Let me pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your mercies. They are a marvel to us each and every time. We continue to ponder and wonder what exactly inspired you to reach out to us with, with such a love with such kindness and with such a grace. We do not consider ourselves befitting this grace. We do not consider ourselves merited to be found in your kingdom with such functionalities that you have given to us as the sons of the kingdom. We are serving you with all our hearts and we desire that we may be perfected more and more so that we may realize greater value as we serve the King of Kings. We are asking you, Lord, to help us today understand more concerning your kingdom and what is expected of us to unlock certain levels of grace and provisions from you, which require our understanding that we may function in the light of those principles directed to us. We shall learn these principles gradually according to the liberality by which you dispense these mysteries unto us. We desire that you may strengthen us to understand, give us a hunger that matches the gravity of the matters that are coming to us from you that we may not lose the treasures of heaven to the birds. We want to honor you, Lord, because we are your people and you are a jewel unto us. Without you, we are nothing. It was your sacrifice that brought us to the grace, to the house of grace, and we continue to honor you for such an invaluable sacrifice. Thank you. Amen. So, um, Pastor, in a minute, what comes into your mind now from what we have covered as you remember and re recollect what we covered in the Basil Ijes chapter 1? Yes. Thank you, Amai. Yeah. The Proverbs 19 verse 17 scripture is the most, <laughs> yeah, Part two of it, this is what I am expecting to learn in this sermon. It says, He that has pity upon the poor lends unto the Lord, and that which he has given will he pay him again. This is where uh, am I am expecting the Lord to teach us more on this, that that which he has given, can I give something to the Lord 
and why he, does he want to give me uh, that which I have also given to him? So the, the whole sermon itself is uh, quite interesting. We are learning a lot of things right from day one as we were doing even the revision, the testimonies that were coming in. We could see that uh, we are never able to lend to God anything by ourselves. As we were now hearing from Job 41 verse 11 there, that the Lord owns everything. And I was uh, thinking about it to say uh, the David as a king, he would say, I have given to you, but what is it that I am giving you? It is that which you have given me again. So to think that I can lend God something and he says, I am, I, I owe someone here on earth something. That's the most interesting part am I, that I'm expecting to learn in this uh, part two of the Basilai gesture. Pastor Chuma, there's pastor answered my question. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe yeah. you have also forgotten my question to her. I think she she, she has tried to answer your question, uh, am I, but uh, maybe not, no, not to your satisfaction. <laughs> but uh, Pastor, uh, okay, okay. Pastor, do you still remember my question to you? What I heard from you, I don't know if it was the question. What I heard <laughs> from you, what I was answering, was what I am expecting in this uh, sermon. Okay. But the question was, what one thing do you still remember from the sermon that we preached the last time? What oh. was one thing you still remember from the last sermon? All right. Yes. One thing I remember is that which, uh, which caught me the most, the issue of one lending to the poor man. One lending to God. Yes. Because remember, the, the, we then had to rely on the uh, English Standard Version. Yes which said, he who is gracious to, God, to the poor, to the poor man. Mm -hmm. yes. is yes. actually lended to God. Yes. Mm -hmm. God will repay him mm -hmm. for his good deed. Yes. So we took the whole sermon mm -hmm. into discovering, does the Bible instruct under this scripture mm -hmm. that we must give to the poor? Every time we meet <laughs> poor people, that in turn, mm -hmm. God may be a debtor to us. To us. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. yes. So we, 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 we covered a lot of things. Mm -hmm. yes. All right. Pastor Chuma, what was the highlight to you on part one? Yes, thank, thank you. My, uh, the biggest highlight to me, and this is what is still uh, boggling my mind, is uh, it was mind-blowing to me that the Lord uh, came from heaven and put on a vile body. Having put on a vile body, we then had to learn what he had removed of himself, what he took off. That, to me, is mind-blowing. Can you just imagine somebody living in Borodel, and then you have to send them to go and live in Mudiro 5, all the way from Borodel. That's, that's going to be very, very painful for them. But, in but their port was in Borodio, Pastor. <laughs> and electricity also goes. There is load shading in Borodio. <laughs> I, I, I would want to think that for, for any example to meet the criteria, mm -hmm. whatever place we are going to refer to, mm -hmm. yeah. it has to be a near perfect place. All right. All right. Yes. And right. don't forget that Borodio is where all the thieves <laughs> that have stolen from our country are living. Ah, okay. <laughs> right. right. So <laughs> I would want to ask to trade carefully. Okay. <laughs> In such examples, those who stole 15 billion from the diamond uh, uh, proceeds, yes. 
They are the ones who build the mansions in Borodio. All oh, right. So the Borodio <laughs> mansions you are looking at right now, they are evidence of crime. Okay. <laughs> On a different day, we are going to have those title deeds as exhibits mm. in a court of law. Mm -hmm. Evidence of crime. Mm. <laughs> so it's, <laughs> it's, it's kind of controversial. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Thank you, my. <laughs> but uh, the point I was, I was trying to make. I'm getting your point. <laughs> okay. Someone coming from a near, a perfect place. Yes. Mm -hmm. A place of abundance. Yes. yes. A place of glory. Yes. Mm -hmm. Abroad, your wooden feet. It's a sad on a car. But let's hard. let's consider yeah. someone coming from a beautiful place, mm -hmm. a flawless place, mm -hmm. a crime-free place. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because heaven, remember, yes. represents a holy place. Amen. Mm -hmm. And this is why Borodio is not the right example. Yeah. It's yeah. a hive of criminals. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. You understand? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So, all right. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I get you. Yes, thank you. My it's the humility of the Lord. Yes, mm -hmm. it's the humility of yes. the Lord. So, what, what, what he removed now, John chapter 17, verse 5 says, And now, O Father, glorify thou me, with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before, before the world was. So the Lord had the glory. This glory he removed when he put on this vile body. And First Timothy chapter 6, uh, verse 16 says, who, who only has immortality dwelling in the light, which no man can approach unto, yes. whom no man has seen, nor can see, to him be honor and power everlasting amen now this is these are the things that the lord removed to come and put on that, that vile body so that we may be rich this is mind blowing to me and it was a very very huge highlight uh, during that teaching i'm still meditating on it right now thank you am i yes 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 I want to advise us to try to be diligent today to labor in the scriptures so that we may conclude this matter in anticipation for the Cyrus genealogy crisis, which is also <laughs> simmering <laughs> on the stove. Mm, all right. It will be shared on Sunday. Mm. Amen. So we really have a crash program. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, th this, this, this church, after some decades from now, those who are going to be opened their hearts to believe, mm -hmm. they are going to wonder mm -hmm. why we treated these provisions of God mm -hmm. generally. Mm -hmm. yeah you do not understand the amount of power mm. that is saved and, 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 and stored in these sermons. Mm -hmm. Because these sermons, outside these sermons, you don't understand the Bible stories that we all perused and, 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 and flipped the Bible pages over. Mm. We couldn't make any sense out of them. Mm -hmm. There's so much power in the teachings we are giving to you. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't look down mm -hmm. upon these teachings. Yes. Yes. If Paul was to come here and, and to, to, to come back to this earth, he would say, wow, after all, I thought that I had exhausted the provisions of God oh, in the scriptures. Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. yes. We are a highly blessed Amen. people. Amen. But in order for us to enjoy the word, mm -hmm. We need to remember yes. that in the process of preaching the word, mm. we are simply searching to discover how Christ is hidden yes. in those scriptures. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Search the scriptures, yes. for in them Amen. you think you have eternal, eternal life. life. They yeah, are they okay. that testify of me. Amen. When this ministry started, we fixated and, and, and we gazed at Matthew chapter 11, mm -hmm. verse 27. Yes. Mm -hmm. Which is our theme scripture. Mm -hmm. This is the scripture that the Lord gave to me. And he said, this scripture describes the work I have given to you. Mm 
-hmm. You will find this scripture on our logo. Yes. Mm. It's a summary of what Chiwenga was sent to do. Mm -hmm. The Lord said, all things yes. are delivered unto me by my Father. Mm. Yes. And no man knows the Son, yes. but the Father. Yes. Mm -hmm. Neither knows any man the Father mm -hmm. except the Son. Mm -hmm. And he to whomsoever the Son will and reveal. Will. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely exclusive. Yes. Mm -hmm. Having access into the divine, mm -hmm. having power, mm -hmm. ability to understand the mystery of God, mm -hmm. which has been hidden in ages. Mm -hmm. Now, for some time, I, I, I received this scripture and the Lord said, this is the description, this is your job description. <laughs> and I want to tell you, in 2013, I did not like this scripture. Okay. Mm -hmm. I put it aside. I said, I will understand it later. Okay. How can I explain it to anyone that mm -hmm. this is something to do with the work I'm sent to do? What exactly yeah. is it talking about? Yeah. It was through the continuation of the ministry mm -hmm. that I realized that apart from everything we might uh, find excitement about this scripture. Mm. There is actually a dare devil, a pledge by the devil, by, mm. by the Lord was himself. There is a pledge. There is a, a declaration of war. Mm. He dares the whole world in Matthew 11, 27. He says only one man, only somebody that I am willing to reveal Amen. myself Amen. to him. Amen. That's the only person who will know me Amen. and the Father. Mm. Now it's time for you to buy your Bibles and start churches. Let's find out if I am honest with my pledge. Mm. It's like a battle declaration. Mm -hmm. Let's go to war. Mm -hmm. right. Let's see how many uh, semesters of theological programs are you going to attend yes. until you discover the Son through education, until you discover God mm. through university mm. programs. That's the scripture. Ishe, nation natingati ishai, they say, ishai beja. Matthew 11, 27, ishai beja. Kutiva not vaka chenjera, chenjera. Vano tsanya ndai mno tsanya. Vano na mata na matai. Vano kire makomo, kire makomo. Vano kanda zipo, kanda zipo. Vano rota rotai. Rotai. Inde ndiripan. Hakuna anu mbofaka kandi ziva. Kunze kwa kunge ini. Ndi chida kumuzarurira. Hallelujah. Ma bai beritenga kada ma version 100. Uzadze sheriff ni ma version. Amplified version. Revived standard version. Good news Bible. And spend 18 hours a day studying the Bible. You will never know the son. There's one condition in knowing the son. Is he willing to reveal himself? That's right. He says no man. No man. That's the, the, the bed. Mm. Yes. Not many men. He said mm -hmm. no, no man, man knows the son. No man. Neither knoweth any no man, man the yes. father mm -hmm. except the son. Mm -hmm. He's the only one who knows the father. Yes. Mm -hmm. And anyone to whomsoever the son mm -hmm. will reveal him. Amen. So it is the job of the son to reveal himself and the father. Mm -hmm. Amen. And this is why John chapter 17, you have cited in that scripture, yes. the Lord said in verse number six, I've manifested thy name Hallelujah. unto the man which thou gavest yes. me yes. out of the world. Yes. He said, I have revealed your name. Ndaka zaru razita reenyu kuwarume wa makanga mandipa. Ini, ndaka zaru razita reenyu baba. Hakuna ano mbufaka rabama gwaru. Haka ziva baba. Kana mgana koman. Mm -hmm. Amen. So it's, it's an amazing mm. scripture. So when we open scriptures, the Lord has revealed something. Yes. The search we are doing tonight is not looking for the Lord. 
I am taking you through a journey <laughs> which the Lord has already taken me through. Amen. Mm. Amen. We are not here to find out if we can pick up something mm -hmm. no. about the Lord. Mm. No. The Lord has already spoken to me. Yeah. Yes. And he said, look at this mystery. Look at this secret. Mm. Go and show my Amen. children. Yes. Mm. And we, we, we are required to sit and relax and to calm down. Mm. Yes. And to want to go into that journey. Mm. What has the Lord Jesus again mm. revealed to this man? Yes. We have never sat and stood on the pulpit to share about Manuchu and Mangai. No. no. And Magusberry. No. <laughs> nema, nema, neshkwama. Each time we come for the service, there's something the Lord has spoken to me about. Yes. That's, that, that's one thing I can tell you for certain. Is in Drokuza in Daka Sununguka. Yes. Akusatu Kambeta Zora Tino Gara, Tishdak Zid Sana Shogramari, Tishdak Tochaga, Tishafamba say. Chino to repo carriage at Totor Wanashi. Chudak Zid, Wapam Sonopa, Jesso. Chat to honor Kuvi Gokoka from getting Fanong. Indica to Shamakar, Isa, Jitotor and Yogdai. Yes. The Katosham Sigakari. Yes, yes. 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 What we want to do is to remember the scripture we set on, on Sunday, Proverbs mm -hmm. nineteen seventeen. Yes. And we are continuing to remind everyone that we focused more on the NASB and the ESV to simplify the word PT. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Because if we use it on the literal aspect, mm -hmm. it will actually degenerate us into confusion. Yes. There is no man who can have pity mm -hmm. on his Lord. No. We can't sympathize on Jesus. No. Mm. But these are dark sayings of God. They will need to be interpreted. Yes. yes. You understand? Yes. yes. One who is gracious to a poor man lends to the Lord, and he will repay him for his good deed. Mm. So I want us to highlight the word repay. The word repay. The word repay, believers, is a connotation of settling of accounts. Mm -hmm. People do not pay debts if there are not no accounts to be settled. Okay. Yes. The word repay mm -hmm. is an indication of judgment day. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, yes, yes. Ukanz wamwa rangoti repay chete kano waka change jira sunga chuno nyaza agutor wepa ponde the judgment day Romans chapter eight Romans there are so many scriptures it's chapter twelve verse nineteen. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, mm -hmm. but rather give place unto wrath. Yes. For it is written, vengeance is mine. Mm -hmm. I will repay, repay. says yes. the Lord. Lord. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 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 So the scripture begins with a somewhat non-committal approach. Just be gracious to the poor. Mm -hmm. The Lord will sort you out. Mm -hmm. But when he then mentioned the word repay, repay, the Lord was no longer talking about just returning a favor mm -hmm. to those who are being kind to the poor. He was talking about the end of life, yes. the judgment day. It is something that is connected with the day of vindication, mm. the day of wrath, the day of reckoning. Mm. Accounts shall be settled. 
and everyone shall be asked to account to God. And, and this is something amazing because when you don't worship God, yes. you would think that probably those who are going to be asked to account mm. are those who go to church. Mm -hmm. okay. But judgment is not a church affair. Mm. It's a heaven and earth affair. affair. Yeah. Heaven shall demand the earth to pay back its debt to God. Wow. Mm. One of the things that everyone shall be asked to account for by mm. God mm -hmm. is the life that you lived. Mm -hmm. okay. I yes. gave you life. What did you do mm -hmm. for me mm -hmm. with the life I gave you? Wakaite, wakandi tirawochi, ne upenyu wangu, upenyu wanga uru wangu. Iwa una upenyu, indini msik, indini mridzi wa upenyu. Chicha wakandi tirawo. Let us calculate the number of hours I put you on earth and let's see what I got from those hours. Mm. And it's, it's now time to explain what stopped you from saving me with the life that I had already given. What are your present excuses? So this is the day when God shall repay all those that are uh, have owed him. But if you are not ardent in following me, you will not understand and see that there is a confusion in what I have just said. Because when we say God shall repay, mm -hmm. we have already put God into a data. Okay. You understand? Yes. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says God will repay everyone as if God owes everyone. Now, if you are going to imagine this, Pastor Chuma, yes. how can God owe both the righteous and the wicked ones? Okay. Mm. <laughs> what kind of a debt does God owe the righteous ones? And what kind of a debt does God owe the wicked, the wicked ones? ones. Mm. Okay. You see, mm -hmm. so God has already said, I am going to pay all debts all debts will be paid. Mm. And yet, it doesn't make sense. Because in our present day life, the data is on a weaker position mm. than the, the one who has been borrowed. Mm. So if you are the creditor, you have power over your data. That's not how heaven addresses this indebtedness. Mm. God is the one who is more powerful. Mm -hmm. And yet he says, I will repay mm which means this is not something that we should uh, apply with our physical world understanding. Yes. So the principle that God uses to use the word repay mm -hmm. is that if anyone does wicked to God, yes. if anyone does something that, that offends God, mm -hmm. God will say, I owe you what you have done to me. Okay. I will bring it back to you. All right. Mm -hmm. So God owes you wickedness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you did good, you did wickedness towards God. Mm -hmm. And now God says, it's my time to pay you back. Saka uninga wa itira mwariji, saka rurama, mwaronyo rapa, sikuti, izi ndoja wa ndi itira weji, mtemu wa kururama. Right. Right. Yes. <laughs> 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 <
Waitira mungari chikwele tiche shaka naka. Mungari uno badrafti chikwele tiso so. Asano zitosela shakari shaka itasei. Shaka kura au chendira na nisaizi. Yake mungari. Yes. 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 Mungusona. And this issue of size is an amazing issue. Considering the beauty of where God lives. And the things that he has said we must do to qualify to enter his heaven you realize that it is actually a free ticket to heaven. Mm -hmm. Because heaven that was designed by such a high and mighty God mm -hmm. is a greater place. There's nothing earthly that can qualify men to enter heaven. Apana chine tukwa panyika, chino qualify samunu kuenda kudengu. That's why I said it's a marvel. Yes. Yes. There is nothing men can do on earth mm. That can render them qualified mm. to enter heaven. Mm -hmm. Heaven is so big, every currency that we can have is too incompetent mm -hmm. to pay for the heavenly ticket. Yes. And after God realized that, I've established an institution. I want to bring men from earth to here. Mm. But they can't qualify now. The tickets to go to heaven are too expensive. Yes. Mm. The earth is too broke. Mm -hmm. How can I make it possible for them to come here? He then said, if that is the case, then it's up to me to devise a plan. Okay. Let me pay for that ticket myself. Yes, <laughs> yes. So yes. God brought Jesus mm -hmm. and his heavenly nature and blood mm. is the currency that we are now required to use. Amen. To pay God to enter heaven. Yeah. We are going to enter heaven now based on heavenly currency. Yes. This is why Peter says, silver and gold are corruptible currencies. Mm -hmm. We needed a better currency, yes. mm -hmm. the blood of Jesus, Amen. to yes. enter heaven. Yes. yes. Ato maruta, apara jaringa piwe, kutuwa nbawe kuno, chile gendito yende sa currency ya jwe nipanyi. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Saka taakwenda kudenga, ne ticket laka badar wa ne mari ya kapa kudenga. Yes. yes. My dollars are quan. Mm. The place is too big. Mm. So this is the principle of repayment. Mm. It's a connotation of judgment. Yes. Yes. So having realized that whoever is gracious to the poor is God to his debt mm. or in his debt. Mm. We want to understand why would God lower himself that much. Mm -hmm. We then realized, no, the matter was not concerning our poor people mm -hmm. in our societies. Mm -hmm. The poor man that Proverbs 1917 was talking about was revealed in Ecclesiastes 9, 13 to 16. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was Jesus Christ. He qualified to put God into a debt yes. on account of his rescue operation towards the little city. Mm -hmm. I'm sure we are all uh, still remembering that. But what we did on Sunday is we could not read Matthew 25 properly. Mm -hmm. We just referred to it. It's time to read it from verse number 31 to when, verse number... We, we will see maybe up to verse number 42. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. And before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divides his sheep from the gods. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the gods on the left. So, so the beginning of this passage, this parable, mm -hmm. of the sheep and the gods, yes. mm -hmm. the Lord was clear, I'm going to come back and I'm going to, to separate, to divide mankind into two groups. Mm -hmm. On the right, I shall put the believers. Yes. They are the sheep. Mm -hmm. On the left, I shall put the unbelievers. Mm -hmm. They are the gods. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we want to find out what is going to be the basis for this division. Mm -hmm. Okay. What criteria are you going to use, Lord, 
to say this one is a sheep, mm -hmm. let him go to the right. Mm -hmm. But that one is a goat, mm -hmm. he shall go to the left. Yes. Yes. If, we, if we can identify this now, probably those goats are going to say from today onwards, I'm going to do as much as I can to become a sheep. Okay. Yes. Ishe, chavakati, ndichai sama kwa ikurujigi, ndo isa mbuzi kuru boshkwe. Wa isha ndi sa mto upi. Wakutu uyu uyu munu uyu, igwa yu munu uyu. Asi uyu imbuzi. All right. Let's see the method by which those which were put to the right qualified to become sheep. And those who were put to the left qualified to be treated as gods. Yes. Verse number 34. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come, ye blessed of my father, mm. inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was in hunger, and you gave me meat. This is their qualification. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You are entering into this kingdom. Yes. Mm -hmm. Remember, it was prepared for oh, you, you. Yes. Mm -hmm. even from the beginning of the world. Yes. yes. This is why I am putting you into heaven. Mm -hmm. This is why I am rewarding you with this rest, with this crown. Yes. I was hungry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You gave me food. Yes. 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 I was thirsty and you gave me drink. Yes. I was a stranger and you took me in. Yes. Naked and you clothed me. I was sick and you visited me. I was in prison and you came unto me. Yes. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when so Suddenly, we be... Suddenly, mm -hmm. they were described as sheep. And mm -hmm. now... Now they are actually described <laughs> as yes, the righteous. righteous. Yes. yes. So the scripture is not addressing church goers or Christians. No. Mm -hmm. no. These which are going to be put to his right. Yes are not those which qualified to wear the church uniform. Mm -mm. No. We see that we are in the Anglican, in the Catholic Church. They are righteous. Yes. Yes. Huh? Yes. I love the word righteous mm -hmm. because it is different from the word holy. All right. Okay. Holiness is a baby of righteousness. Mm -hmm. okay. Holiness is a fruit of righteousness. Okay. <laughs> which means what we need yes. is not yes. holiness. Yes, we need righteousness. Yes. Amen. And once we get righteousness, mm -hmm. it's now natural mm -hmm. to become holy in okay. our everyday lives. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. So when we say you are not behaving like a child of God, mm -hmm. We are describing your state of holiness. Mm -hmm. It's a fruit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If that person had never, never received imputed righteousness, mm -hmm. there shouldn't be such an expectation. Mm -hmm. It's a taboo mm -hmm. to expect holiness from someone who has not yet received righteousness. Oh, yes. Holiness is something you can put an effort towards. Mm -hmm. Righteousness is a gift from God. Yes. So the Lord was not asking them to enter into the rest based on their acts of holiness. No. It was based on what he had given Amen. them. Mm -hmm. Righteousness mm -hmm. is a gift from, from Christ. Amen. Amen. Is that true? 517, the book of Romans. Mm -hmm. If you are struggling with gossip, you are struggling to live a life of holiness. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't really bother you until we establish whether you received righteousness or not. Mm -hmm. If you did not receive righteousness, it is unwise to expect you to be to stop gossiping. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because you still have the nature of sin. Yes. What is natural is for you to continue gossiping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is why the true church is not uh, so fixated towards the issue of a moralistic message. Thou shalt not, thou shalt not, thou shalt not. Stop wearing miniskirts. Stop smoking. Stop fornicating. We are not really so much into that message. Because all those sins are fruits of your nature. We can't speak to the dog the whole night. Mm -hmm. 
and then ask it to try bleeding and stop barking in the morning. Mm. <laughs> that could be a very, very uh, unfortunate case yeah. of a DHD bipolar disorder, mm. schizophrenia <laughs> and delirium combined in one person. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> you are a dog. It is your nature to bark. Yes. Anyone who speaks to a dog trying to cause it to stop barking mm. is fighting a lost battle. Yes. You are actually fighting nature. It's actually <laughs> heretic. Mm. May the dogs continue to bark. Mm -hmm. This is why the message of Christ begins with regeneration. Yes. Be born again. Mm. When you are born again, you lose the nature of a dog and you get the nature of a sheep. Mm -hmm. It is when you get the nature of a sheep that we start demanding that you stop barking. Mm -hmm. Amen. You are no longer a dog. Amen. You are now a sheep. a sheep. Why are you still barking? Mm -hmm. Well, men of God, I have been barking for the last 54 years. <laughs> I'm still trying to stop <laughs> barking. Yeah. Each time I try to bleed, I realize I have already barked. Mm. But I'm doing my best. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you, you, you give me some credit. Mm -hmm. On Saturday, I didn't bark the whole day. <laughs> I thank God for what happened on Saturday. <laughs> but since then, it has been a struggle. Mm -hmm. That's the gospel. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. Telling someone who has not received the Holy Spirit to stop sinning is like telling a dog to stop no, barking. Mm -hmm. It's his nature to mm -hmm. bark. Mm -hmm. Yes. This is what the law of Moses was doing. Oh, yes. Thou shalt not, mm. thou shalt not, mm. thou shalt not. Mm. They continued to do it. Mm. What the law of Moses did was telling people the standards of God. Yes. It did not give people the ability mm. to achieve those standards. Right. Yes. They were still sons of Adam, mm. subservient mm. to sin. So we, we, we shouldn't forget this. Yes. yes. But this is something that I find intriguing as well. Okay. Each time I talk about imputed righteousness, mm. I find myself very excited. Right. Mm -hmm. Because, to be honest with you, mm. what we meet on a daily basis mm -hmm. is something that is too fast for someone who lives for the greater part of your day in your flesh. Your consciousness is a carnal flesh yes, consciousness. Yes, yes. You feel your body more than you feel your spirit. Mm. The temptations of sin are carnal. Yes. And yet it is the spirit man who must cause the man, the carnal flesh, mm. to abstain from sin. Mm. That disconnection <laughs> is why even though you are a child of God, you always find yourself with a propensity to sin. It has to be by reason of use, as also spoken of in scripture, that you learn to live in the body, but with a spirit-based consciousness. Mm -hmm. I'm no longer a flesh. I'm no longer a flesh and blood. I'm now a spirit. So everything that comes to you, you slow down yes. and make a spiritual judgment yes. before you react. Mm -hmm. And this is why sometimes people say, you seem to be getting more and more introverted. You are no longer so energetic to engage, especially on matters of public concern. When people are so hyped about something, you introspect from a spirit perspective and you realize that this is a world goods chase. I cannot win anything. These people are all sons of Adam. They all carry the nature of sin. There is no wisdom in this conversation. Even if I win, there will be no results in this victory. <laughs> Let me leave them to this nonsense. Mm -hmm. So you say, no, it's okay. You can continue. Mm -hmm. And they think you are afraid to engage. Mm -hmm. You are reserving your energy for something more important. Mm -hmm. All right. I want us to look at two scriptures concerning imputed righteousness. Mm -hmm. For us to know for a, of a surety that imputed righteousness is a gift received from Christ. Mm -hmm. It is from this gift that we are required to use it
to live in it, yes. to bring the fruit of holiness. Yes. What is imputed righteousness? It's the nature of Christ. Amen. Amen. That's the easiest summary to imputed righteousness mm -hmm. definition. Mm -hmm. Romans 5.17 For if by one man's offense death reigned by one, yes, much more they which receive abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one, Jesus Christ. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. The gift Mm -hmm. yes. of righteousness. righteousness. Did you hear that, Pastor Right? Yes, the gift of righteousness. Are you expecting that you are going to work very hard in your faith until you achieve righteousness? It's, it's just received. It's the gift. It's, 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 it's insane to, to try to achieve something that you have already received. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's like pregnancy. The yeah. woman can say, I'm working hard to get pregnant. Uh -huh. You're already pregnant, madam. Mm -hmm. Settle down. Yes. Mm -hmm. If it is a free gift, a gift by Jesus Christ, Amen. a gift from Jesus Christ, yes. then that means we can't make it to heaven by our oh, own yes. achievement. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Because if what God wants is righteousness, mm -hmm. then it's a gift from Christ, mm -hmm. which is why I said we received a currency from Christ, mm -hmm. which is a currency from heaven. Amen. Mm -hmm. It's a heavenly currency, mm -hmm. the only currency accepted at the entry gates of heaven. Mm -hmm. It's the grace of God, the righteousness of Christ, Amen. the faith by Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So Amen. what does verse 18 say? Therefore, as by the offense of one, Judgment came upon all men to condemnation. Even so, by the righteousness of one, the free gift came upon all men unto justification of life. It, it's, it's actually something that he continued to discuss. Mm -hmm. Free gift. Mm -hmm. Free gift. Okay. You, can, you can read it in your own time from verse number 15. Mm -hmm. He continues to say, the gift the gift, the gift. Mm -hmm. Righteousness is not our own achievement. No. Mm -hmm. It's a gift. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. But it's also known as imputed mm -hmm. righteousness. Yes. Mm -hmm. According to Romans chapter 4, from verse number 20, he was talking about Sarah yes. and yes. Abraham. So he said, Abraham staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief. Mm -hmm. Yes but was strong in faith, giving glory to God. Yes. And being fully persuaded that what he had promised, he was able also to perform. And therefore it was imputed to him for righteousness. Yes. Now it was not written for his sake alone that it was imputed mm. to him. Yes. But for us also, mm. to whom it shall be imputed, yes. if we believe on him that raised up Jesus our Lord from the dead. It shall be imputed to us. Mm. The word imputed, mm -hmm. it simply means delivered, yes. mm -hmm. imparted, yes. laminated to your spirit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No one can remove mm -hmm. the imputed righteousness mm -hmm. that you received from God. Mm -hmm. This is why God expects us to live a holy life. Amen. Mm -hmm. This imputed righteousness answers the how question as concerning holiness. Mm -hmm. How can I live a holy mm -hmm. life when I live in a body that is so desirous to live a sinful life? Mm -hmm. All the wicked things that God hates, my body loves to do those things. Mm -hmm. How can I uh, manage the concupiscence of my body, mm -hmm. the lasciviousness of my body, the excesses of my mm -hmm. body. Mm -hmm. The answer is imputed righteousness. Mm -hmm. It's the power and the nature to overcome sin. Mm -hmm. So it's a seed from which God is expecting a fruit. Mm -hmm. Holiness is a fruit. 
-hmm. Righteousness is a seed. seed. Amen. And you are the soil into which God planted the seed. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. So when we can't produce the fruit of holiness, we are actually sinning against God. Mm -hmm. The law of the seed does not allow a farmer not to get his fruit okay. once he finds fertile ground mm -hmm. and plants his good seed. Mm -hmm. Imputed righteousness is the seed. Mm -hmm. Holiness is the fruit. fruit. Let us bear fruit unto God mm -hmm. yes. and show him that he did not waste his seed mm -hmm. when he planted it in us. Yes. Let's leave this one. I just found it as an exciting matter mm -hmm. which I could not just walk away from. Yes. Pastor Chuma? Yes. Amen. The Lord said, He shall speak to the righteous mm -hmm. and He shall say unto them, uh, Lord, Lord, the righteous shall say unto him, Lord, when, when did we see you hungry, mm -hmm. thirsty, and we gave you drink? Mm -hmm. Yes. When did we see you a stranger and took you in? Mm -hmm. when, were we, when were you naked mm -hmm. and we clothed you? Mm -hmm. When did we see you sick or in prison mm -hmm. and visited mm -hmm. you? Yes. The Lord said, these are the righteous ones. They shall ask the Lord. Mm -hmm. we, did not, we do not remember mm -hmm. finding you in distress mm -hmm. and helped you. Mm -hmm. We don't remember meeting you at any point. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said what? The king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as you have done it unto one of the least of these, my, my brethren, brethren. Mm -hmm. you have done, done it, it unto me. me. Yes. Then so we wanted to show you that this matter concerning grace towards the poor mm -hmm. is a judgment matter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. First of all, these ones that are described as the sheep are the righteous ones. Yes. And this is not an interpretation. Mm -hmm. It's a position of scripture. Mm -hmm. They are the righteous ones. How did they become the righteous ones? Lest we start to want to emulate them. Totizwavo, wakangavari wa chene. Wakangavari wa karura mamamari. Now, believers, do you, did you know that it is on account of imputed righteousness that we qualify to be described as saints? Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. We are not saints because we don't commit sins. Mm -hmm. We are saints because we received imputed righteousness. Mm -hmm. In Shona, is we are to say, you know about our training? Yes. And it is. Saka holiness mabasa ekururama. Righteousness uchene. Saka uchene uno vakuna mngari. Chiri chipo. Chino zo bereka mabasa ekururama. Yes. Bereka imabasa ekururama. Nekuti makapi wa uchene wa mngari. Dozi nofani waku parizu wa shichitwa. So they received righteousness from Jesus. Yes. This is why the scripture says, the king shall say unto them that are on his right hand. Mm -hmm. It's verse 34. Yes. Come, you blessed of my, my father. father. Mm -hmm. The scripture does not say, come, you hard workers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come, you mm -hmm. holy mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. who stopped smoking, mm -hmm. who stopped drinking, mm -hmm. who stopped beating their wives. Mm -hmm. who stopped stealing from their companies mm -hmm. of employment. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. The reason why they were coming to inherit the kingdom prepared for them from the foundation of the world. Mm -hmm. They were blessed, blessed of, of the Father. Mm -hmm. Because anyone who has received imputed righteousness mm -hmm. is indeed blessed of the Father. Yes. Because imputed righteousness is a blessing. Yes. Absolutely. It is one of the spiritual blessings mm. that God gave us in heavenly places Amen. in Jesus Christ. Christ. In Ephesians 1, verse 3 and 4. Yes, mm. We don't need to read it. Wonderful. 
So I just wanted to make sure this thing is very clear mm -hmm. because the basal gesture mm -hmm. is a very delicate matter. Okay. Mm -hmm. It is not something that everyone can say, I want to be involved with. Mm -hmm. It targets a specific uh, a, a quadrant of our population. Mm -hmm. is in the elect population. The elect population. Mm -hmm. From Matthew chapter 25, mm -hmm. you can tell that the Lord is not surprised by any one of these sheep. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one is here. <laughs> I never thought this one would come. We will come, we will come. Mm -hmm. We will done give bed. You were a drunkard and a male, a, a, a male chauvinist and a wife beat and a thief. How did you come? And a pedophile. Yeah. We wondered when, when you were going to get back into your own senses. Mm -hmm. Oh, you've made it to come here. <laughs> oh, give this Gilbert a big chair. Let's clap it for Gilbert. <laughs> he changed himself from a man given to debauchery. Mm -hmm. Look at him now. He is now a saint. There was no surprise. Among all the sheep, the Lord was not surprised with one of those sheep. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one is here as well. No. Mm -hmm. He said, come, you blessed of my, my father. father. Inherit the kingdom that was prepared for you from the foundation of the world. This is the doctrine of predestination. Yes. This kingdom of heaven, it was prepared for you before Adam was created. <laughs> God knew he would make it. Mm -hmm. Settle down. Yes. Welcome home. Yes. We were yes. expecting you. Yes. So salvation is not surprising God with a soft heart towards repentance. Wow. Salvation is responding to a pre-existing plan Amen. and fitting snugly Amen. into mm. that plan, mm -hmm. Amen. which Amen. God is expecting you to yes. fit into. Yes. Yes. They are yes. no surprises. Yes. yes. You understand? Yes. Hallelujah. We are going to need this information. Mm -hmm. How did he say, come? Mm -hmm. Ah, Blessed Stephen, what we are we? I was waiting for yes. you. The Lord receives a sinner mm. whom he was expecting. Amen. This doctrine of choosing to follow Jesus mm. is not only bogus, it is actually a doctrine that only those who have lost their mental balance would believe. Mm. Otherwise, God can't receive someone whom he was not expecting. Mm -hmm. Can we surprise God? No. no. <laughs> Can we surprise God with our repentance? No. No. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 <laughs> Woe is he that strives with his maker. Mm -hmm. All right. So, the issue is about going to heaven. And we were asking, what qualified them? Well, among other things, mm. I was hungry. Mm -hmm. Yes. They gave me food. Yes. Mm -hmm. I was thirsty. Mm -hmm. They gave me drink. Yes. I was naked. Mm. They, they gave me clothes. Mm. I was a stranger. They received me. Mm. I was in prison. They mm. came to see me. Visited me. I was sick. They visited, visited me. Mm. This is the reason why I am allowing them to come. Mm -hmm. From all the things you may imagine, what shall qualify people to enter heaven? It's about giving water to Jesus. Amen. <laughs> it's Amen. about giving yes. some pieces of food Amen. to Jesus. <laughs> Amen. That's what it says. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So if we had identified Pimbri Mano in Proverbs 19:17 and mm -hmm. said, mm -hmm. He is the poor mm -hmm. that we must be gracious <laughs> towards for God to repay us. Then Matthew 25 should say, the poor was hungry, mm -hmm. you gave him food. Mm -hmm. The poor was thirsty, mm -hmm. you gave him drink. Mm -hmm. The poor was naked, you gave him clothes. 
That's not Maybe the scripture. Mm -hmm. The scripture says, I, I was, was hungry. Mm -hmm. I was. Mm -hmm. So you may not have realized that when Jesus said, I was hungry, I was thirsty, I was a stranger, I was naked. Mm -hmm. These are simply further elaborations of the life of a poor man. Yes. The Bible in Proverbs 19, 17, it simply says, be gracious to a poor man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What makes him poor is described in Matthew 25. Mm -hmm. He can't feed himself. Mm -hmm. He can't find a drink. Mm -hmm. He can't have clothes. Mm -hmm. He can't have anywhere to sleep. Mm -hmm. He is a stranger. Mm -hmm. Look who is sick. Mm -hmm. Look who is in prison. Mm -hmm. This is the poor man. Mm -hmm. So when we say, uh, what does the Bible mean? God says, I will repay him, mm -hmm. whoever is gracious mm -hmm. to the poor. Mm -hmm. The repayment is in Matthew 25. Mm -hmm. Amen. In verse 34, mm -hmm. come you blessed, blessed of my father, mm -hmm. inherit the kingdom prepared for you from, from the, foundation the foundation of the world. Of the world. This is God mm -hmm. repaying the dead. Amen. Think about it, Pastor Chuma. Mm -hmm. Jesus says, I was hungry. Mm -hmm. You gave me food. Yes. So the question is, what is he going to get? This man who gave Jesus food mm -hmm. when he was hungry. Mm -hmm. Well, he shall come and inherit the kingdom, kingdom. <laughs> prepared yes. for them from the foundation of the world. Yes. This is now the repayment. Yes. Mm -hmm. But Proverbs 19 says, the debt is not paid by the poor man. Mm -hmm. It no. is paid by God. By God. Mm -hmm. So we go to Matthew 25. Yes. Mm -hmm. Who prepared this kingdom God. from the foundation of the world? The answer is, come you, blessed of my, my father. father. Amen. It is the father yes. who pays the debt. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. What method of studying scriptures, mm -hmm. pastor, do you think one could have employed to connect the Proverbs 19, 17 with Matthew 25? Kuwerenga magwaro ruzi, kungadaye kwa tishita pana Matthew 25. Munuwega achi verenga magwaro. Kutisaka bababa warukunzi vacha badara chikweleti. Lano badara say, mm. iyo vesi ache. Mm. Vachans, pindai mu umambo wa mngari. Mm. Wamaka gaziriri wana baba kubapa kubambo kwa kwenyika. Yes. Saka mngarucha badara chikweleti ichi. Neku pinza wa nengi wa etira murumbo shaka naka. Mu umambo wawo waka gaziri wa nyika esati ya mm. Pastor, mm. what manner of reading the Bible could have led us to this connection. There is no man am I except the grace of God. If he then chooses to reveal it to you, like what we were learning earlier. Yes. From Matthew 11, 27. Yes. yes. That's w only when, that's the answer that I can give to that. Right. And when I was looking at it, when you were explaining imputed righteousness, I was looking at it to say, this imputed righteousness was done before the foundation of the world, mm. of which today I cannot claim that I, I can be righteous in mm. any way. Mm. Because it has to come from him, as we have learned, that it's a gift from the Lord. And since it is given to us, but here there is an indication that there is a pe the period when we were given or when you were given mm. this imputed righteousness to say it was prepared for you mm. from the foundation of the world. Yes. And coming back to Proverbs 19, verse 17, am I, there was no way in which I could link this to Matthew 25, All especially right. the issue of the repayment when you then said the repayment it's the judgment. It's judgment day. Yes. That's why Matthew 25 says, when the mm. Son of Man shall come, come yes. in his glory. Yes. yes, that's the judgment It's judgment day. day. Yes. yes. And yet he's using the poor man's principle mm -hmm. to execute judgment. Yes. yes. <laughs> and this is how much mm -hmm. this message is important, Amen. Pastor Chuma. Amen. Mm -hmm. If you are wondering, is this message important? Mm -hmm. This message we are having now, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is going to determine how judgment shall be executed. Amen. Mm -hmm. He is going to apply the poor man's principle mm -hmm. to decide who enters and who doesn't. Yes. Mm -hmm. Pastor Shuma, 
Yes, am I? Your 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 ex your 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 reaction so far. Ah, uh, am I? This uh, there, there is no method. Even if a man come comes up with a, a, a thousand and thousand and tens of thousands of me me methods to unveil all this, they will not because they need a password. Without this password, you cannot. And that password is only Holy Spirit, revelation of the Spirit, the re revelation of Jesus Christ by the Holy Spirit. That's the only way. Thank you, Amai. Right. So we are now dealing with the gods. Remember, there are two people, mm -hmm. two groups. Mm -hmm. Yes. The sheep are those who took in mm -hmm. the poor man mm -hmm. when he was a stranger. Mm -hmm. They gave him drink when he was thirsty. Mm -hmm. They gave him food when he was hungry. Mm -hmm. He's a poor man. Yes. On account of their graciousness, mm -hmm. the Lord said, come mm -hmm. and inherit the kingdom. They asked it, why are we entering the, the kingdom? He said, I was poor. You were gracious to me. Mm -hmm. Proverbs gave a summary. Mm -hmm. The Lord expounded on that summary. Mm -hmm. I was poor. You were gracious to me. Enter the kingdom. So this couldn't be something light to look at lightly because if they were actually entering into the kingdom mm. on account of their grace to the poor man, mm. why then are we looking down upon this message, mm. this right. doctrine, this right. principle? Mm -hmm. right. mm. Kwa muda kutipinza mumambu wa munga rine kuda kwee. Shuka nzandi ni nzara mkandipa shoku jika. It's pay big time. Yes. You see? Others are going to say, well, we don't do that. We won't give you water. When you are hungry, we will never mm -hmm. give you food. Mm -hmm. You are on your own. Why can't you feed yourself? Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens to to the second group of gods. Then shall he say also unto them on the left hand, Depart from me, you cast, into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. Mm. For I was in hunger, and mm -hmm. you gave me no meat. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and you took me not in. Naked, and you clothed me not. Sick, and in prison, and you visited me not. Then shall they also answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee in hunger, or a thirst, or a stranger, or naked, or sick, or in prison, and did not minister unto thee? Then shall he answer them, saying, Verily I say unto you, inasmuch as you did it to one of the least as of these. As you did it not in, to one yes, of the least of yes, these. Yes. You did not. To me. to me, yes. And where shall this go? And these shall go away into everlasting punishment, mm. but the righteous into life eternal. Amen. Huh? Yes. Amen. <laughs> Judgment. Amen. Judgment. Yes. Amen. Eternal, everlasting punishment, yes. mm -hmm. or life eternal. eternal. Mm. 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 Amen. So what we did last Sunday is. We showed you that the poor man principle did not end mm -hmm. with the ascension of our Lord to heaven. Yes. Mm -hmm. Since his poor, his days of poverty were his days of the flesh. Mm -hmm. Once he went to heaven, we no longer know him after the flesh. Yes. Yes. So these scriptures should have expired mm -hmm. since the ascension of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But Matthew 25 now mm -hmm. is the turning point. Because when he gave these parables, this parable, pastors, yes. when the Lord gave this parable, yes. mm -hmm. in both the circumstances, mm -hmm. the righteous asked, when did we see you hungry, mm -hmm. thirsty, a stranger, naked, mm -hmm. and we gave you all these things? Mm -hmm. Did you know this, brethren, that he excused himself mm -hmm. from that answer? All right. <laughs> he said, I wasn't there. <laughs> It was my little ones that you met. Mm. <laughs> you couldn't have seen me poor. Mm -hmm. wow. You couldn't have seen me hungry or thirsty. Mm -hmm. The time would have expired. Mm. Yes. I personally will not be on the scene. Mm. 
So he said, you didn't do it to me personally. Mm -hmm. You did it to my least ones, mm -hmm. the one of the least of my brethren. Amen. Mm -hmm. So in this parable, mm -hmm. the poor man's principle mm -hmm. is actually more applicable after his ascension right. than what happened in those 33 mm -hmm. years. Right. Yes. You understand? Yes. Mm. Yes. Paraboi, il kuto adresa, mazuva yekunge ia asisipo. Asisipo. Nguva yekunga adzo, kera kudenga. Yes. Doe achato yari murombo yoyo. Do pano torine ansa yekuti mkato ita shaka naka, mchato pinda denga. Kudarika pangari munyama. Urombo wake huya wa munyama huya wa. Ausiri wa uchapinza wa nudenga. Urombo uchapinza wa nudenga. Urombo wake, urombo wake asisipo. Amen. Yes. But the principle yes. ino ramba ya jishanda. jishanda. Mwaya mchene, ndia wako representa Christ. Mm. Ari munyama, mm. but kwete ya jeso. Mm. Ari munyama, ye mumwe wevara ndalake. Aleluya. Mm. So, every believer mm. is not one of the least of his brethren. brethren. No. The scripture does not say, as much as you did it to my brethren, mm. in which case all believers could say, do, miss, could do good to me, <laughs> Christ is living in me, mm. the hope of all glory, mm. and you will enter heaven. Mm. No. no. You are going to realize that it's actually impossible. Mm. If this mm. principle applies to all believers, it could be impossible. Mm. I want you to keep these words. I will clarify it soon. Mm -hmm. As much as you did it, not to, to my, my brethren, brethren. Mm. but to one of the least, least of these my brethren. Mm. Mm. So among the brethren of Christ, which are all believers, mm. Mm -hmm. there are those which are called the least. Yes. Mm -hmm. These are the ones in which Christ is going to be living mm -hmm. at the point of his poverty. Amen. Which list ones are those? First Corinthians 4, verse 9. First Corinthians 4, verse 9. For I think that God has set forth us, the apostles, last. Last. As it were appointed to death. Huh? For we are made a spectacle unto the world, and to angels, and to men. Ah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The word the list of my brethren yes. addresses apostles, <laughs> pastors, teachers, and evangelists. These are the list of his brethren. Hallelujah. Wow. Yeah. Am I? wow. Before wow. you come in, Pastor, <laughs> wow. let's go to 1 Corinthians 15, 7. Mm. It's another scripture that will show you that he's talking about apostles. Yes. yes. And inside apostles, you also find pastors. Mm -hmm. teachers and evangelists. Yes. They are born of the apostles. They are also included. Mm -hmm. Paul was that. discussing about who saw Jesus after he rose from the dead. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. After that, he was seen of James. After the resurrection, Jesus was seen by James. Then of all the apostles. He was also seen by all the apostles. And last of all, he and was seen. And last of all, who saw him? He was seen of me also. Oh, Jesus was seen by you as well. As of one born out of due time. Tell us more about yourself, Paul. For I am the least of the apostles. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. The word least is there. Mm. Hey. I am the least of the apostles. Mm -hmm. Why? Mm -hmm. That am not meet to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the church of God. The least are the ministers of the gospel. Mm. On the basis of two things. Issue number one, when you are seated down on the table, pastors, yes. mm -hmm. we come and we go into a dining room. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter whose house we have visited. And we sit on the table. Mm. Between those who are seated on the table mm -hmm. and the waiters, who is more honorable? Those who are sitting. 
If we are sitting on the table mm -hmm. and then there are two ladies with aprons on, mm -hmm. they are bringing food bowls mm -hmm. and dishing food to the guests seated on the table. Mm -hmm. Between the waiters and mm -hmm. the waitresses mm -hmm. and the guests on the table, mm -hmm. who is more honorable? It's the guests on the table. You understand that, right? Yes. Yes. And this is why only the honored are the ones qualified to sit on the table. Yes. Mm -hmm. Others will be seated on the grass. Mm -hmm. This is a high table. Yes. Mm -hmm. If mm -hmm. you ask her name, and then you have a dish machine, you have to take a nook. You have to take a nook. Kana mango pawa and zichkaf monogara panza, the nzivaj givaka sununguka. So the ones which are set on the table mm -hmm. and the ones that are dishing food, mm -hmm. the ones that are set on the table mm -hmm. are the ones that are relaxing. They are the ones that are doing their lunch. Yes. Mm -hmm. The waiters mm -hmm. are not having lunch. No. They are at work. work. They are working. Yes. We go to restaurants, all of us. Mm -hmm. When we see waiters and waitresses, are they having lunch? No. Mm -hmm. no. They are the ones which come to take orders. Mm -hmm. What do you want to eat today? Mm -hmm. They are actually on the job. Mm -hmm. So the ones who are having lunch are the guests. The waiters and waitresses mm -hmm. are doing work. Mm -hmm. So the reason why God described the preacher as a list among the brethren, yes. mm -hmm. it is because during every church service, mm -hmm. yeah, you will be eating mm -hmm. while we will be dishing. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Amen. Can you follow this, Pastor? Yes. yes. I am dishing food right yes. now. Yes. I am not eating. eating. Yes. Mm. You are the ones eating. Yes. yes. The guests yes. are enjoying themselves. Yes. yes. <laughs> are you not enjoying yourself? We are. We are. <laughs> Yes, Pastor, yes. <laughs> are you am enjoying I? yourself? Yes, uh, I am. Am I? And to come for a change, the the nyanya could take care of my pamata na ngura nyaya kuti ishevari munyama. I see the young guy who are kanga vai nzara. Yes. Can I tell you? Kanga vai ninyota. Can I tell you? Guwa ya chunde inu iruhar kunzi ishevani nzara. I see. I see. Vasina was with Pio, was Kugona, Kuapa, Chikaf Chavar, good Tisha, Chavar Guda, Kuvakati, Saka Kurea Kuti. The Holy Spirit dispensation is Nesh. Dion Guva, Eo Ishevar Kutara Guti, Makanduan and Dinin's Aras, Mugasandipa Chekujiga, Mugandon and Dinin Yota, Mugasandipa Chekunwa. Makandu on and Chirwar. Negutia had Tina Ishem Guaya or Yamunyam. But I come on Squagu to Musu, Wangawakara or Chirwazo and him so can I tell him Chipata. Can I Musu attack and go to a Ganga Shai Chikaf, even the Varimunyam? Saka Zanditra Saka Naka Sanyato Jeka with the Chokwadi, Guer Kure one Dioy. This is the time. Yes. The time. So the Lord said, you didn't see me. Yeah. In Matthew 25, yeah. they said, where did yes. we see you? No, he no, said, no, you didn't see no, me. Didn't see I don't me. want to lie to you. No. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, mm. when I was hungry, yes. we never met with you. No. Mm. You did it to one mm. of, of the, the list lists. of my, these, yes. my brethren. Yes. Mm. Luke chapter 17 says the following in verse 7. But which, but which yes? Oh, but which of you having a servant plowing? Which of you having a servant plowing yes. or feeding cattle? Feeding cattle will say unto him, "By and by, when he is come from the field, go and sit down to meet, and will not rather say unto him, Make ready way with I may sup, mm. and get thyself and save me till I have eaten and drunken." And afterward, thou shalt eat and drink. You see? Yes. <laughs> Let's end it there. Yes. The, the, the key matter in Luke 17 mm -hmm. is, is a servant. Oh, yes. yes. The, the Lord was talking about a servant. Mm -hmm. He said, which one 
mm-hmm. among you, yes. having a servant mm-hmm. who would allow his servant mm-hmm. to sit down mm-hmm. before he has eaten himself. Mm-hmm. The law of servitude yes. declares that the master eats before, before. the servants eat. Yes. Yes. During the time for the master eating, mm-hmm. the servant must be laboring until yes. the master has finished. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. So God has humbled the preacher mm-hmm. that every time a son of God needs to eat, mm-hmm. the preacher does not sit to eat at the same time. No. Mm-hmm. He labors. Yes. Mm-hmm. And this is why the Lord said, the preacher is one of, of the, the list. list. Yes. Of my brethren. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Second Corinthians chapter four, verse five. Second Corinthians chapter four, verse five. Chapter four, verse five. We want to show you that the preacher is a servant, is a list in what way? Mm-hmm. For we preach not ourselves, but Christ Jesus the Lord. Yes, what about we, ourselves, the preachers? And ourselves, your servants, for Jesus' sake. Did Amen. you hear that? Mm-hmm. Yes. Who is a preacher to you? <laughs> your servant. servants. He's a servant. Yes. Mm-hmm. And the word you does not mean you own the servant. No. It simply means providing a service to, to you. you. Yes. yes. You understand? Mm-hmm. Yes. So the preacher is wasted Mm-hmm. while providing a service to you. Mm-hmm. This is what God has done to the preacher. Mm-hmm. Humbled him. Mm-hmm. And so God looks at the preacher mm-hmm. as one of the least of, of his, his brethren. brethren. Yes. You understand? Amen. 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 So this is the principle of the poor man. On Sunday, we just looked at who is the poor man. So far, we have showed you the repercussions Mm -hmm. of ignoring the poor man. man. It's eternal destruction. Judgment. Mm -hmm. This is judgment day. Mm -hmm. But if the man of God is is the one that is the Lord talking about in Matthew 25, so it is the poor man. The the man of God is the poor man. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. The man of God is not the poor man. Yes. The man of God is a vessel. Remember 2 Corinthians 4, 7. Mm-hmm. Yes. We have this treasure yes. in yes. earthen, earthen vessels. vessels. Yes. So the words earthen vessels is referring to the preacher. Yes. The word treasure is referring to the word of God, Amen. which the Holy Spirit has deposited mm-hmm. inside mm-hmm. the earthen, earthen vessels. Vessel. Yes. So the poor man remains Christ. Mm-hmm but he's manifesting in the preacher. Mm. Mm. This is why they were wondering, both groups, the sheep and the goats, Mm -hmm. but when did we see you hungry? Mm -hmm. We understand your state of poverty, but we don't understand if we ever met Mm -hmm. during your poverty days. Mm -hmm. The Lord said, oh, by the way, you don't understand. Mm. It's not going to be happening with me in person. Mm -hmm. I will be inside one of these list of my brethren. Yes. So Christ is in the preacher mm. and is still pursuing the rescue operation. Yes. The little city mm-hmm. besieged by a great king mm-hmm. who has built the great bulwarks against it. Mm-hmm. The Lord is still rescuing mm-hmm. sinners. Mm-hmm. Everyone who says I'm a believer right now in Jesus' revelation ministries, has been rescued. Mm-hmm. Pastor Irengui, Yes. Jesus rescued you. Oh, Amen. Yes. Pastor yes. Chuma, yes. Amen. Jesus rescued you. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. He is the poor man yes. rescuing the little city Amen. with a few men in it. Yes. Yes. Amen. yes. So if we say Apostle Chuenga is the poor man, mm-hmm. we are saying he is the rescuer. Oh, yes. Mentioned yes. in Ecclesiastes oh. chapter 9. Oh. No. The servant of God yes. is not, not the poor, the man. poor man. man. He no. is the vessel yes. where the poor, poor man, man is using yes. or operating from yes. to rescue the little city. Amen. 
Despite his absence physically, Jesus is not here in person mm. with a body. Mm. But he is the one who rescued you, my dear. Yes. Jesus redeemed you. Amen. Jesus rescued you. Yes. Jesus touched your heart. Jesus opened your heart to mm. believe. Mm. Jesus revealed to you mm. the truth of the kingdom of God. Yes. Yes. And by this truth, you were rescued mm. from heresy. You were rescued from distractions. Mm. You were rescued from condemnation. Yes. Now you are a child of God. Amen. The rescue operation is still going on. Yes. Mm -hmm. The poor man is still rescuing the little city. Yes. Mm. Until the day of Christ, mm. he continues to reach out. There is an outreach. The poor man is actually mm. On a mission mm. to rescue more men. Oh, yes. yes. Those who are in Australia, mm -hmm. the poor men reached out yes. to Australia yes. to rescue yes. you yes. from the very menacing great king yes. who Lord. had built a great bulwarks mm -hmm. of ignorance, mm -hmm. of sin, of heresy yes. against your salvation. Mm -hmm. Jesus is the poor man. Amen. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter it's on Monday or it's on Friday or it's on Sunday. Jesus, Jesus is the, is poor, the man. poor man. Mm. He continues to use the poor man principle to rescue the little city yes. from the great king. Yes. Yes. Jesus remains the poor man. Mm -hmm. But how is he doing it? Mm. He's using earthen vessels. Yes. 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 What is he yes. using? Earthen vessels. Earthen vessels. vessels. Mm -hmm. And this is what makes him poor. <laughs> <laughs> this is what makes him poor. Yes. In verse uh, 3 of 2 Corinthians 11, mm -hmm. Apostle Paul tried to shed light mm -hmm. on the complication of the poor man principle. Yes. Look at the strength of this poor man, mm -hmm. despite the greatness of the king, the great king. Yes. But the poor man is still yes. defeated yes. the great king. Oh, yes. In that poverty status, yes. the great king was defeated. Yes. Uh, 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 he yeah. took upon him the, the form, form of, of a servant. servant. He was found in, in fashion, fashion as, as a man. man. Mm -hmm. In that man fashion, yes. the devil was defeated. Yes. Hallelujah. Hey. Don't Hallelujah. look down upon <laughs> yeah. the poor the man. man. <laughs> it doesn't mean that is ineffective. No. It doesn't mean no. that is vulnerable. No. The great no. king mm. was no. beaten to a bow yes. by the poor man. Yes. Yes. Up to yes. now, yes. the great king has yes. never showed any sign yes. of daring the poor man again. Yes. <laughs> the Lord was conquering. The Lord oh, yes. conquered the devil, mm -hmm. even in his poor state. Oh, yes. Yeah. So the poor man principle is a tried and tested principle. principle. It works. Yes. Amen. The devil is afraid of this poor man yes. principle. Yes. The devil was defeated. <laughs> he couldn't stand the Lord. Yes. Even in his poor man status, mm. the devil couldn't stand it. Wonderful. Amen. Wonderful. So when you look at Paul. Don't look down upon him being an ordinary man. Yes. What kind of preaching can this man say unto us? What babblings are these? Hey. Don't look down upon the servant of God. <laughs> yes. This poor man yes. principle yes. is yes. a tried and tested principle. principle. God inside a human body, yes. he can achieve the unachievable. Amen. He can move mountains. Amen. Amen. Great bulwarks of sin are falling down yes. as we see and yes. we, we are going to be watching. Mm. Look at the beauty of the testimonies we are receiving every day oh, yes. Yes. of people who were literally pulled by their hands mm. by the Lord, mm. coming out of dungeons yes. of yes. sin, yes. reading and, yes. and soaked in sin, yes. they came out. Yes. And now they are now very sound mm. in their speech. Amen. Like that man who was a demoniac yes. in yes. the cemetery. <laughs> the Bible says when the men of his city came, came. Yeah. they found him seated <laughs> yes. in his sound Damn mind. mind. He was now calm. Yes. Look at how calm you are. Um, mm. Do you know that you were not in your shrine for rolling over in the floor? <laughs> Each time the man of God started saying, out! Yeah. People say to one another, it's time for her to roll, her, to roll on the floor. <laughs> People knew you. 
When you were yeah. still held by the great bulwarks. Amen. Yes. Amen. The poor I mean, principle is effective. Yes. The Lord rescues the sinners mm. from a human body. Mm. Yes. It works. It works. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Don't look down upon the poor man principle. Yes. yes. And this is why the Lord said, this poor man principle, mm -hmm. I want to elevate it. Yes. It is going to be the only reason <laughs> by which people will enter heaven. Amen. Come and enter heaven. Mm -hmm. You reacted well to the poor man. Yes. <laughs> it's enough. Yes. yes. Hey. The Bible does not say, come you blessed of my father mm -hmm. and enter into the kingdom prepared for you mm -hmm. from the foundation of the world. Mm -hmm. For you were speaking your local language mm -hmm. and you started mm -hmm. speaking in tongues. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord did not mention tongues, my dear. <laughs> Because the tongues shall cease. Yes. Prophecy Alleluia. shall fail. Yes. But the charity will Amen. never fail. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. 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 So you have to be gracious yes. to the poor man yes. Yes. that is loving the Lord Jesus mm -hmm. with all your heart. Yes. <laughs> Let's come down. We have to turn on the heat a little bit. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this is just a parameter which we were covering. <laughs> okay. It's a parameter. Mm. <laughs> but let me give you a breather for about a few minutes. Speak to one another and say, have you seen how we traveled and transitioned from part one to part two? Mm -hmm. Can you see the connection mm -hmm. between Proverbs 19:17? And Matthew 25. Yes. Mm. Wonderful. Let's, let's have a solid understanding mm. before we open a can of worms. Oh. Stay with us. <laughs> oh.
or Pastor, lest we forget, let's read 2 Corinthians 11, 3. But I fear lest by any means as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety, so your minds should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. Mm. You see? Mm. Yes. Now, as much as we have read this scripture so many times before, mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. what is apparent today is that Paul was not talking about his own simplicity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He didn't say, you may be corrupted from mm -hmm. the simplicity that is in me. Mm -hmm. No. He was talking about the simplicity which is in Christ. In Christ. Yes. The question is, which simplicity? Where is Christ? Mm -hmm. The answer is, the simplicity of Christ is that he continues to rescue the city. Mm -hmm. Amen. But this time he doesn't find it robbery or bad or unbefitting mm. or embarrassing mm. to fit into another vessel. Mm. Wow. He is comfortable inside the poor. Mm. Yes. yes. He is inside the poor. Yes. Hallelujah. And he continues to rescue the city. Mm. Mm. When someone is described as simple, it simply means he is down to earth. Yes. 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 He is not pompous. Mm -hmm. He is not full of himself. Mm -hmm. He is humble. Mm -hmm. So what is the simplicity of Christ? Mm -hmm. You can't see him. Mm -hmm. He is inside the poor. Yes. Yes. And everything that Jesus was doing is now done by the apostles as far as ministrations are concerned. Yes. Yes. Of course, he's still there with a higher level of presence mm -hmm. where he provides abilities to ministers. Mm -hmm. But Jesus was preaching. Jesus was teaching. Mm -hmm. He no longer does that. Mm -hmm. The preacher is now teaching. Amen. He spoke about it in Matthew 28, verse 19 mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. 20. Mm -hmm. Go, therefore, and teach Church. all nations. Yes. yes. Baptize them in the name of the Father, yes. the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Mm. Teaching them to observe not, all. Not only were they sent to preach, mm -hmm. they were also sent to teach. teach. Mm -hmm. Now, people do not understand that since they were apostles, mm. their job is majorly in teaching mm. than in preaching. Mm. <laughs> Apostles only preach when they are doing evangelical programs. Mm -hmm. But the majority of apostolic work, ministerially speaking, is teaching. The teaching. Yes. They give believers sound doctrine and yes. depth mm -hmm. in the mysteries of Amen. Christ. Yes. Amen. And that requires more of teaching yes. than of preaching. Preaching. Yes. preaching, it means evangelizing. Mm -hmm. Preaching, it simply means introducing the doctrine of Christ. Okay. Mm -hmm. Preaching involves the harvest of souls. Yes. Amen. So apostles can preach, but they are more biased towards teaching mm -hmm. than, mm -hmm. preaching. than preaching. All these things that Jesus is commanding his apostles to do, mm -hmm. he was doing it. Yes. yes. You understand? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. He was doing it. Mm -hmm. Mm. He was preaching, he was, he was teaching, teaching, he was, he was baptizing, baptizing as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is the simplicity, Pastor. Yes. The rescue operation continues. Mm -hmm. Amen. And Jesus is the one who continues to do it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Everyone who is rescued cannot give credit to the preacher. Yes. No. You were rescued by Christ. Mm -hmm. The preacher is like a glass from which we drink the water. Mm -hmm. We won't say thank you to this water glass. Mm -hmm. no. It's a vessel mm -hmm. that the people are using mm -hmm. to exchange the goodies yes. of their existence. Yes. Mm -hmm. So Apostle Paul says, we have this treasure, treasure. Mm -hmm. in earthen yeah, vessels. Yeah, so. The question is, who is holding the earthen yeah. vessel? Mm. Yeah. If you are going to drink water from a glass, mm -hmm. someone must give you water yes. with that glass. Yes. Yes. Who has given you water, water with that glass? Yes. It's Christ. Amen. Yes. That's the simplicity. Amen. Mm -hmm. 
That's the simplicity. Yes. Not of Paul. It's the simplicity of Christ. Amen. Yes. Amen. He is so simple, he doesn't mind mm. saving you yeah. from Apostle Chuenga. Mm. He is so simple, he doesn't mind mm. saving your soul from destruction mm. from Pastor Irengu's body. Amen. He is so simple, Jesus. Amen. He doesn't mind preaching to you mm. using the voice of Pastor Baloy. Amen. That voice that others are not comfortable with. with. Jesus <laughs> is comfortable <laughs> preaching the gospel Amen. of salvation yes. using a voice that others are not happy about. Yes. Saving the city. <laughs> Saving the little city. She voice Chababa, Shundi Mara man. Yes. 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 So let us take this message to a higher dimension. All right. Remember, the message is Basilai. The Basilai yes. gesture. Yes. And yet we have not said a bit about Basilai. <laughs> Don't confuse yourself. <laughs> we are not lost. So, <laughs> so we are not going to talk about Basilai now. Mm. We are going to talk about Nabal, the Camelite. Mm -hmm. okay. It is Nabal who introduced <laughs> us to Basilai. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. It is Nabal who introduced us to Basila, the Gilead died. Mm. So David has already defeated Goliath in the valley of Elah mm -hmm. in 1st Samuel chapter 17. Mm. Yes. So David is a type of Christ mm -hmm. whose mission is to rescue the city. Mm. Yes. David has already rescued mm -hmm. Israel yeah. mm -hmm. from the Philistines. Yes. Mm. Remember, Goliath was a very terrifying man. Mm -hmm. Yes. He had declared that if he had defeated their champion, mm -hmm. all the nation of Israel mm -hmm. shall save the Philistines. Yes. Yes. David was sent by his father, Jesse, mm -hmm. to, res to rescue the nation from the embarrassment of Goliath. Mm -hmm. So David said, I will fight mm -hmm. with Goliath. Yes. yes. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yes. I will fight with what? Goliath. Goliath. With Goliath. Yes. Mm -hmm. To show you that the doctrine of the poor man mm -hmm. is the one that God continued to propagate even in the time of David yes. mm -hmm. when he faced off with Goliath. Mm -hmm. Verse 38 of First Samuel 17 says the following. And so armed David with his armor. And so armed David with his armor. And he put a helmet of brass upon his he head. He put a helmet of brass upon David. Also he armed him with a coat of mail. Mm. He was given an expensive coat to mm. protect himself mm. and to present himself as a great warrior. Mm -hmm. Yes. And David gathered his sword upon his armor and he asked to go. David he... attempted Mm -hmm. He attempted to go to the battlefront. Mm -hmm. Yes. While he was wearing the the arm the armory mm -hmm. or the, the combat mm -hmm. outfit yes. of the chief, the mm -hmm. commander in chief. Yes. Remember, Saul was the king yes. of Israel. Mm -hmm. He was the commander in chief. Mm -hmm. So when Saul failed to fight, to confront and fight Goliath, mm -hmm. David said, Let me fight with Goliath. Yes. And so David so decided. David must present himself mm -hmm. as a very well-trained and well-groomed soldier. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So Saul put <laughs> the armor of Saul upon David. Mm -hmm. And David attempted mm -hmm. to go to the battlefront mm -hmm. while he's wearing army uniform. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And he asked to go, for he had not proved it. And David said unto Saul, I cannot go with this. I cannot go with your armor, mm -hmm. your armor. Mm -hmm. Yes. For I have not proved them. These, these clothes <laughs> of yours yes. are yes. not battle tested. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. So you have never fought any battle and won. Yes. How can I try these? Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. These um, um, uh, 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 combat <laughs> uniforms of yours. Yes. Did David continue <laughs> with these clothes? No. And David put them off him. Mm. So eventually, mm. David fought Goliath yes. with his simple mm. shepherd clothes. Amen. Yes. He did not Amen. put Amen. an army uniform. Yes, Amen. yes, yes. yes. The simplicity of Christ, yes. we have just read about yes. in 2 Corinthians 11, yes. 7, yes. is the same simplicity mm-hmm. that David had mm-hmm. when he killed Goliath. Goliath. Yes. Remember the scripture says, Jesus did not put upon him the nature of angels, mm-hmm. which are the armies of heaven. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But he took upon him the form of Abraham. Yes. The form of a servant. Yes. So David was a servant. Mm -hmm. You see, an ordinary boy who is looking frail, Mm -hmm. unprepared. Mm -hmm. And 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 yet he is the one who killed Goliath. Yes. Those who were wearing the ephod <laughs> of the Levitical order mm. with yes. the meter upon their heads and the mm. breastplate of judgment and mm. the onyx stones, yes. the yes. priests of Israel. Amen. Yes. They are not the ones which <laughs> defeated the sin at Calvary. Yes. David, yes. Jesus, yes. who said, I am Hallelujah. the good shepherd. Mm-hmm. When David killed Goliath, mm. he was a shepherd. When Jesus defeated the sin, mm. he was a shepherd. Hallelujah. Amen. Look at the simplicity. Amen. Yes. Amen. So we are now in chapter 25 people. Mm. Goliath died a long time ago. Yes. yes. Mm. Eight chapters behind. Mm. Mm. That's when David had already rescued mm-hmm. the city. The city, the yes. little city, yes. He has rescued the city. Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. But he has got his own people to rescue. Yes. Remember, Saul was planning to kill David mm-hmm. and his wives and his children. Yes. So David was still rescuing mm-hmm. his own family yes. from Saul. Yes. Yes. That's when he went into a poverty situation mm-hmm. in Mount Carmel. <laughs> so Nabal is an example of what the gods did to mm. Jesus in parable, All in right. Matthew 25 parable. Right. I was hungry, right. you yes. gave me not food. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Number met Amen. David, Amen. he gave David not yes. food. Yes. And what happens to the gods? Uh, you shall go uh, into the lake of fire. Uh, yeah. Reserved for yes. the devil and yes. his angels. Yes. So yes. let's see if David was poor mm. in Mount Carmel. Yes. And we want to see if Nabal gave food to David. Yes. And we want to see what mm. happens mm-hmm. if you are not gracious to the poor man. <laughs> the poor man. According to Proverbs 19.17. Yeah. What happens <laughs> if you are not gracious to the poor man? <laughs> Huh? <laughs> yes, yes. All right. Verse number five. Mm-hmm. First Samuel 25. Mm-hmm. And David sent out ten young men. And David said unto the young men, Get you up to Camel, and go to Nabal, and greet him in my name. And thus shall you say to him, that liveth in prosperity. Talk to the man who lives in abundance. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Obviously, when there's a commandment <laughs> to be gracious to the poor man, mm-hmm. yes. it means you are living in prosperity. Yes. Mm-hmm. yes. Yes. Peace be both to thee, and peace be to thine house, and peace be unto all that thou hast. And now I have heard that thou hast shear us. Now thy shepherds which were with us we had them not. Yes. Neither was they aught missing unto them, all the while they were in Camel. Ask thy young men, and they will show thee. Wherefore let the young men find favor in thine eyes, for we come in a good day. Give, I pray thee, whatsoever cometh to thine hand unto thy servants, and to thy son David. And when David's young men came, they spake to Nabal according to all these words, in the name of David, and ceased. Again, verse 9. And when David's young men came, they spake to Nabal according to all the words 
in the name of David. The last time, verse and, 9 again. And when David's young men came, they spake to Nabal according to all those words in the name of David and ceased. <laughs> <laughs> uh, May yeah. to 25. <laughs> May to 25 says. Yes. Huh? <laughs> it says, uh, <laughs> it says, then in verse 44, shall they then also we'll answer him, saying, Lord, Lord so when we, saw we thee in mm, anger, mm. mm. or a thirst, or a stranger, or mm. naked, mm. or sick, mm. or in prison, mm. And did not minister unto thee. Mm -hmm. yes. Verse 45. Then shall he answer them, saying, Verily I say unto, unto you, Inasmuch as ye did it not to one of the least of these, ye did it not to me. <laughs> hey. <Huh? Hey. laughs> did you not bow see David? <laughs> No. 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 I? <laughs> Did you not bow see yeah. David? No. No. Did you not bow refuse to give David the food to the person? No. Yeah. It was not him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Uh, so it is the young man mm. of David yes. that spoke to Nabal. Mm -hmm. And Nabal said what mm. in verse 10? And Nabal answered David's servants and said, Again? And Nabal answered David's servants and Again? said, And Nabal answered David's <laughs> servants Seven. and said, So I told you <laughs> that the least of the of, of the brethren mm. yes. are not believers. No. Mm. They are servants Seven. of Christ. <laughs> Amen. They are ministers of Christ. Yes. Yes. Nabal. Yes. Believers, mm -hmm. Nabal, mm -hmm. is never going to get a chance to be mean to David in person. Mm -hmm. no. Nabal's issue mm -hmm. involves Nabal and the servants yes. of oh, David. David. Mm -hmm. hey. They asked the Lord, Lord, mm -hmm. when did we see you hungry? Mm -hmm. And we didn't mm -hmm. give you food. Mm. Yes. Well... Uh, you didn't see me, actually. <laughs> it was one of the least of these, my brethren. These are my servants. Baranda wangwa na bar. Auno bona na Davidi we. Shukuru shida kuita shako gain se. Uno guna unge uri na bar. Ototi a and now ni atwa trust tava koma na ba utwa ba tunga si chokwa dina David. Maswa no ba wangu fanbo shiko nye pa kiriwa randa wa David. Yes. yes. Nabal did not oh. speak with 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 vile with guile towards David, David in person. No. Nabal was mean to the servants yes, of David. Of David. David. Mm. What did he say in verse eleven? Shall I then take my bread and my water and my flesh that I have killed for my hearers and mm. give it unto men? Whom I know not whence they be. Look at the list <laughs> of the items that Nabal refused yes. to give to the servants of David. Uh -huh. mm. And look at the list of the items mentioned in Matthew 25. <laughs> I was hungry, you gave me not food. I was thirsty, you didn't give me water. Hey. Nabal goes straight to those <laughs> items. Hey. I will never Hallelujah. give you my food. Oh. I will never give you. Imagine. Hey, hey, hey. Kutinyana kaf nemvura. Hey. Amen. It's amazing. It's amazing. Hey. I take my bread. It's about food and, water. Water. Mm. food and water. <laughs> so David can say, I was hungry. Mm -hmm. Nabal gave me not food. Mm -hmm. I was thirsty. Mm -hmm. Nabal mm -hmm. gave me not no. water. Mm -hmm. Nabal's issue, it's a bread and water issue. Yes. I know Bokura. Nabal wasn't asked for a loan mm -hmm. to start a business by David. No. David never asked to borrow Nabal one of his vehicles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
some bread and some water. Chete, chete. Only. Only. <laughs> the whole number of issue. In fact, look at me. Mm. The whole chapter 25 mm -hmm. is based on food and water. <laughs> Hey. Hey. This whole mm. Nabao saga mm. is a food, food and, and water, water saga. saga. Mm. You understand? Yes. yes. But remember, David was hungry. Mm. Mm -hmm. Was he not poor, Pastor? He was yes. poor. If David fails to fully feed himself, mm. is this not poverty? It is That's poverty. poverty. Mm. So he goes to ask for food yes. from Nabao. Yes. Mm -hmm. Remember, David is not entitled to help. He was begging. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I want you to, to use the word begging in the right context, physically, mm. Mm. but yeah. spiritually it's not begging. No. We will talk about it. But David was begging. Mm. How do we know David was begging? Let me show you uh, one scripture, verse 8. Ask the young men, and they will show thee. Yes. Wherefore, let the young men find favor uh -huh. in thine eyes. This is uh -huh. a, these are these are mm -hmm. this, the words that yes. show you mm -hmm. that David did not have an upper end yeah. yes. with yeah. Nabal. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. He was weak. Yes. 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 Let the young men find, find favor, favor. Yes. in thine eyes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think I don't think you are you are following this scripture very carefully, Pastor. Mm -hmm. Look at me, believers. Let me ask one question. If David was alone himself in person, mm -hmm. did he, would he need help with food? Seeing that he is used to feeding himself in the, in the forest. forest. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because remember, he took care of Jesus' sheep oh, yeah. in the bush. Mm -hmm. Yes. All the food that people eat in the forest, mm -hmm. David knows all of them. Yes. 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 It wasn't David in person mm -hmm. who needed the food. Mm -hmm. hey. mm -hmm. It was the young man. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. This is why he says to Nabal, wherefore, let the young, young men, men. Mm -hmm. find mm -hmm. favor yes. in thine yes. eyes. Yes. yes. Hmm. So the, 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 the favor that Nabal was going to give was not to David, David. Mm -hmm. but to the young men. The young yes. men. Why? Because the young men are doing work for David. For David. Mm. Yes. Mm. Mm. These are the list of my brethren. These are the list of his brethren. Yes. Yes. These are the pastor Chumas yes. and yes. the pastor yes. Erengu. Yes. 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 Hey. For we come in a good day. Yes. yes. Do we not come in a good day, Pastor Erengu? We, we are pastors. Yes. We are shepherds. Yes. Yes. This is why David had taken care of Nabal's sheep. Mm. And no harm came to his yeah. livestock. Because well, David was, was in Mount Carmel. Yes. Because David is a shepherd. Yes. Wherever David is, the sheep will be safe. Mm -hmm. yes. That's what happens with the ministers of the gospel. Mm -hmm. The sheep are safe mm -hmm. in the hands of a true minister Amen. of the gospel. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Not these charlatans who are slaughtering the sheep <laughs> and doing bribes yes. with the sheep meat. Mm -hmm. hey. When you listen to David concerning the sheep of Nabal, yes. mm -hmm. huh? hey. mm. verse 7. And now I have heard that thou hast shared us. Mm. Now thy shepherds which were with us, we had them not. Neither was there aught missing unto them. All the while they were in coming. Not even one ship is mm. missing mm. while we were in coming. Yes. Kana Davita Arm Gomre Kameri Baba Fan Kaim Zenu Mnem Singaze Maguaru. Kana Davita Arm Gomre Kameri. Apanakana one guai Norasika. Makwai ake e se. Ano anengaka kwana. Mm -hmm. John chapter 17, verse 11. Mm -hmm. All the sheep are accounted for. Yes. Not even one sheep will be missing. Yes. yes. Not even one sheep will be impregnated. Mm -hmm. 
Huh? Yes. Yes. Not even yes. one sheep who yes. saw his house <laughs> Amen. so that they may receive big and faint mm -hmm. blessings mm -hmm. from God. Yes. Yes. Verse, verse 11, John 17. And now I am no more in the world. Yes. But these are in the world. Yes. And I come to thee. Father, Holy Father. Holy Father, keep through thine own name those whom thou hast given me. Yes. That they may be one. As we are. What happened while you were with them? While I was with them in wait, the world. Wait. Wait. While you were what? While I was with, <laughs> with them. them. Because David is not going to stay in Mount Carmel. No. He's going to return to Jerusalem. Yes. Hallelujah. He was in Mount Carmel for a Amen. short time. Hallelujah. But while David was in Mount Carmel, <laughs> yes. not even one of Nabal's sheep yes. went missing. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, my. <laughs> First Samuel 25, verse 7. B. Yes. Yes. <laughs> we had them not. Yes. Neither was they aught missing unto them all the while they were in Carmel. While we were in Mount Carmel. <laughs> yes. Not even one goat, yes. one sheep went missing. Yes. Yes. It was going to be I didn't get it for While I was with them uh, yeah. yes. in the world, yes. I kept them. Yes. In thy name. Yes. Those that thou givest me, yes. I have kept. You kept yes. them. And none of them is lost. Not even mm. one is lost. <laughs> but the son of petition. Yes. Why? That the scripture might be fulfilled. This one yes. is the scriptures yes. to fulfill. Yes. Not even one sheep Not was even. lost yes. while well, he was with them. Yes. But I'm now coming back. Mm. They must be safe even after my departure. Aha. Yes. Diri mugomore kamera na bar. Akuna kana wani guaira kurara sika. Dusho kete wa fudzika. Amen. Amen. Akuma na akuma na akuma. Ah, bangere machine, we wa juice. Isuwa na juenga. Shaka tina matu kuna mgari. Tijiti mgari. Sejo makapa David wa akuma na makatende kama. Yes. Ray zai wa akuma na makatende kama. Yes. 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 Amen. Glory. Wana fudzama kwa ina tende wao. Ah, thank you. Shukuti vin David akarara so. Ah, mukiri mera pa chuo ya. Gana. Ravu wana paga tu kuda. Pafuta shidoni na moto. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. Yes. The young men yes. of David yes. are faithful mm -hmm. servants. Yes. Not yes. even one, one of Nabal's sheep mm. went what? missing. Yes. Oh. 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 Wanu taura na bari, waka sununguka. Yes. Dara na bari, mm. makwa yako waka kwana. A common. Soon as you took a sang and I never come and never come, I shall. Tino Punzam, I shall come on Maguayaka in the cook. Tikas Kogunama can do a tot Gunama can do a man Maguayaka people. Huh? As you name my shangwal coopy. How can you hire a lawyer yes. to defend yourself in a criminal court mm. concerning money mm. that you took from a person, promising them? that a loan was going to disappear hey. because of an offering they had given to him. Mm -hmm. hey. People do not know the, the, the blessing Mashangwa's issue mm. and the Ajne Mashangwa. Mm. They gave Makandiwa money yes. after he promised that they owed a bank some money. Mm. So a seed mm -hmm. to end your debt shall disappear. Hey. Hey. The debt did not disappear, mm. and their property was attached by the bank. Mm -hmm. So they were disillusioned. Mm. They wanted him to pay back all their offerings. Mm -hmm. Instead of making peace with them, mm -hmm. apologizing mm -hmm. for false prophecy, mm -hmm. he hired the best lawyers. Mm -hmm. yeah. He opted to pay lawyers yeah, yeah, who yeah. gave them no, gave him not even finish. a sign. Yeah, 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 yeah. Than even to use that money he mm. paid lawyers yes, to set, set off them. the Mashangwas. Mm. Yes. Not only did he bring them into 
financial misfortunes. Mm. He broke their marriage. Hey. Oh. They divorced the oh. wife and, and the husband. Oh. I heard the woman died a few months ago. Mm. Oh. It's sad. It's sad. Oh. You are a shepherd, but the sheep are missing. Mm. And it doesn't cause you to panic. Mm. It doesn't matter to you. It doesn't concern you. Mm. Ah. Mm. Ah. A matter One that started shepherd. in a holy house of God, yes. it ended up before a high court judge. Mm. The Bible says matters arising among mm. believers mm. should never be handled by the courts of yes. unbelievers. Yes. Yes. In First Corinthians chapter 6. Mm. Mm. And this is not the only issue that we know. Mm -hmm. There are so many marriages mm -hmm. that he broke because he wanted to steal money from the other party. Yes. The husband said, no. And Makandiwa said to the wife, walk away from your husband. Mm -hmm. He's possessed with the demon of poverty. Sow a seed and God will bless you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What we are saying here is the young men of David yes. are faithful servants. Mm -hmm. Because David did not take care of Nabal's sheep alone. Mm -hmm. He got help yes. from these young men. Yes. So yes. even when David was busy with other things, mm -hmm. he never worried. Mm -hmm. These guys are going to start a war between me and Nabal. Mm -hmm. One of Nabal's sheep is going to disappear. Mm -hmm. They were faithful servants. Yes. Mm -hmm. May God raise you faithful servants Amen. among Amen. us in this church. Amen. Are you a deacon? Mm. Are the sheep accounted for? Yes. Mm. Are you an elder? Makwayaka mm. Kwanae. Mm. Uri overseer. Yes. Makwayaka Kwanae. Yes. Are you a regional coordinator? Mm -hmm. Are the sheep yes. accounted for? Yes. Are you an assembly coordinator? Mm -hmm. Are the sheep accounted for? Mm -hmm. Are you a sectional leader? Yes. Are the sheep accounted, accounted. for? Mm -hmm. Sectional leader. Makwayaka mm Kwanae. -hmm. Amen. Regional coordinator. Makwayaka Kwanae. It's painful when we hear that one of the believers no longer comes to church mm -hmm. because his soul was hurt mm -hmm. by the leader of our church. Mm -hmm. yes. We shouldn't hear yes. such nonsense. Yes. Yes. Every servant of God, God. among us mm -hmm. must be like the young men of David. David. Amen. They are sure Amen. they are both. Amen. David, you may rest, sleep, yeah, our yeah. master. Yes. You don't need to worry. Yes. When you wake up, mm -hmm. the sheep will be accounted yes. for. Hallelujah. Yes. For this, let's read First Timothy chapter, chapter five, from verse one to four. Agoma na mruko Acha veri ngwa kama kwaya. Kana muri zwa u awia. Yes. Shonza. But I will read a shesh bazaar with the museum of the grand one. It I line up a maquire very Rebuke not an elder. First Peter, chapter five, verse one to four. It's first Peter, yes. Okay. Mm. The elders which are among you are exhort to him also an elder in the witness of the sufferings of Christ, and also and a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. Feed mm. the flock of God. Feed mm. the sheep of God. Yes. Which is among you. Yes. Taking the oversight thereof. Be a leader. Mm -hmm. Not by the... Do not, not by use constraint. force. Yes. Do not use force mm. to but lead the children of God. Yes. Yes. But willingly. Do it willingly. Not for filthy lack. Do not expect to get money. In the work of the house of God, mm. but of a ready man. Serve God mm. as a faithful servant. Yes. Neither is being lords over God's heritage. Yes. But being in samples to the flock. Why? And when the chief shepherd shall appear, the yes. chief shepherd shall come. Mm. You shall receive a crown of glory that fades not that away. That is sure. if all the sheep are accounted <laughs> for. Yes. Yes. You will not receive uh, a crown yeah. Yes. Yeah. if the sheep yeah. are not accounted for. Oh, yes. Mm. Yes. Mm. Europe, Makwayaka Kwana, eh? Yes. Koku Cape Town, Makwayaka Kwana. Pagaboro, Makwayaji, you go. Yes. Ah, Pachimoyo, Makwayaka Kwana. Yes. Pasa Juma. Yes. Pame Borin Makwayaka Kwana. Yes. 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 Espunga Pera. Espunga Pera, Makwayaka Kwana. Ah, my. Yeah. Imiwaru Tungamira Mazmai. 
Magua ya no gona kuva. Hey. Aji shota ni kuti. Imi ndi mungu ya ni magua kumazimai. Yes. Mazimai oto vipesira afa pa kutenda. Mm. Ni magua alikuya neva tunga mire mazimai. Yes. Those who are leading fellowships mm. are the sheep accounted for. Hey. Yes. While well, you were with them. Oh. Well, you oh. were with them. Ponga wii ni makwa iwewe. The Lord will not charge you mm-hmm. for the sheep when you were not with them. No. David said, while I was in Mount Kamiya, mm-hmm. yes. your sheep, sheep were all accounted, accounted for. Yes. Yes. Pamanga muri, muri ere daimi. Mm-hmm. Makasi ya makwa yaka kwane. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Pamaka ngamuri youth leader, mm. mgoma Robert, mm. makasu siya makwa yaka kwa mm. The Lord prayed to God mm. and gave a report mm. in John 17, 12. Mm. He said, while I was That's with, with them, them, I have kept them. Mm. None of them is lost. Yes. My question is, if Jesus had to give a report, Concerning the sheep. Yes. Do you think Chuenga will escape mm-hmm. no. this rock? No ways. Pastor, no can a Jesu aka pa report ye makwai? Mm. Jesu. Mm. Aka tofano aku aka unta. Kuti makwai ndi inawe ni. Mm-hmm. Daka a chenge ta ye. Kwa yi mimi. Ha? Pastor mm. Sibo. Mm. Puchan chenga. Amen. Ah, Aka. Zoka <laughs> wachenda <laughs> kuti. Kuti hai ni ndiri pastor will be exempted. Mm. Ishano ko zoti hai it's okay. Mm. Kana paka shota tu it's fine. Mm. Jesus had to give a report. Mm-hmm. Do you think a prophet is going to be excused by mm. the Lord? No. If Jesus, mm. the son of God, mm. in whom God is well pleased, had to give a report. Mm. God asked Jesus, you are now about to come here. But before you come, my son, yes. report on the state of the sheep. Yes. How are the sheep doing? Hey. Mm. Tell me about the numbers of the sheep. So the Lord did not say, you gave me 600 sheep, I have 600. He mm. simply said, none of them is lost. Yes. Chi imagina wakaita pastor, singa zive msiyanu wema kwa inem boots. Amen. Pastor, o vai ter profeta, não vou te botar nem mal com ele, já que vai lá. I want to shock you believers, but look at me. Yes. Jesus did not account for the gods. Mm. God doesn't care about gods. Mm. Whether the gods died yesterday or they or they will die next year, <laughs> God is not concerned. Yes. No. He was only concerned about the, the sheep. sheep. So it's also a versatile matter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because the pastor we may be pastoring a congregation mm-hmm. of 400 believers. Mm-hmm. And then 10 people from Pastor Erengui's congregation mm-hmm. in Maubra mm-hmm. is no longer in the fold. Mm-hmm. If you are not aware of this spiritual dynamics, mm-hmm. you will then accuse Pastor Erengui. Mm-hmm. She can't account for 10 sheep. Mm-hmm. She was given 400. 400. She lost 10. 10. But Pastor Erengui is not a shepherd of sheep and goats. Mm-hmm. So among the people that are in Pastor Erengui's church, mm-hmm. they may be sheep and goats. goats. All right. Ish. All right. So when God's right. go missing, mm-hmm. God is not worried. <laughs> God does not want Pastor Erengui to account for God. Don't confuse yourself. Am I? So we go back. So don't ask Pastor Erengui, where are the 10 yes. sheep that you lost? Yes. Uh-uh. Pastor Erengui said, those ones were not the sheep. They were goats. They were goats. <laughs> Let them go. Since God God's always will go astray. Mm. They had strayed into the church. Yes. But in the process of time, mm. they realized that they can't fit in mm. the fold of sheep. Mm. Yes. So they left the fold. Gods do not have shepherds. Mm. The word shepherd only applies to the sheep. sheep. The one who takes care of God is not a shepherd. <laughs> he's a goat head. <laughs> <laughs> so Makadua is not a shepherd. He's a goat head. 
<laughs> so every goat who is here, <laughs> when your time comes, you go. <laughs> because there's no goat here. Oh, oh, yes. There are shepherds here. We only have shepherds. <laughs> but of course, goats sometimes get lost mm. and come to mix with the, the sheep. sheep. Mm. And since it's the house of God, we mm. don't chase goats away. Uh, uh, we uh, hope maybe one day they'll be converted <laughs> into sheep. Hey. But since they are bona fide goats, they will go back to the forest. Uh, I'm like, but you What do you hear? What, what do you hear? We want to hear the goats <laughs> responding. <laughs> yes, saying, oh, yeah. <laughs> So Jesus did not give an account to the goats. But when you read the scriptures, you can tell that he mingled with many gods. <laughs> <laughs> Some gods came to say to him in Matthew 21, mm. by whose authority, authority did you do these things? <laughs> <laughs> they were gods. He never yes, wondered yes, about them. Yes. In John chapter 10, verse 24, mm. gods came to speak to him. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, let's hear what gods said. <laughs> yes. Then came the Jews round about him and said unto him, How long dost thou make us? To doubt, if thou be Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered them. So they are Jews, right? Mm -hmm. yes. yes. Let's see if they were sheep or they are gods, yes. they're Jews. Mm. What did he say? I told you, and you believed not. Mm. The works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness of me. 26. But you believe not, mm. because you are not of my sheep. Mm. As I said, and do you, you are not my sheep. Hey, you are God. Hey, hey. You don't even need to believe in me. Hey, hey. Continue with your genial hey. and your sorcery and divination. Hey. I don't need to make you to believe. Hey. You are not my, my sheep. sheep. Yes. Hey. 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 So, hey. blessed is a sheep mm -hmm. which is being taken care of by a, a trained shepherd. and a seasoned shepherd. Shepherd. Yes. yes. Who is not going to mistake a goat for a sheep <laughs> or a sheep for a goat? A goat. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hey. Amen. Jesus met goats there in John 10. Mm -hmm. He said, you are not sheep, my friends. Mm -hmm. You are wasting my time. <laughs> you will never believe. No. Yeah, I, have no, I have no problem with the numbers of believers. Mm -hmm. I am not desperate for believers. Mm -hmm. Leave me alone. Yes. Mm -hmm. They were asking him, for some signs, further signs and wonders. Mm -hmm. hey. Cause us to believe. Prove yourself. <laughs> he said, I don't need to prove myself. No. You are God's yeah, simple. Mm. Yeah. You will never believe. Yeah. Yeah. You won't change. Mm. You won't change. Yeah. Mm. Blessed are the sheep mm. whose shepherd is not confused mm. on how to distinguish sheep <laughs> and God's. And God's. Yeah. Ask your neighbor, are you a sheep or you are a goat? A goat. <laughs> if you are a goat, you are in the wrong place. There are no shepherds for goats. Yeah. You are going to need a goat head. Goat head. <laughs> <laughs> we can tell. Kuturi mbuzi. Nyekungo charika charika so. How garisike. We can tell kutu imbuzi. Goats are so fidgeting all the time. Mm -hmm. They are never relaxed. Mm -hmm. Climbing trees and climbing mountains and climbing hills. They goats cannot be are, shepherded. It's difficult. <laughs> it's gift. We, we did the God series. Yes. You can visit it and understand yes, yes, yes. the intricacies yes. of, 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 of these issues. Yeah. But indeed, yeah. our Lord was not accounting for sheep and goats. No. Yes. He only accounted for, for the sheep. sheep. So mm -hmm. gods will be coming and going. Mm -hmm. We will know them mm -hmm. and will not account for gods. Yeah. Mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. so, so, so David was almost repeating what he had said in First Samuel chapter 17. Yes, yes. From verse yes. 34. Yes, yes, yes. He accounted, he accounted for, the sheep. for the sheep. Read it, yes. Pastor. Yes. Read it. And David said unto Saul, Thy servant kept his father's sheep. Mm. And there came a lion and a bear mm. and took a lamb out of the flock. Mm. And I went after him mm. and smote him and delivered it out of his mouth. Mm. Yes. And when he arose against me, 
I caught him by his head and smote him and slew him. Mm. I caught him by, by his, his beard. Beard, beard yes. The sa- thy servant slew both the lion and the bear. Yes. Mm. And this uncircumcised <laughs> Philistine shall be as one, one of, of them, them. Mm. Yes. seeing he has defiled the armies of the living God. Yes. So, so yes, he's still explaining yes. how fond of the sheep he, he was. Is, yes. He sacrificed himself. To protect the sheep. He yes. gave his life. Yes. If you are going to fight with a lion to save a sheep, mm-hmm. you are laying down your life, your life yes. for the sure, sheep. Yes. And that's what our Lord said in John 10, 11. Yes. Yes. He said the good shepherd lays down, down his life, his life. Yes. Yes. for the sake of the sheep. sheep. Yes. yes. Mm. So we got excited mm-hmm. about <laughs> the similarities that yes. are there in these matters. Mm-hmm. David is a poor man, Mm -hmm. but it's not natural. He's not naturally poor. Mm -hmm. He is rich. Yes. Yes. You understand? Yes. Mm. Yes. But because Mm -hmm. of rescue operations, Mm -hmm. he has become poor. Mm -hmm. So he sends young men Mm -hmm. to speak to Mm Nabal. And he says, while I was in Kamel, Mm -hmm. your sheep were safe. Mm -hmm. None of them Mm -hmm. was lost. Mm -hmm. And we saw the similarities yes. with the Lord Jesus, Jesus. in his prayer mm-hmm. to God yes. Yes. in John 17, 12. Yes. So the issue here was to show you that David mm-hmm. is a type of Christ yes. Yes. in whose poor days mm-hmm. people needed to be careful. Yes, yes. In poor. his poor, poor days. days. People needed to be to careful. Be careful. Oh, it yes. was a matter of life and death. Yes. If you are not gracious mm-hmm. to we David in his, in his poor, poor days, days mm. you will die. Okay. Yes. Oh. So what happens? Nabal refused to give David, the poor man, mm-hmm. food, mm-hmm. which seems to be a situation that people shouldn't take to heart. Mm-hmm. David was not entitled. Mm-hmm. Nabal can choose to be gracious or yeah. not to be gracious. Yeah. And Nabal shouldn't face any consequences. Mm. Yes. It's his money after all. <laughs> it's his food. How can David <laughs> get angry because a man has refused yeah. to help? Mm-hmm. You see, Pastor, yes. an ordinary moral, moralist could say, mm. well, we, we shouldn't see David fretting over this matter. Mm-hmm. Yes. This man is not owing you a dime. Yes. If you beg and people don't want to help, mm-hmm. then why should it be a matter? Mm. David could have said, well, Nabal has refused to give us food. Mm-hmm. Let's move on. Mm-hmm. Perhaps mm-hmm. tomorrow we'll meet a kinder person mm-hmm. to help us with mm-hmm. food. Mm-hmm. Let's see if this is what happened. <coughs> Verse 12. So David's young men turned their way and went again and came and told him all those things. They told David, and David Nabal has refused to help with the food. Mm-hmm. In other words, mm-hmm. Proverbs 19, 17 mm-hmm. has been fulfilled. Yes. yes. Nabal is not gracious mm-hmm. towards the poor, the poor man. man. And this is why we took a whole sermon mm-hmm. describing a poor man. Mm-hmm. Now we are showing you that the poor man must be an anointed king. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Who Amen. is at it God's side? Yes. yes. Like David. Yes. yes. It's not every beggar yes. in the no, street. No, it's not. David was wow. already ordained king. Wow. Yes. Because he was anointed wow. in chapter 16. Mm. Wow. Wow. All right. Did David say, well, it's fine. Mm. Since Nabal has refused with his food, let's move on, guys. Mm. When you are begging, days are not the same. <laughs> sometimes you are fortunate, sometimes <laughs> you are not. Yes. <laughs> Let's find someone else who may be kind towards Mm. us. Yes. And David said unto his men, Get ye on every man his sword. And they get it on every man his sword. Get ye on every man his sword. Yes. Mm -hmm. Put on your sword. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they get it on every man his sword. Mm -hmm. And David also get it on Mm -hmm. his sword. Yes. And they went up. After David, about 400 men and 200 aboard by the staff. Let's end there. Mm-hmm. Mm. So, David then said, let's go and kill Nabal. All right? And yes. kill Nabal. Mm. Mm. 
Let's, let's read verse 21. Now David had said, Surely in vain have I kept all that this fellow has in the wilderness, so that nothing was missed of all that pertained unto him, and he has requited me evil for good. Mm -hmm. So and more also do God unto the enemies of David. If I live of all that pertained to him, by the morning light, any that pieces against the wall. Mm. According to verse 22, mm. David said, by this time mm. tomorrow, mm. not even a rat belonging to Napa <laughs> will be alive. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> by yes, this I time tomorrow, tomorrow. <laughs> not even a cat <laughs> belonging to Napa will, yes. will, will be alive. Hey. Mm. Hey, so let's hey. keep some scriptures because of time. Mm. Mm. Eventually, Abigail, Nabal's wife, came and gave David food, mm -hmm. and David restrained himself mm -hmm. from killing Nabal's mm -hmm. family. Mm. Yes. But remember, David had not planned to kill Nabal only. Mm -hmm. According to verse 22, mm -hmm. he wanted to utterly destroy him. Mm the family of Nabal, mm -hmm. which means Abigail was also going to die mm -hmm. in the process. Yes. Mm -hmm. And all of Nabal's children. children is true. But the question remains, mm -hmm. how come this story is in the Bible? Mm -hmm. What morals do we learn from such a scripture? Mm -hmm. Yes. That if you are hungry and can't feed yourself, mm -hmm. you go and beg. And when the rich people refuse to help you because you are poor, Go and kill, kill them. them. <laughs> what kind of a moral story can yeah. this be? Yeah. Hey. Nabal did not need to give anything to David. Mm. No. David was never hired by Nabal mm. to take care of his sheep. Mm. Nabal did not have a security problem with his sheep. Mm. He had servants taking care of his sheep. Mm. Mm. Do you understand yes. this? Yes. I'm trying to show you that these fraudulent pastors who mm. manipulate scriptures to come up with moral lessons. Yes. They are not even thorough to mm. understand the storyline. Oh, mm. yes. Because a thorough understanding of the storyline will show you that a moral lesson cannot come out from 1 Samuel 25. Yes. No. Yes. How can you preach yes. a moral lesson? But I want to show you, 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 I want to show Kwewe David is on down to Rai Rauch Kaf Chang, did Babogo. Hey. Patching your Majaku teaser amount to Kameri, what do you go into Bethlehem and Frata Kobogo Jesse? Hm. Jessan is Kavu. Hm. Auntie Mazona Pass. Hey. Urenda Kubogona Bari, Diaga Guzar. Hey. Nabari Maria Agatanga business, Aga Gurita Gori. Napa is a rich man. He worked hard. You are poor. It's not my fault. Hm. You see now that the moral lesson doesn't come out. No, it doesn't. It doesn't, doesn't pass. No. Can you see no, that? It doesn't come yes. out. Yes. Uh, it doesn't. It's and this is why they don't preach such moral lessons, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. even though they try to preach moral lessons mm -hmm. from other scriptures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they skip these ones. They skip they these ones. They are problematic. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Only those who are pursuing to understand Christ mm -hmm. oh, can yes. preach from these scriptures. Yes. Yes. It's not justifiable. It's unreasonable, mm. it's unfair, it's unrighteous mm. for you to plan to kill someone mm. because he is not wanted to help, to you, help you with charitable gifts. Mm. Mm. Pastor. Mm. Uh, my Imagine you to move to the first, more above. Mm. 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 Mota ndo zokona mangwana. Ova ato simu kukubata ya kola. Nasi mnotofa. Itoburitza ya marizu. Shumutengi mabanzi. Kala ndo kuzipai. Yato wa kraimi. Yato wa kraimi. Jini itere pasi. Azu ite ya mai. Tuzukutu ongu kombore ruwa na ifangiri. Kuti Proverbs 1917 ye. Yaka kukuchira. Yaka ita judgment ya ituwa na David. Yes. Kwa kuti. Yes. <laughs> David. That's exactly <laughs> where I was coming to. Thank you for showing that. <laughs> so David is saying to his young men, mm. every man pick mm. up your sword. Yes. Let's go and kill the whole family mm. of Nabal. Mm. 
Mm. And he was involved. He is now he executing did. judgment. Amen. Yes. And the Bible begins mm. again mm. in Matthew 25, mm. verse 31. Yes. The Bible begins by saying, <laughs> when the when son, the son of, of man, of man yes. shall come in his glory. In his glory. Mm. Yes. Mm. Pastor. Yeah, am I? <laughs> David said to his <laughs> young man, yes. yes. Get ye on every man his sword. sword. Yes. And there went up after David mm -hmm. about 400 men mm -hmm. and 200 that abode by Maybe the staff. staff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm. David started to come to Nabal's house mm -hmm. to execute judgment. judgment. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew 25 oh begins by saying, <laughs> the son the of son man of shall come Hallelujah. in his, his glory. glory. Hallelujah. And, and all yes. the holy angels yes. with him. Yes. 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 David yes. came with yes. all, all his army. army. <laughs> 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 oh. oh my God. <laughs> 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 David said, yes. Let's go, go. Yes. and execute judgment yes. Yes. upon the number. Yes. yes. The Bible says, Jesus shall come. Mm. <laughs> and now, yes. and now, mm -hmm. if you look at 1 Samuel yes. chapter 25, yes. Yes. verse number, uh, no, okay. verse number. Verse number seven. Yes. Verse number seven. Yes. yes. And now I have heard that thou hast shearers. Now thy shepherds which were with us, we heard them not. Verse eight. Ask thy young men, and they will show thee. Wherefore let the young men find favor in thine eyes. Now, when the young men of David were sent to ask for food by David, mm -hmm. David described them as young men, men mm -hmm. who must find favor yes. in Nabal's eyes. eyes. Mm -hmm. But when David had decided to execute judgment, judgment on Nabal, mm -hmm. the Bible says there were about 400 <laughs> men. <laughs> Not young men. <laughs> Not young men. <laughs> wow. Oh wow. So in 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 in, in 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 First Corinthians chapter fifteen, mm -hmm. Paul described himself as the, the least, least of the apostles. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because they are servants, according to 2 Corinthians 4, 5. Yes. We are your servants, servants. for Christ's sake. Mm -hmm. yes. But in Matthew chapter 25, mm -hmm. verse 31, mm -hmm. yes. the Lord is no longer coming with his servants. No, no, no. no. He shall come with his <laughs> own holy, holy angels. angels. Amen. Yes. Ukwano tanga wari mayangu menu. But you also talk at calf. Yes. Because it's a man. Buswama no gozi da vita gumbu kaje. Yes. Asi siri mayangu men. Ato ama men of war. Aka kuguchira minondo. Yes. The same young men who came humbly to Nabal asking for food. Yes. They are now holding the sword. Yes. Nabal will die today. Aba gumbu ka. Yes. 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 Uh, the pastor you are looking down <laughs> upon today <laughs> yes. Yes. as the young man of David. Yes. Wait and see mm. what that shall means. happen on the day of the Lord. Yeah. Mm. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, mm. we shall judge angels. Yes. yes. That's yes. what the Bible says. Yes. yes. Go and read yes. verse 4. Yes. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 from verse 4. If then you have judgments of things pertaining to this life, yes. set them to judge who are least esteemed in the church. Yes. I speak to your shame. Mm. Is it so that there is not a wise man among you? No, not one that shall be able to judge between his brethren. Mm. Yes. But brother goes to law with brother. How can you take each other to court? And that before the unbelievers. How can you go to unbelievers? Now, therefore, there is utterly a fault among you. Yes. Because you go to law one with another. Mm. All right. Verse yes. number three. Yes. Know ye not that we shall judge angels? Mm. 
how much more things that pertain to this life. Do you not know that we <laughs> shall judge angels? Yes. Yes. Isut chatonga ngirozi zo. Gabriel Garab. Yes. Tlo mbota ora nya tla mbota ora nasti. Pao pa. Amen. Yes. Uh, so when you look at a scripture like <laughs> a scripture like Romans. Mm -hmm. Romans. I would want you to read also 1 Corinthians chapter 3 in your own time from verse 10. Mm -hmm. Where the apostle was talking about every man's work being tried with fire. Yes. But I want you to see that verse number 16 says something amazing about the ministerial work. Mm -hmm. okay. You may not understand it. Mm -hmm. But the preacher is a special place in the Lord's heart. Yes. The manner in which the Lord treats believers is different from the manner in which he treats the preacher. Okay. Mm -hmm. The preacher is a special place in the Lord's heart. Mm. Yes. Look at verse 16. Romans chapter 15, verse 16. That I should be the minister of Jesus Christ to yes. the Gentiles, yes. yes, ministering the gospel of God, yes, yes. that the offering up of, of the Gentiles, Gentiles mm -hmm. might be acceptable, yeah. being yeah. sanctified by the, by the Holy, Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Yes, he says the same in Colossians chapter one. Mm -hmm. He said that he's going to present Gentiles mm -hmm. before Christ. Mm -hmm. Yes, huh? Yes, Colossians chapter one. Colossians chapter one. Mm -hmm. Verse number 25. Whereof I am made a minister according to the dispensation of God, which mm. is given to me for you to fulfill the word of God. Mm. Even the mystery which has been hid from ages and from generations, mm. but now is made manifest to his saints, mm. yes. to whom God would make known what is the riches of the glory of the mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Verse 28. Whom we preach. We preach Christ. Mm. Warning every man. Warning, we warn every man. Yes. And teaching every man we in all wisdom. We teach every man in all wisdom. That we may present every man perfect in Christ Jesus. We are going to yes. present yes. every man perfect, perfect before Christ. Amen. Amen. Yes. Sakapazi, yes. when the scripture says, feed the sheep mm -hmm. so that when the chief shepherd, shepherd shall, shall appear, appear. Mm -hmm. you shall receive a crown, crown of, of glory, glory that fades not away. Mm -hmm. Yes. It actually means when the Lord appears, mm -hmm. every preacher mm -hmm. shall be asked to present. Yes. His own sheep that Amen. was in his custody Amen. before the coming of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. He says the same yes. in 2 Corinthians 11, verse 2. Mm -hmm. I have a jealous over you with a godly jealousy. Yes. For I have espoused you to one husband yes. mm -hmm. that I, yes. that yes. I, I may present, present you, you. Mm -hmm. as, as a, a chaste virgin, virgin to, to Christ. Christ. Mm -hmm. In Hebrews mm -hmm. 13, verse 17, mm -hmm. he said, Preachers, are going to give an account yes. Yes. to Christ yes. Yes. concerning the believers. Yes. Okay. How can you them. give an account yes. of a missing account? <laughs> <laughs> How no. can you explain something if the account will be missing? Mm. <laughs> the books will be opened. Yes. 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 And the Lord will say, I gave you these souls. Mm -hmm. Did you do a perfect job? Mm -hmm. I'm looking at them right now yes. and judging the work you have done mm -hmm. based on the provisions I gave you yes. mm -hmm. to equip you yes. to take care of my sheep. Mm -hmm. yes. You didn't do a good job. Mm -hmm. I'm not happy with the work that you did. Mm -hmm. Instead of feeding the sheep, mm -hmm. you started feeding yourself mm -hmm. from, from the, the sheep. sheep. Mm -hmm. Where are my sheep? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some of my sheep are missing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So it's amazing yes. the, 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 the correlation yes. mm -hmm. between mm -hmm. the Nabal story yes. and Matthew 25. Ah, it's amazing. <laughs> amazing. Huh? Absolutely ah, amazing. My. Am I? 
David said, yes. let's go to war. Oh. Mm. <laughs> we are going to kill Nabal. Yes. Why? Because he has not been gracious <laughs> to, the poor. to the poor man. Yes. Remember, <laughs> if you are not gracious, <laughs> whether you are gracious, <laughs> God will repay. Yes. Whether or not you are gracious, <laughs> God will yes. repay. That's yes. where it is coming. <laughs> so Nabal was not gracious. Yes. And David said, I will <laughs> repay. Yes. All right. <laughs> mm. So, mm. let's see what happened to Nabal. Mm -hmm. Eventually, Abigail dissuaded David yes. from killing Nabal. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, David did not kill Nabal. Mm. Yes. What happened in verse 36? And Abigail came to Nabal. After giving David food, yes. Abigail came back to her husband, yes. Nabal. Yes. And behold, he held a feast in his house, mm. yes. like the feast of a king. Mm. And Nabal's heart was merry within him. Always. Nabal is a rich man. He always yes. throws parties. Mm -hmm. Yes. For he was very drunken. Mm. Wherefore, she told him nothing, less or more, until the morning light. <laughs> yes. But it came to pass in the morning, mm. when the wine was gone out of Nabal, mm. and his wife had told him these things, mm. that his heart died within him, hey. and he became a stone. Yes. As a stone. As a stone. Mm. And it came to pass about ten days after, mm. that the Lord smote Nabal, that he died. Yes. Oh. Hey. And when David heard that Nabal was dead, he said, Blessed be the Lord. Blessed be God. Uh, that has pleaded the cause of my reproach from the hand of Nabal mm. and has kept his servant from evil. Mm. For the Lord has returned the wickedness ah, of Nabal ah, ah, upon ah, his ah, own ah, head. Ah, <laughs> and David sent and communed with Abigail to take her to him to wife. Ah, ah, hey, amen. Hey, amen. Hey, amen. Hey. Verse number 39 C yes. says. Mm. For, For the, the Lord has yes. returned mm -hmm. the yes. wickedness yes. of yes. Nabal yes. upon his own head. Ah. Ah. What does Proverbs 19, <laughs> say? Be gracious, That's Nabal. Terrible. Yeah. Nabal, are you hearing me? Yeah. Be gracious, <laughs> Nabal. How many to a times yes. can I tell you, Nabal? How many times shall I call your name, Nabal? <laughs> because if you are not gracious, <laughs> yes. God will repay yes. you. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So yeah. David hey. heard that Nabal died. Mm -hmm. And David said, Glory to, to God. God. Yes. yes. He has repaid <laughs> Nabal Amen. for his wickedness. Yes. 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 Huh? yes. 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 Did you know that refusing to be gracious to David, David. is wickedness? <laughs> Uh, refusing to give water, water or food to David to the poor man. It's is wickedness. Why not? Now, the most important thing you have not yet seen now. Mm -hmm. Okay. I know you take time. These revelations continue to come. They never stop coming. We will never make you stand. We will never make you stand. Am I? <laughs> Proverbs 19:17. Yes. Says the poor, poor man. man. Mm -hmm. When you meet him, mm -hmm. be gracious to him. Yes. Because whoever treats a poor, poor man, man, the poor man. Mm -hmm. The Lord mm -hmm. takes it to his own account. Yes. yes. God settles those accounts in his name. Mm -hmm. Yes. Not on behalf of the poor uh -uh. man. No. It's God's duty to, to pay, pay that, that debt. Yes. Mm -hmm. If it was going to be a debt recovery application in mm -hmm. the courts, mm -hmm. the, the accused was going to be God. Mm -hmm. It is God who is a debtor mm -hmm. and yes. not the poor man. Yes. yes. So David mm -hmm. is the poor man. Mm -hmm. Yes. Nabal is the one who should have obeyed. Yes. Mm -hmm. Proverbs 19, 17. Yes. Be gracious, Nabal, yes. to, to the, the poor, poor man. man. Mm -hmm. Nabal would not be gracious. Mm -hmm. The young man of David came to him and said, Nabal will not give you even a morsel of a bread. bread. <laughs> yeah. hey. David said, let everyone hold his weapons. Yes. Let's go and kill yes. Nabal. Yes. The problem with the David initiative mm -hmm. It violates Proverbs 19, 17. Okay. The scripture does not say, if 
if you are not gracious to the poor men, the poor men will repay you. So God sent Abigail to stop the poor men from paying this debt on his own behalf. Yes. <laughs> this is why he said the Lord has restrained me. Yes. <laughs> God said to Abigail, yes. go and talk to the poor man. Yes. It's not your job yes. to deal with Nabal. Mm -hmm. This is my own God debt. Did. I'll pay yes. it myself. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> David, you are the poor man. Yes. You don't pay these debts yes. by yourself. Yes. God will pay this debt. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So God yes. smote Nabal's heart mm. and it became as a stone. stone. <laughs> <laughs> People, yeah, let me tell way. you something. Yeah. The yes, scripture uh, in First Samuel 25, 37, mm -hmm. it actually means that Nabal's heart stopped working. <laughs> because it became as a stone. <laughs> a stone is like something that is just <laughs> stagnant, not yes. working at yes. all. Rigid. Yes. Stagnant, yes. dysfunctional. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Nabal suffered yes. a heart failure. Yes. yes. Uh, sure. The heart can't pump, can have a stone. So. Uh, if the heart becomes a stone, it can't pump. <laughs> And in 10 days, Nabal died. Yes. God said, accounts settled. Mm. <laughs> Nabal did wicked to the poor man. Yes. He didn't pay heed mm -hmm. to my scripture, <laughs> my warning. Mm. Let us kill Nabal. <laughs> let's, let's, let's pay Nabal <laughs> back with his wickedness. Yes. Yes. Mm. Remember, I spoke, spoke to you about these debts. I mm. said, mm -hmm. God pays debts mm. both to the wicked and, and to, to the, the righteous. Yes. 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 So Nabal did wicked mm. to the poor man. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. God repaid Nabal mm. with wickedness. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. The Bible oh, is man. actually clear. Mm. David said, The Lord yes. has retained the wickedness of Nabal mm. upon himself. himself. Mm. Yes. Mm. Is it not a repayment? It, it is, is a I like the word retained. Yes. Pastor, can I mean you call it Amzorere? I'm not sure. 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 i am had it not been mm -hmm. that David rescued Israel mm -hmm. in the valley of Elah yes. from the hands of the Philistines, yes. Saul would not have been pursuing David. Okay. Yes. And if Saul was not pursuing David, mm -hmm. David would not have ever needed food ah. from yes. Nabal. Yes. The yes. poverty yes. of yes. David yes. is because of a rescue operation. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. You will never find it's David all... poor yes. if he is not pursuing a rescue yes. operation. Yes. Ah, yes. It's good to ah, yeah. It's good to He's not rescuing himself. He's not rescuing himself. He rescued the city. Hallelujah. The city of Israel yes. from the Philistines. Yes. Because yes. of that, yes. he was poor. poor. Yes. Why, what are you doing in Mount Kamio, David? Yes. I am poor. Oh, poor. I rescued. You know, go and read the whole Bible. Mm. David was never in trouble mm. until he rescued yes. Israel hey. from the Philistines. Mm. It's the rescue operation yes. that made David poor. poor. Hey. So Nabal was not gracious to the poor, no. and mm. God but punished him. him. Yes. And this is why I said the story doesn't make sense mm -hmm. from a moralistic perspective. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Nabal yes. did not refuse with the government food. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> <laughs> it was his own food. <laughs> Pastor. Yes, am I. <laughs> Nabal was not a minister of finance no. or, or a minister welfare. of social welfare. No. <laughs> Nabal was a Masiwa, a Dangote, yes. an Elon Musk yes. of his time. Mm. He refused to help. Mm. And God said, I will kill you. Mm. Huh? Yes. Mm -hmm. I will do what? I will, I will, kill, you. I will kill you. Mm -hmm. And people were wondering, instead of killing Nabal, mm -hmm. why couldn't God give David food? <laughs> <laughs> Let's <laughs> uh, <laughs> If God has enough power yes, to kill Nabal, why not use that power 
to give them to give them as I don't know, I don't know. What if they must be bound? Yes, I hope it's a boy. What about I don't know. I don't know. I'll jump But I never left the boat. We have a juice. Our head was covered. Shall you, my David? He's taught us, you know, Mari. Shall I mean a sim, but a good and a bad? But the goons are gonna track a chingua, a spiritual track, yes, to prove your power. Why would God prove his power by killing a man? With this one boy within his house. My. Ah, I As it As it It doesn't make sense. Ah, God. Because a Buddhist and Christ, as it makes sense. As it makes sense. Believers are enjoying the world. Yeah. Yeah, I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm busy. All right, let's rush to finish it. We have to finish. We have to finish it today. Pastor. Am I? Well, at least we are still in the Nabal story. Mm -hmm. The scripture, Proverbs 19, 17, yes. is also fulfilled to its mm -hmm. extreme, to its maximum. Absolutely. Oh, yes. Yes. Because Absolutely. on the left, mm -hmm. we have a man who can't be gracious yes. to a poor yes. man, mm -hmm. Nabal. Yes. On the right, we have yes. Abigail, his wife, yes. who yes. is gracious yes. to the same poor ah. man. Hey. And we have repercussions yes. in both sides. Yes. yes. Nabal yes. was not gracious. Yes. God yes. killed yes. him. Yes. Abigail yes. was gracious. Yes. She yes. came to the palace. Yes. She became the queen yes. of Israel. Yes. As we yes. sit here, yes. Abigail's yes. history, yes. it says she was the queen of Israel. Yes. The wife of yes. King yes. David. Yes. Actually, she was the second wife yes. of David. Yes. But God repaired both. Yes. Yes. So, the Bible says in verse 34 of Matthew 25, mm -hmm. unto the, unto the, to the sheep, yes. on his right he hand. shall say, come yes. ye, blessed, blessed of the Father. Father. Mm -hmm. Inherit mm -hmm. the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Yes. yes. Mm. Now, verse number 39D mm -hmm. of second of 1 Samuel 25, mm -hmm. it says, David is sent and communed with Abigail yes. to take her to him to, to wife. wife. Yeah, verse that this is verse 34. Yes. Yeah, Matthew 25. Yes. We are Abigail. We are Comboreo. We are the same father. Yes. 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 Kutofamba uh, ije jiji, kuno totsa ukira motkari za Queen Abigail. When you drive in the streets of Israel, mm. you are going to pave way mm. for yes. the motorcade yes. of the Queen of Israel. Mm. Uh, mm. Glory to God. Abigail. Mm. Abigail is now a queen. <laughs> yes. She was repaid by God mm. for being gracious. Mm -hmm. For being what? Gracious. Gracious mm. to the poor man. Mm. Yes. But I want us to show us also that the way the poor men should not lure us into our own destruction. Mm -hmm. When we serve God in whatever capacity, mm -hmm. now that the Lord has presented himself with simplicity, mm -hmm. yes. because we have, we have clarified it today, mm -hmm. the way the poor men in respect of Christ mm -hmm. is all about his simplicity. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. The rescue operation is actually handled in simplicity. Mm -hmm. He humbles himself. Yes. He wants to rescue mankind mm -hmm. by using a human body. Yes. May we not think that the Lord Jesus is poor. Mm -hmm. May we not think that David is poor. poor. Mm. He is the army general yes. par excellence yes. in yes. Israel. Yes. All the army of Israel was sweating under the threats of Goliath. Yes. He killed Goliath single-handedly. This man, is, he tore apart the jaws of a lion oh, yeah. in the wilderness. Oh, yes. Yes. He oh, can't yes. be described as a poor, poor man. man. Mm -hmm. On his head, 
was poured a full horn of oil yes. by the priest of God. Hallelujah. Amen. And the Lord said, this is the man after my heart. My yes. Heart. He can't be a poor man. Mm -hmm. Don't take the word poor into your own destruction <laughs> by imagining vain things. Yes. yes. It's the simplicity of the Lord. Oh, yes. Whatever yes. you are going to do to this poor man, mm -hmm. you are poorer than the poor man. Yes. Mm -hmm. Even when you feel like you are rich, like Nabal, yes. you can never be richer than David. Mm. Uh, sure. Mm. sure. Let's see how they that are gracious to the poor men mm -hmm. do it. Mm -hmm. We'll start by learning from Abigail. Mm -hmm. right. Abigail hears that David is coming to kill Nabal. Mm -hmm. She rushes to prepare a package of food. Yes. Mm. But let's see what how she presented herself mm -hmm. when she arrived at David. Yes. And Verse 23. She, and when Abigail saw David, mm -hmm. she hasted. David was coming. Mm -hmm. Abigail saw David's army is coming. Yes. Remember, 400 soldiers mm -hmm. were ready to pounce on Nabal's house. Mm -hmm. David had an entire army mm -hmm. of 400 soldiers. Yes. She hasted to do what? Enlightened off the earth. She was riding a donkey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She came off that donkey. Mm -hmm. What did she do? And fell before David on her face. She fell yeah. before David hey. on her hey. face. Yes. And bowed herself to the ground. Mm -hmm. Yes. And fell at his feet mm -hmm. and said, Upon me, my Lord, upon me, let this iniquity be. And let thine handmaid, I pray thee, speak in thine audience. And hear the words of thine hand. Let's end it there. Mm. Hey. Mm. Is this uh. how people give to the poor? Pastor is excited. Assuming that we had made a wrong interpretation mm -hmm. of Proverbs 19:17. Yeah. And we said, let's all help the poor. <laughs> God will repay us. <laughs> now that we have established yes. that David was hungry, uh, mm -hmm. and therefore David was poor, mm -hmm. is this how we help the poor? Yes. No. Mm -hmm. Is, is no. this how we give to the poor? No. 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 Pastor, read again what Abigail did. Yes. And <laughs> In when, verse 23. And when Abigail saw David, she hasted and lighted off the earth, and fell before David on her face. She fell before David yes. on her face. Mm. Yes. She didn't kneel no. down. No. Mm. She fell. Kuto wira pa si ne muromo chayo. Kuno ruma mavu. Pastor, is this how we help the poor? <laughs> Not no. at all. Man. Have you ever knelt down to give to the poor? No. We also, you actually <laughs> want the poor to yes, kneel down. Yes. <laughs> Do you see that? Yes. Ah. Hey. So hey. these are some of the pegs that we use. Yes. Mm. Mm. You know, yes. Mm. Yes. 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 Jirevo zvekudenga zvakavanzika zvamwari. Kana kwa magora achiti tinotaura zvinhu zvemweya kuvanhu vemweya ndo zvinhu zvemweya zvatanga. Izvi ndo zvinhu zvemweya mas. Yes. Yes. Those who are going to say we want to give money to church. Mm -hmm. This is how Abigail gave mm -hmm. to the men of God. Yes. I just want you to write the following scriptures. Mm -hmm. To Summarize the credentials of David mm. as portrayed by God. Mm. We are only going to read one scripture. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that is going to be Matthew 13, verse 33, 33 to 35, mm -hmm. as read together with Psalm 78, verse 1 and 2. Mm -hmm. Another parable spake he and said, The kingdom of heaven is like unto leaven, which a woman took and hid in three measures of meal till the whole was leavened. Yes. All, All these, these things, things spake Jesus. Yes. yes. 
All these things spake Jesus unto the multitude in parables. He spoke to them in parables. And without a parable spake he not unto them. He never spoke to them without a parable. Mm. Yes. He never spoke to them without a parable. Why was he speaking with the parables? That it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet. That it saying, might be fulfilled which was spoken by what? By, by the, the prophet. prophet. Saying what? I will open my mouth in parables. I will open my mouth in parables. I will utter things which have been kept secret from the foundation of the world. Mm. The prophet that Matthew referred to mm -hmm. in verse 35 mm. yes. is David. Yes. Amen. He is the writer of Psalm 78 verse mm -hmm. 2. Yes. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter dark sayings of old. Those among us who would not believe yes. that David was a prophet mm -hmm. might actually need to read verse 28 of Acts chapter 2. Yes. yes. It proves that David was a prophet. Yes. Thou hast made, made, made yes. known to me the ways of life. Mm. Thou shalt make me full of joy with my with thy countenance. Mm. Yes. Men and brethren, let me freely speak unto you of the patriarch David, uh, that he is both dead and buried, and his sepulchre is with us unto this day. Yes. Therefore, being a prophet, being a prophet, and knowing that God had sworn with an oath to him that of the fruit of his loins, mm. according to the flesh, he would raise up Christ to sit on his throne. Mm. Point number one in your notes, Yes. David was a prophet. prophet. Yes. Mm. Point number two, mm -hmm. David is the patriarch of Jesus concerning the flesh. Amen. Hey. Amen. Yes. yes. God did yes. sworn yes. unto yes. David. Yes. Yes. Go, yes. Back, go back to verse mm. number mm. Uh, 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 30. Yes. It's verse number 30. Yes. It's verse number 30 of Acts 2. Mm -hmm. God had sworn yes. with an oath to yes, David, David. Yes. that of the fruit, fruit of, of his, his loins, loins. Mm -hmm. according to the flesh, he mm -hmm. would raise up Christ mm -hmm. to sit on his, his throne. throne. Mm -hmm. This oath that God made to David, mm -hmm. we won't read it. Yes. It's in Second Psalm. Second Samuel. Yes. Second Samuel chapter seven, seven. Yes. verse number twelve, 12. to fourteen. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. where the oath is. Yes. yes. God yes. made an oath mm -hmm. to David. Mm -hmm. Do not pick an David in dog pick here. Yes. 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 Christ, Christ comes come from, from the seed of David. Yes. Mm. It's not a euphemism. No. It's not no. conjecture. Yes. Yes. It's a doctrinal truth yes. from positions of scripture. 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 Yes. Point number three. Mm -hmm. David is the greatest king ever to live. Yes. Amen. To this day. Mm -hmm. Amen. There's never been a king like David mm. yes. in Israel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is why in Luke chapter one, mm -hmm. In Luke chapter 1, in Luke chapter 1, verse 31 to 33, mm. yes. angel Gabriel talks to Mary yes. and he tells Mary mm -hmm. that Jesus shall sit yes. on the throne of, of his, his father, father David. David. Yes. yes, verse 32, he shall be great and shall be called the son of the highest, mm. and the Lord shall give unto him the throne of his father, David. David. Amen, Odin Apostle. Ah. Is, there, is it not there in the scriptures? Ah, yes. Oh my God. Yes. Huh? yes. You are. Hallelujah. Yes. You are, yes. yes. And we are, are the seal of, uh, of your apostleship. Your apostleship. Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yes. He is the only man outside Christ mm. yes. about which God said he is the man after his own heart. Mm. Yes, yes. That is yes. also found in 1 Samuel mm -hmm. chapter 13, verse 10. Yes. Amen. And it came to pass that as soon as he had made an end of offering, the bent offering, behold, Samuel came and so went out to meet him that he might salute him. Yes. And Samuel said, what hast thou done? And so said, because I saw the people, I saw that the people were scattered from me, and that thou comest not within the days appointed, mm. and that the Philistines gathered themselves together at Michmash. Mm. Verse 13. 
And Samuel said to Saul, Thou hast done foolishly. Thou hast not kept the commandment of the Lord mm. thy God, which he commanded thee. Mm. For now would the Lord have established thy kingdom upon Israel forever. Mm. 14. But now thy kingdom shall not continue. Mm. The Lord has sought him a man after his own heart. A man after, after his, his own heart. heart. And the Lord has commanded him to be captain over his people mm. because he, uh, thou hast not kept that which the Lord commanded, commanded thee. thee. Thank you. Yes. Amen. The Thank last you. script point, the point number five. Mm. Mm -hmm. He is the only man yes. who was given Holy Spirit to judge his people. Hey. Wow. Hey. Yeah. Among the kings of Israel. Mm -hmm. Wow. And that is in First Samuel chapter 16, mm -hmm. verse number 13. And as David and his men went by the way, mm. Shimei went along on the hillside. First Samuel, then Samuel took the 16, horn. Verse 13. Then Samuel took the horn of oil yes. and anointed him in the midst of his brethren. Yes. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon David yes. from that day forward. Yes. Yes. So Samuel <laughs> rose up and went to Ramah. <laughs> The, the only king of yes. the Lord. Yes. who was given the spirit of the Lord yes. Hallelujah. to govern the people. Yes. Mm. Before he sits on the throne, yes. he already has the Holy Spirit. Holy spirit. Ah. Ah. What difference does he have with Christ? Ah. Who before he was anointed, yes. he was Praise given a name above Praise every name. Lord. He, he already was, said the spirit of the Lord, the Lord is, is upon, upon me. me. He has yes. anointed me. me. To mm. preach yes. to the poor. Yes. Yes. These are just a, a, a first rundown mm. of how great David, David was. was. Mm. Before he looked for food <laughs> from <laughs> Naba. Uh, <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> uh, Tell me that a man who has been anointed with an one of oil is poor. Mm -hmm. right. Tell me that the man that God has given his spirit is poor. poor. Mm. Tell me that a man after God's heart is, is poor. poor. Tell me ah. a man that God has sworn to mm -hmm. that he shall be the father of our Lord Jesus Christ mm -hmm. as poor. concerning the flesh yes. is poor. Ah, yes. He was not poor. No. Mm -hmm. He became poor mm -hmm. so that he could marry Abigail. Amen. <laughs> Abigail, could you have become David's wife if David did not need anything from no, you? No. No. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> you understand? Yes. So we can simply say, for you know the grace of David, brethren, mm -hmm. how that though he was rich, Hallelujah. but for, your, for Abigail's sake, Greg. He became, became poor, poor. <laughs> so that through his poverty, poverty. Abigail yeah, might, might become be the queen. <laughs> Application Amen. of Second Corinthians Amen. 8, verse 9. Yes, nine. Yes. Alala, alala, <laughs> alala. Oh, my God. Yes. Can I hear David? I go now to Nabao. He could fight. He could. And kill him. And kill him. So he, right. wasn't poor. <laughs> he was not poor. So the issue now mm -hmm. is when we are given an opportunity mm -hmm. to save God with something as believers, yes. the approach we must use is not the Nabal approach. Mm -hmm. It is the Basilai Abigail approach. Eh? Every time you find David or Christ poor, mm -hmm. he's not in need. No. Mm -hmm. He's in a rescue operation. Mm. Yes. The dictates of the rescue operation require the men to be poor mm -hmm. to rescue the little city. Yes. So Abigail was rescued. Yes. Mm -hmm. But in that moment, the rescuer was poor. Mm -hmm. Be gracious to the poor Amen. man. Yes. Amen. For God will be okay. Paying you back that debt. Mm. So, hey, Pastor Chuma, would you want to say something so far? Amai, this is uh, absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. This is a rescue operation, and that's why David looks poor. But it's amazing that uh, because David looks poor, he gets poor so that he can, he can uh, recover. Uh, he can rescue Abigail.
from the clutches of the of Nabal, the scoundrel. And yeah, he's a scoundrel. Yes. <laughs> And it's, no. it's, it's amazing that it's not David who kills Napa. No, no, it's not. <laughs> In which case we could say, Shansa Zimber Rujagamar. Now I tell my child, David, we go check out the calf. We see our name, Rimano, Shandiro. Instead, it's God who kills, who kills Napa because God will always repay. <laughs> yeah, the, the matter was concerning Christ. Yes. David was a type mm. of Christ. Mm. Yes. And this story was there to bring out Christ. Yes. yes. Am I when you taught us the principle of God? Yes. He, when you were saying the issue of uh, parents and children, and we said what cases children is not their parents, mm -hmm. but it is the principle of God. Yes, it's the principle. So the principle of God is here. Give to the poor. Yes. yes. It's and Christ. I will, yes. Give to Christ. Yes, give to Christ. Christ. The poor is Christ. Yes. It's not a man. No. 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 All right. And automatically, <laughs> he repays. God repays. <laughs> now, mm. I want to show you something that is very amazing, mm -hmm. which is also an escalation. This principle yes. only applies to God's children. Hey. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Strangers <laughs> are not required to obey this principle. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Hey. Mm. <laughs> Last time the David adventure revealed yes. that Nabal was a son of Judah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which means David yes. and Nabal, Nabal are Nabal both the children of Judah, yes. Yes. which means Nabal mm -hmm. is a brother to, to David. David. To David, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, yeah. So this teaching mm. only applies to believers. Mm. Mm. It is a believer mm -hmm. who is obliged to be gracious yes. to, to Christ the, to the, to the <laughs> and not the whole oh, world. Nabal is a God. Nabal, even <laughs> if he was not from the house of Judah, mm -hmm. the moment he became an Israelite, mm -hmm. he, was he was bound. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And was bound so this help. law is a law unto Israel. Yes. Yes. God could not have given this law to the Philistines. No. Mm -hmm. God does not care for oxen. Yes. <laughs> 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 Does yeah. God care for no. oxen? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Ask your neighbor. What you about to tell you? Does God care for oxen? Pastor, no. Am I? No. have you figured out this scripture? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the, so cattle come, head, the cattle head that will care for oxen, not Yes, God. yes, yes. <laughs> God does not care for oxen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a law unto Israel. Yes. It only binds believers. Mm. Why does it bind believers? Mm -hmm. Because God considers us beneficiaries of the rescue operation. Amen. Yes. Yes. You Amen. can't look down upon the very operation mm. by which you also came into no. Israel. Mm. No. Remember, God rescued Israel from Egypt mm. where they had nothing in their own name. Yes. yes. God rescued Israel. Yes. And so the rescue operation mm. continues. Yes. When God wants to rescue X, Y, and Z, yes. God wants A, B, and C yes. to be involved. Oh. Amen. So that 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 9 mm. can be fulfilled. Yes. We are all fellow laborers Amen. together yes. with God. Hallelujah. Why do you want to be well. left out when mm. God is laboring? Mm. The Bible says we labor together, together. with God. Yes. yes. You are God's God husbandry. Yes. You are God's, God's building. building. Mm. You understand? Mm. Yes. Let me show you this in a, a in illustrative manner. Mm -hmm. Yes. Why would Nabal refuse? to give David food, who is in trouble mm. because of an operation in which Nabal was rescued in the valley of Elah. Ah. Yes. If yes. David had not killed Goliath, mm. 
who do not bow still remain in Cameroon. No. No, no bow could have been captured yes, to Philistine. Yes. So the rescue operation mm. that got David into trouble, mm -hmm. now bow is also a beneficiary. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Look at me now. I'm in yes, trouble, yes. but you are in prosperity. Yes. Why do you think that it is my mischief that brought me into this trouble. Uh, yeah. It's because of people like you, Nabao. Yes. I'm rescuing you. Yes. Be grateful mm. for what the Lord is doing. Yes. Why would you not want to give money mm. to Jesus so that he could continue with the preaching of the gospel? Mm. Is, this, is it not the preaching of the gospel mm -hmm. that made you a believer today? Hey. Yes. Hey. The day yes. you believed the message mm -hmm. was not Jesus pursuing a rescue operation. He was. He was. He was. Huh? He was. Mm. Now Nabal says, nowadays the servants are always fleeing from their masters. <laughs> I am a very, very organized man. man. I, I want every penny of my money to be accounted for. Mm -hmm. These pastors are stealing money from their mm. churches and mm -hmm. getting rich. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm. Whose money was stolen for Jesus to arrive on earth 2,000 years ago Ish. to die Ish. for us on the cross? Uh, Whose money was stolen? Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. So it's an important matter, don't forget. Yes. Proverbs chapter 11 mm -hmm. is the explanation as to why a rich man died of a heart problem. Mm -hmm. We thought rich men do not die after all. <laughs> Nabao should have a medical aid. Yes. Nabao should have emergency rescue, executive <laughs> emergency rescue packages yes. on his medical aid card. Yes. Yes. Nabao should have been airlifted <laughs> to Heathrow Airport <laughs> to the best hotel a hospital yes. in London. Yes. Yes. Why could they not save Nabao? Mm. from a simple heart disease. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Proverbs chapter 11, verse 4. Yes. Verse 4. Riches profit not in the day of wrath, mm -hmm. but righteousness delivereth from death. Money does not profit <laughs> you in the day, in the of, day of wrath. Yes. Hey. But righteousness yes. delivers, delivers from, from death. Hey. Do you still remember the word the righteous? Yes. yes. In yes. Matthew 25, 34. Yes. Yes. He shall say yes. to them, yes. to the righteous. Yes. On his right hand. Yes. yes. All right. Mm. So now bow, my friend. Mm. You may live in your prosperity. Yes. <laughs> but let but, me tell you, Nabao, mm. riches will not profit you mm. in the day of wrath. Mm. Huh? Mm. So people were going to say, so is th does that mean that we must bring all our money to church and mm. remain poor? No. Mm -mm. Otherwise, Proverbs 11 verse 4 could be saying, riches do not profit in the day of wrath. Mm but offerings do. Mm -hmm. In which case the pastor would say, <laughs> instead of keeping your money, money. in your account, mm -hmm. yes, bring, bring it, it as offerings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the scripture is not actually uh, saying people should not keep their money mm -hmm. to themselves. Mm -hmm. The scripture is preaching, practicing righteousness mm -hmm. in our everyday life. Yes. Yes. What then delivers from death, Pastor mm -hmm. Shuma? Mm -hmm. Righteousness. righteousness. It's righteousness. Yes. Mm -hmm. And yet Matthew 25 is talking about bread and water. water. <laughs> <laughs> we all know that Nabal did not die because of righteousness. No. <laughs> <laughs> what killed Nabal was <laughs> bread and water. water. Yes. Why is Proverbs lying to us <laughs> that righteousness <laughs> delivers from death? From death. <laughs> to Nabal, bread and water <laughs> could have delivered Nabal yes. from death. Mm. Pastor, Am I? we are forensically analyzing mm. scriptures. Mm. 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 The point here is, I, I construct these paradoxes to, to, to bring your attention mm. 
so that we may zero in into the scriptures, yes. dig deeper, yes. to make doctrine and faith, mm -hmm. doctrine our sense mm -hmm. from the scripture. Mm -hmm. Now, Bao, it doesn't matter how rich you are. Mm -hmm. When God gets angry, mm -hmm. your money will not save you. Yes. But let's not forget that Nabao is an Israelite. Mm -hmm. Nabao is bound, bound to obey God. Yes. Any other rich man can do whatever they want with their, their money. money. But once you discover that God has given you some resources mm -hmm. and you are a child of God, mm -hmm. God has given you that resource mm -hmm. so that you may also use them mm -hmm. to worship God. Yes. You can't use your money mm -hmm. like unbelievers. No. Mm -hmm. Unbelievers can, can, can buy a whole house, a brothel full of prostitutes, mm. and defile themselves the whole night. Mm. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. You are bound by the law of God, Nabal. Mm. You are an Israelite. When you meet David, mm. you must honor God mm -hmm. on David's life. Mm -hmm. Honor God, David, mm. on, da on, on David's life. Honor God, Nabal. Mm. On David's life. Kudzamgari na bar, mupenyu wa David. David watu manamgari, kununura nyika yese. Yes. Nyika yese ya Israel, that is. Kwete nyika zese. Nyika yese, kwete nyika zese. Mwararu kungo nunura chete wa sanangurwa. Yes. Pakatipe wa sanangurwa, ipapo. Nga parege kuwene munu. Akai pa moyo sana bari, anozi kuzamu fuma yake. Yes, yes, yes. The reason why Jesus appears poor, it is because the rescue operation requires him to be in simplicity. Yes. When you see David looking for food, he won't get nabal broke. No, I hope it will never come out of your mind. Nabal can never get broke after giving David bread and water. Can he get broke, man of God? Can he get broke, Pastor? Nabal, how broke about Yes. David never asked Nabal to sow all his money as a seed to God in the anticipation for more billions. Yes. No. Whatever comes into your hand, mm -hmm. this is what David asked. Yes. Listen to me carefully. Yes. I'm winding up my message now. Yes. Listen carefully to David's request mm -hmm. when he sent his servants to Nabal. Mm -hmm. Verse number eight. Mm -hmm. Ask the young man, and they will show thee. Mm -hmm. Wherefore, let the young man find favor in thine eyes. Yes. For we come in a good day. Yes. Give, I pray thee. Give, I pray thee. Mm. Whatsoever cometh to thine hand. Ah, 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 ah. And to thy servants. Mm -hmm. And to thy son and David. And to thy son mm. David. Mm. Highlight the phrase that says, Give, give I, pray I pray thee. thee. Whatsoever comes, comes to thy hand. Mm. Mm. Dipe wo na bari, chero changu batu kwa nema wakwa kwa. Kana impamba ira, kana manuchu. We are not looking to be flamboyant and to spoil ourselves. We are servants of God pursuing a rescue operation. It's an operation of God. David was a shepherd in his father's house. Yes. It is God mm. who made David a savior in Israel mm. to kill Goliath. Mm. Because of that rescue operation, yes. he is now a poor man mm. in trouble. Amen. On a good mm. day, David is well taken care of. Yes. He doesn't need any young Amen. man to go with him. Mm. David can live his life alone mm. with his few father's sheep. Mm. It's a rescue operation yes. that made David needy mm. to the extent that na 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 bari wasina manu ba kusimu zama dundu ndu kushikuza ba chichini la muranda wa mngari. Iwe na bari iwe unawazi ziva kutumurume uyu ndia anuto saka uwe mpenyu nasi. Unawazi ziva shahida kuitu kwa irina goriat na David asina kumuraya. Ona yuko zini ni pisa kwa David, aku dadiri wana na na barivese. Vasi na mano, vasi na mano. Yes. 
God gave you this wealth now mm -hmm. for such a time, time as this. Yes. 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 The little offering you can give in the house of God, mm -hmm. you are giving freely, yes. mm -hmm. freely, yes. willingly, mm -hmm. with joy. Yes. How can it get you broke? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, we have highlighted verse 8 to show you that this is all about Christ Jesus. Amen. Mm -hmm. David sent his servants to Nabal. Mm. Tell Nabal, give, I pray thee, mm -hmm. whatsoever comes to your hand. Yes. Mm -hmm. David didn't force Nabal. No. David didn't say, I don't want white bread. Mm -mm. I, I need whole wheat <laughs> bread. No. I don't eat margarine. <laughs> I need honey. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Nabal was sad to say, how can a beggar be so choosy? choosy. Yes. No, whatsoever <laughs> comes into your head. Yes. You can give to God. Second Corinthians chapter 9, verse 7. Mm -hmm. The exact words of Nabal, yes. of David to Nabal, yes. were said by Paul yes. to the church of God. Hey. Even. Remember, we said this law yes. only addresses the church. Yes. Yes. And so Paul yes. wasn't speaking to the yes. whole world. No. Yes. He was speaking to the house Amen. of God. Yes. Amen. Nabal yes. mm. was a child of Israel. Mm. What does Paul say to the church? Every man according as he purposes in his heart. Yes. So let him give. Yes. Not grudgingly mm. or of necessity. Mm. For God loves a cheerful giver. Amen. Nabal, Chero. give yes. cheerfully to David. Yes. Chero. Yes. Every man mm. as he purposes in yes. his heart. Whatever Chero. you decide to give Nabal, mm. it's okay. It's okay. Chero. Mm. <laughs> Even when you look at what Abigail brought to David, mm -hmm. the Bible says she did this, she brought this and mm. that and that. Mm -hmm. All the things that Abigail prepared, mm -hmm. she decided what to prepare. Yes. David never said to Abigail, what you brought is not enough. Mm. I don't see God meet Panyamawana. That's <laughs> going <laughs> to Remember, the neighbor and the ones who go dead. So get on to our Kana. Kana. Whatever Abigail brought, yes. David yes. received. Yes. David never said, Where is Maton? Mm. I can't see a lamp shank. Pastor. Free will. Do I demand one David? Free will, you all. Do I feel an abad? Nabal died because of free will offering. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it, it did not make him even poor when the wife took those things. Free will offerings cannot make <laughs> you poor. poor. No. Mm. Whatsoever comes poor. into your hand, Nabal. Yes. It's a rescue operation. Yes. Mm. I'm in trouble because of you. Mm. Your peace and your joy, it mm. is because of the work of the gospel. Amen. Mm. Amen. Why would you find it a difficult thing to be gracious yes. to the poor? Mm. Mm. Pastor, mm. it's getting interesting, right? Yes. Oh, yeah. yes. All right. Concerning Basilai, finally. Mm -hmm. Absalom, the son of David, has revolted. He has installed himself king mm -hmm. and is conspiring with all the house of Israel, except a few, mm -hmm. to pursue after David, mm -hmm. to kill David. Mm -hmm. yes. So David runs away from the palace. Mm -hmm. And looking at David's credentials, mm -hmm. you could also tell that if he wanted to kill his own son, mm -hmm. he could have killed Absalom easily. Oh, yes. But yes. because of a rescue operation, mm -hmm. he decided to flee. Okay. So David is now in the forest mm -hmm. where he can't find food. Mm -hmm. Again, mm -hmm. he has left the palace. Mm -hmm. The same David. Yes. Mm -hmm. So he's now poor once again. Yeah. <laughs> David, who do we are? We are homeless. We are your company. You might have not bad. I got to get a palace. I got to go. I'm up to palace. I think I'm footing my rescue operation. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Verse 26, 2 Samuel 17 says, So Israel and Absalom 
pitched in the land of Gilead. Mm -hmm. And, and it, it came, came to pass, yes. And it came to pass when David was come to Mahanaim, that Shobi, the son of Nahash. Shobi, the son of Nahash, of, of Rabbah. Rabbah. Of the children of Ammon. Yes. And Mark, the son of Amiel, of Lodiba. Mm -hmm. And Bazlai, the Gileadite of Rogelim, mm. brought beds and basins and earthen vessels and wheat and barley and flour and parched corn and beans and lentils and parched pulse and honey and butter and sheep and cheese of kind for <laughs> David and for Le the people. Read, that uh, were with read him. again the list. Yes. <laughs> brought beds. They brought what? Beds. They brought chickens. Mm -hmm. This word, okay, these are the beds, beds. But beds among run. the things they brought, yes. they also brought chickens. Mm -hmm. Yes. They brought beds mm -hmm. and, and vessels. vessels of food. Yes. Mm -hmm. Earthen vessels. vessels. Mm -hmm. Yes. Did you still remember? Do you yes. still remember? Yes. Second yes. Corinthians 4 oh. 7. Mm -hmm. Yes. We have treasure in earthen yes. vessels. Yes. yes. They brought earthen vessels. Yes. And wheat. And wheat. Yes. And barley. Yes. And flour and parched corn, and beans, and lentils, and parched pulse, and honey, and butter, and sheep, and cheese of kind, mm. for David and for the people that were with him mm. to eat. For they said, the people is hungry, mm -hmm. and weary, and thirsty in, in the, the wilderness. I was thirsty. I was hungry. Yes, you gave me no food. yes, yes. I ah. was thirsty. You gave you me, me not no. water. Mm. Yes. These yes. guys came. Mm. Hey. I just want to talk about Basilai mm -hmm. and not the others because the Basilai matter is the one that mm -hmm. then continued forward. Mm -hmm. Numbers twenty six. Mm. Verse 28 says, The sons of Joseph, after their families, yes. were Manasseh and Ephraim. Mm. Yes. Of the sons of Manasseh, mm -hmm. of Maka, mm -hmm. the family of the Makarites. Yes. And Maka beget Gilead. Gilead. Mm -hmm. Of Gilead come, come the, the family, family of, of the, the Gileadites. Gileadites. Yes. Yes. Huh? yes. Pastor Juma. Yes. Mm. Who was Basilai? He was a Gileadite. Gileadite. Let's go again. To Second oh, Samuel 17, who came to David, verse 27. And it came to pass when David was come to Mahanaim, that Shobi, the son of Nahash, of Rabbah, of the children of Ammon. This one was Maka. a stranger. Yes. Shobi and, was not an Israelite. Yes. Who else came? And Maka, the son of Amiel, of Lord. Maka is a... Benjamite. Mm -hmm. Amiel right. is one of the patriarchs of Benjamin. Benjamin. Okay. All right. Of Lord Diba. Of Lord Diba. And Basla. Where do we get that? Of. Um, you can go and find it in in Second Samuel chapter nine. Yes. We yes. know that Marka mm -hmm. is yes. one of the yes. sons of of Benjamin. Yes. yes. Where. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Beth was yes. before David brought him. Yes. All right. So, Maka, the son of Amiel of Lord mm -hmm. is a Benjamite. Yes. Basilai mm -hmm. is a Gileadite Gileadite. of mm -hmm. Rogelim. Yes. Mm -hmm. Which means Basilai, mm -hmm. Basilai mm -hmm. is a Manasite. All right. Okay. All right. Basilai, yes. Mana wa Manase. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Let's read it again. Numbers 26. Those who oh. say, I, I may not have uh, been there. <laughs> yes. Verse 28 and 29. The sons of Joseph, after their families, were manasseh. <laughs> Manasseh and Ephraim. As Joseph Stalin Aruta or one. The Jose, Manawa Jacob. Yes. Oh my God. yes. The sons of Joseph mm -hmm. are Ephraim and Manasseh. Mm -hmm. Of the sons of Manasseh, Manasseh. of Maka, mm -hmm. the family of the Makarites. Yes. Maka beget Gilead. Gilead. Of Gilead come 
the family of the Gileadites. Basilai is a Gileadite. Gileadites are Manasites. Manasites are under the law of God. Proverbs 19.17 applies to Basilai. All right. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you understand? Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. yes. So, of course, there is a marker mm -hmm. among the Benjamites, mm -hmm. according to verse 27. Mm -hmm. yes. And when we read Numbers 26, mm -hmm. among the Manasites, there was also, also another marker. marker. Mm -hmm. Let's not confuse those markers. Mm -hmm. All right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So Marker, the son of Amio, is a Benjamite. Benjamite. Yes. Mm -hmm. But Basilai is mm -hmm. a Manasite. Mm -hmm. All these, they brought what? Beds. Mm -hmm. How much? How, what did they bring? <laughs> Pekurarira. Yes. yes. What else did they bring? Verses. Bagaya ne mizio. Yonu go to Mparizi. Gango pari zaka na tinger wakaske zakwan. Ano zuda pekurara. Yes. Be beda. Pasta. Be beda. Yes. Achi manya kudaro. The rescue operation. Pacha zuda beda. As he runs David pursuing a rescue operation, he is going to need the beds. Mm. What else? Basins. <laughs> yes. That these are kitchen vessels. Yes. yes. Pots and the pans and yes. the plates and yes. the spoons and the cups. Mm -hmm. For the men of God. Mm. Yes. Mm. Yes. And then vessels and wheat. Wheat, flour, and barley, barley, and flour, flour, and patch the corn, patch the corn, and the beans, beans, and lentils, lentils, and patch the powers, patch the powers, and the honey, honey, <laughs> and the butter, and the butter, and the sheep. My kwai ekujga agau iwanawa. And the cheese of kind. Cheese yaga vakumombe. For yes. David, mm. and, for David, and for the people that were with him again, and for the people that were with for him. For David and for who? For, for the, the people. people that were with him. For David and for he? For, for the, who? For the people <laughs> that were. What with about him. those who say we love David, <laughs> but we don't <laughs> care about <laughs> the David ah. servants? You can't bring anything to David, ah. yes, and tell him to eat while his servants are watching. Are watching. Hey. Hey. Yes. Let's yes. read what David says to Solomon mm -hmm. in First Kings chapter 2 concerning Basilai. Yes. He is now giving charge to Solomon before he dies. Mm -hmm. Verse 7. Yes. But yes, show kindness unto the sons of Basilai. Show kindness wow. unto the sons of Basilai the wow. Gilead died. And let them be of those that eat at thy table. Wow. Huh? Hey. <laughs> you can't <laughs> eat Solomon hey. without the sons of Basilai, Basilai on the table. Yes. Hey. It shall not be permissible. Mm -hmm. We have a debt yes. to yes. settle with, with the Gilead nice. of Basilai family. Hey. Yes. Hallelujah, hallelujah. My own Solomon. Praise the Lord. Yes. We can't eat without considering Basilai's children. Mm -hmm. Why should we invite the sons of Basilai to for, the table? For so they came to me when I fled because of Absalom, thy brother. Hey. Oh. Hey. Read again. Hey. <laughs> but show kindness unto the sons of Basilai the Gileadite, mm. and let them be of those that eat at thy table. Mm. For so they came to me when I fled because of Absalom, thy brother. My brother. Was it not a rescue mm. operation? It was. It was. it was. I was yeah. not convenient. Mm -hmm. I was not in a peaceful time. Mm. Yes. I was running. Mm. Mm -hmm. But it was a rescue operation. Mm -hmm. We needed to rescue the kingdom mm -hmm. from the tentacles of Absalom. Yes. Absalom had taken the kingdom hostage. Mm -hmm. It was an embarrassing issue in yes. that one. Yes. yes. We had to regroup with my few soldiers mm -hmm. and strategize. Mm -hmm. How can we rescue the kingdom mm -hmm. from Absalom? Yes. 
I couldn't have packed my bags mm -hmm. and carried enough food. Yes. We were hungry, my son Solomon. Mm. What happened was amazing. Mm -hmm. Basilai, yes. the Gilead died, mm -hmm. showed me kindness. Yes. Amen. Amen. Be gracious. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Uh, yeah. oh. Come. The Bible says, be kind to the, the poor. poor man. Poor man. <laughs> God will be in your debt. Yes. Ha! no no shamisa. Ah, no shamisa. And the no shamisa, Pastor. Ah, no shamisa, my. Show kindness. Mm. Show kindness. Mm -hmm. Show kindness mm -hmm. to Basil, like the Gileadite. Yes. Mm -hmm. How many men are we in Israel, mm -hmm. why Basilai's name in particular? Mm -hmm. Well, he is the man mm -hmm. who observed the teachings of God. Amen. I can't sit in my house mm -hmm. as if nothing is wrong in this kingdom. Mm -hmm. The king is in distress. Mm -hmm. yes. He's on a rescue operation. Mm -hmm. If the king is not successful, mm -hmm. all of us will be in danger. Yes. Basila is not a, a, a Absalom is not a God fearing man. Mm -hmm. He will kill some of us. Oh, yes. Yes. It is important mm -hmm. for David mm -hmm. to rescue the kingdom again yes. from the hands of Absalom. Mm -hmm. But the king has not presented himself in strength. Mm -hmm. He's in a weak position. Yes. Yes. This is not a mischief on his part. Mm -hmm. This is not weakness mm -hmm. that is actually natural. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is the operation of God. Amen. He has to be poor yes. to rescue the kingdom yes. from Absalom. Yes. Amen. At that point, bona fide oh, members of the kingdom mm -hmm. who rise up and say, <laughs> as long as he is our king, mm -hmm. we are going to stand with him. Yes. We will not sleep yes. mm -hmm. and toil and enjoy ourselves mm -hmm. when we do not know what has become of our king. Yes. We will identify with David mm -hmm. even yes. when he is in poverty like yes. this. Yes. We are not ashamed yes. of the of gospel. Amen. It is mm -hmm. the power oh, of God, God. And unto salvation. salvation. Yes. Hallelujah. Show kindness, mm -hmm. my son Solomon, mm -hmm. to, to Basilai yes. and his sons. Mm -hmm. We owe the Basilai family mm -hmm. kindness. Yes. As long as the children of David are sitting on the throne, mm -hmm. the Basilai family is covered. Hallelujah. Because of yes. one act of, of kindness. kindness. When Solomon dies, mm. he will charge his son, Rehoboam, mm. yes. my son, yeah. our, our family, family owes the family of <laughs> Basilai <laughs> kindness. Yes. Yes. We have a commandment from the father. Yes. <laughs> we must be kind to the family of Basilai. Mm. Cheropai ne we rudzi wa David pashigaro. Yes. Kanawa Basilai apana noko batai. Everything will be fine. Amen. This is the kind of relationship that believers must have mm -hmm. with the gospel operation. Amen. 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 Wherever we are preaching the gospel, yes. find something to do yes. to be a partaker yes. of the work of the gospel. Amen. Yes. Yes. Because the Lord will be in your debt. Hallelujah. Mm. Amen. You can't afford yes. for David to be in the forest mm. rescuing the whole kingdom which mm. you belong to. Mm. Yes. And yet you appear like it doesn't concern you. Mm. Ah. What happens mm. if Goliath wins the war? Mm. Hey. What happens if Absalom wins mm. the battle? Mm. What happens to Basilai? Mm. What happens to Shimei? Mm. What happens to Naba? Mm. Mm. This peace we are enjoying, yes. it's because of the heroic efforts, mm. the heroic efforts of David. Of David. Yes. He's always in a rescue operation. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. yes. Every bona fide child, child. of the kingdom mm. cannot watch the work of the gospel mm. going when you are far away. Mm. Yes. Find something. Get involved. Yes. Don't be like a neighbor. Yes. Mm. Look at the request of David. Yes. Mm. Yes. Find whatever uh, your hand touches. Uh, uh, just make yes. sure. Mm. You yes. don't just say amen mm. to the word we are preaching. Yes. Make sure yes. if you are a child of God, mm. do something mm. 
Amen. To be a part of the rescue operation. Yes. 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 Amen. You can't be someone who says I'm too poor to give something. Mm. Mm -hmm. There's no one too poor to give something mm -hmm. to the work of the gospel. Mm -hmm. yes. You can't be too poor. Mm -hmm. You can't. Think, yes. think, look at you. Right now you pay Netflix subscriptions. <laughs> Amazon Prime subscriptions. Mm. Some of the subscriptions you are paying are totally unprofitable to you, either physically or spiritually. Mm. $67, $80, $120 mm. entertainment subscriptions mm. to entertain your body. Mm. The work of the gospel that we are doing is a rescue operation of the Lord Jesus. Mm. Why don't you take it upon yourself? Apart from every other offering that I may give, I want to have a subscription that goes to the kingdom of God. Yes. My own personal mm. subscription. Mm. The church does not require me to do so, mm. but it's a contribution to the rescue operation. Yes. Yes. From my pay slip, from my debit orders, mm. $50 every month will go to the finance and administration department. Mm. $100 every month. Yes. Look at all these deductions on your pay slip. Mm. All these deductions on your bank statement, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. some of them are totally unbeneficial. Mm -hmm. yes. You barely watch these, uh, uh, these movies on Netflix, mm -hmm. but you are happy yeah. to give money to movie stars which are in America. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those movies, you have to watch them with one eye closed <laughs> because of obscenities in their yes. videos. Yes. 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 But we preach a decent gospel here Hallelujah. that Amen. benefits your spirit. Yes. We labor for hours Amen. to enrich you physically yes. and spiritually. Yes. Now you are now sound-minded. Mm -hmm. You make decisions that are very useful in your life. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. This is the rescue operation. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. Now compare Nabal and Basilai mm. and tell me what are the differences you have observed? Hey. This is what we want you to do on, on Wednesday next week mm -hmm. when we do our review. Mm -hmm. okay. I want you to compare Basilai, yeah. the Gileadite, yeah. yes. and Nabal, the Camelite. Yes. 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 Today I will give you one comparison. Okay. Mm -hmm. When you are someone who is stiff, stone-hearted, mm -hmm. What the method that God used to kill Nabal, mm -hmm. he wanted to portray his stone-heartedness mm -hmm. even before he died. Right. He had the heart of stone. Yes. He never cared okay. about God. No. You are not going to be like Nabal, mm -hmm. a beneficiary of the kingdom mm -hmm. who refuses to play a part mm -hmm. to the activities of the kingdom, mm -hmm. to advance the kingdom agenda. The rescue operation. Mm. How many of our brothers and sisters are still blinded by heresy, drowned in sin? Mm. The rescue operation cannot stop. Mm -hmm. We should never have a situation mm. where there is no money mm. to do the work of God. Yes. Where are the Basilai, the Gileadites? Mm -hmm. Where is Abigail? Yes. There is one uh, difference between these two that I find interesting. Mm -hmm. After Baz, uh, 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 Nabal refused to honor the king with yes. his grace, yes. with his kindness, yes. mm -hmm. David had to send ten young men mm -hmm. to help one mm -hmm. another mm -hmm. to yes. convince Nabal mm -hmm. to release yes. bread and water. Yes. <laughs> ten <laughs> soldiers, yes, ten, ten lieutenant colonels, mm -hmm. with their army regalia and yes. all their their crowns and medals mm -hmm. on their uniform, mm -hmm. they were sent to go and negotiate, mm -hmm. and they were unsuccessful. <laughs> yes. ten. Hey. ten preachers hey. they failed, failed to, to receive convince. one penny hey. to give to David. Hey. Mm -hmm. On the contrary, David sent not no even one soldier to Basilai. Basilai. 
Hallelujah. Mm. Not even one soldier mm-hmm. was sent to Basila. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Basila is that kind of a believer whose heart is with David. David yes. He may not be with him in person, mm-hmm. but wherever Basila is, mm-hmm. he always inquires, mm-hmm. where is the king? king. Is the king, king safe? safe? Are there any the means the king may want to yes. use mm-hmm. to further the agenda? Yes. Mm-hmm. yes. There was no bata wombe, bata wombe by Mm-mm. David Mm-mm. to Basilai. There was no can I go deeper <laughs> and prophesy <laughs> in your life. Mm-hmm. Basilai received no prophecy from David. And Basilai received no promise from David. Mm-hmm. David never said, I will see you. I will return the favor no. when I get back to the palace. There was no guarantee yes, that, that David was, was going back to the palace. Mm. What happened if Absalom had won the war? Mm. It means he was going to kill his father David yes. and retain the throne. Yes. There was no time to promise anything. Mm. What Basilai did was an expression of gratitude mm. to David. Mm. He rescued us from Goliath. Mm. I know you are a servant of God. Mm. What you are pursuing is an agenda of God. Mm-hmm. May you continue and may you succeed. Yes. I don't care what you are going to give to me. Mm-hmm. Yes. And when you go to chapter, chapter number 18, mm-hmm. the Bible says, the king said unto Basilai, mm-hmm. in verse 33, mm-hmm. come thou, it was after Absalom had died, mm-hmm. chapter 19. Mm-hmm. So David wanted to invite Basilai yes. to retain the favor himself in yes. person. Mm-hmm. And the king said unto Basilai, Come thou over with me, and I will feed thee with me in Jerusalem. And Basilai said unto the king, How long have I to live that I should go up with the king unto Jerusalem? I am this day eight years old, and can I descend between good and evil? I'm just trying to show you (laughs) the humility of the true kingdom children. Oh, yes. Yes. I'm an idiot. That's Basilai for you. I don't know the difference between (laughs) good and evil. I'm still learning the gospel. (laughs) I'm still a little baby in the faith. I can't discern between heresy Mm -hmm. and the true gospel. When I taste the gospel, Mm -hmm. my taste buds are not yet exercised in sound doctrine. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what I'm eating or what I'm drinking. Mm -hmm. Can I hear any (laughs) more the voice of singing men and singing women? women. Uh, Why then should thy servant be yet a burden unto my Lord the the King? King. That's the believer's Attitude, attitude. Amen. Yes. when you serve God Amen. in the kingdom. Amen. Yes. Mm. Pastor Shuma? Yes, am I? Yashika ngoe kutimuchin zina mambo. Dauda kukupa o something. Huh? Mm-hmm. This is not the giving that we were used to. No. Where the charlatan would say, if you give today before the end of this year, <laughs> this very year, gore rinoi, iro rinoi. Maracha kuitirash daf daf. Iyo vesiri papo. The king invited Basilai to the palace. Mm. Hey. I want to return the favor. Mm. Basilai said, no, I'm too old for that. Mm. Actually, I don't want to be a burden to you. Mm. <laughs> I'm grateful hey. that I'm ah. safe and sound. Hallelujah. I'm grateful that you rescued us from Goliath. Mm. Yes. What you did in the valley of Ela is enough. Yes. Mm. Jesus doesn't need to do a dime more to me. beyond what he did for us yes. on the cross. Yes. If we give today, we are appreciating the rescue yes. operation. Amen. Mm. I'm giving because I'm thankful. Amen. I'm a child of God on account of what Jesus has already done. Amen. Yes. Amen. He doesn't have to promise Amen. me blessings Amen. for me to give. Amen. Basila, Agata and Okremezai. Your Excellency, mm. I'll be burdened to you. Hey. Plus, I'm well in my family. I'm, I'm not broke, as you can see. <laughs> Things mm. are well. Yes. May the king continue with the kingdom business mm. assigned to him by God. Yes. Let his servant rest in the, mm. in the land of Gilead. Mm. Yes. I'm okay. Mm. So what is your plan, Basilai? 
Verse they number seven, 36. Thy servant will go a little way over Jordan with the king. And why should the king recompense it with such, such recompense reward. it me What's, with such a reward? Mm. So what are, you, what are your plans, Basilei? Let thy servant, I pray thee, mm. turn back again, mm. that I may die in mine own city mm. and be buried by the grave of my father and of my mother. Let's end there. Mm -hmm. Amazing. The plan that I have actually, yes. I want to ask you for permission mm. to go back to my fatherland <laughs> and die there. Yes. <laughs> That's a joke. Yeah, to my fatherland yes. and die there. Let me go back to my, my fatherland, fatherland and die, die there. Yes. <laughs> hey. Mm -hmm. Apana yeah. plan, pastor. Uh, Sakaranda pa Mariangu, Marano zondu na wari ni ini ni mabazar kune tapa mencha na grace ndo na ziten dazi wobi wobi. Do vanda ita millionaire. Aus mwa na wamari. You are not an Israelite. Yes. Yes. You want to transact with God. Mm -hmm. What will God give me? If I give to God, yes. you are not an Israelite. Mm -hmm. A true Israelite. Gives in appreciation. Yes. It's not a transaction. Mm -hmm. God must give me back something. No. Mm -hmm. Proverbs 19, 17, it's a commitment from God yes. to pay you back. Yes. Mm -hmm. You have no right to ask that debt to be paid. Oh, yes. When is God going to pay his debt? You can't ask God to pay his debt. Mm -hmm. Remember we proved it with Matthew 25. Yes. The debt will be paid on the day of the Lord. Come unto you. Come ye that are blessed. Enter into the kingdom prepared for you by God from the beginning of the world. That's the reward. So Basilai says, all I want from you is an opportunity to go home and die. God will deal with these accounts on the day of judgment. When Basilai says, all I want from you is the day of judgment. Yes. 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 Ku judgment day diva. Yes. Don't know so to go my account and see why. Yes. For now. For now, I just want to die. <laughs> <laughs> and buried in my father's name. In my father's name. So good to know if you're a Jerusalem, my bodo. To know Tambu Zaman, but now we. I'm too right. old for all that. Mm. Mm. Hey. When are we going to have a generation of children of God? Mm hmm. Who are not always looking for an opportunity to get something more from God. Hey. When are we going to have a generation of believers mm. who are content with what God has given already? Yes. Whatever we do mm. towards God, mm. we are motivated by the work already done. Yes. Not a promise of something new mm -hmm. that God will do in the future. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Basile was not motivated by a promise or a prophecy mm -hmm. by David. Mm -hmm. He was motivated by the gallant heroic efforts of David. Yes. Mm -hmm. Recorded already yes. in the history books. Yes. Mm -hmm. Israel was rescued by David mm -hmm. against the Philistines mm -hmm. in the valley of El Abeto. Yes. Every Israelite knows mm -hmm. this. Why can't we honor David? Mm -hmm. Because of the finished works mm -hmm. of the, the cross. cross. Yes. Why should I lie to you mm -hmm. that if you give money right now, before December 31, yes. God will give you something? Mm -hmm. Why should I lie to you? Mm -hmm. Are you an Israelite? Hey. Or you are now about the Camelite? Mm. <laughs> we shouldn't allow the Nabal culture to be a, a natured among us. No. It's toxic to you. Yes. yes. You can't spite God who has humbled himself to rescue you mm. with the words like Nabal's words. I don't want to take him somewhere with David. Who is David? I don't want to take Proverbs 3, 9 to 10, we are going to read these two last scriptures and we are going to show you that everything that I've preached to you from the Old Testament was preached in the Old Test in the New Testament. Mm -hmm. Yes. Honor the Lord with thy substance. Honor the Lord with your money. And with I want to replace the word substance mm -hmm. 
with the word money because it it is important to know that the the issue of to do with the substance in our present world mm. is based on money. Mm. In the old times, people exchanged goods with the uh, with the goods. Mm. They practiced the butter trade. Mm. But these days, people are now buying with money, mm -hmm. and so we can't talk about giving even to God mm -hmm. without really considering the word money. Mm -hmm. Yes, honor the Lord with thy money and with the first fruits of thine increase. So shall thy pines be filled with plenty and thy presses shall burst out with the new wine. My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord. All right, go back to verse 9. Honor, honor the Lord with your substance mm -hmm. and with the fruits, first fruits, first fruits of your increase. Mm. Mm. Honor the Lord with your substance. Mm -hmm. The word Lord there is actually addressing God himself. Yes. yes. God himself. Mm -hmm. Proverbs 21, 26 describes Nabal the Camelite. Mm -hmm. He covets greedily all the day long, but the righteous gives and spares not. Start from verse 25. The desire of the slothful kills him. The desire of the lazy kills him. He continues to say, I wish I had this, I wish I had that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For his hands refuse to work. Yes. What does the lazy do? He covets greedily all the day long. The lazy will continue to say, I, I wish I had a Lamborghini. Mm -hmm. I wish I, I had a Maserati. <laughs> but all these things can be bought with those who work hard. Yes. So verse 25 mm -hmm. is simply saying, Whatever you want to have, mm -hmm. you must wait, wait. for it. Mm -hmm. But if you are the slothful, mm -hmm. the lazy, mm -hmm. you are going to always desire to have. Yes. Mm. You see? Yes. phone, which one of picky chai motor zaganak. Bang one of us to ten motor zaganak. Nungor in your pay. Desire chakuraya. Chafani shungu. Saka pao raundu wano wangu wakati wa shida kufuma, waka eh, zibaya ni shungu jinji. <laughs> what happens to the righteous? But the righteous gives and spares not. Mm. The righteous, not the rich. Mm -mm. The righteous. Mm. What inspires believers to give mm -hmm. is not abundance. Mm -hmm. We don't give because we have more than enough. Yes. Mm. We give because we have received imputed righteousness. Yes. Amen. Yes. Remember I told you Amen. imputed righteousness mm -hmm. is a gift from, from God. God. Mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yes. 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 All right. So it is actually a folly. Mm -hmm. A folly on the part of Nabal. Mm -hmm for him to refuse to honor God with his substance. Mm. And what we are saying, we're saying, Nabal could not give food to David mm. because he was not righteous. Mm. Because Proverbs 3 verse 10 says, the righteous, it's, it's Proverbs 20, 21, 21 mm. verse 10. Mm. The righteous give, they are not stingy. Mm -hmm. Huh? The righteous are not stingy. Mm -hmm. They give and they don't give sparingly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and this is why I said the principle of giving mm -hmm. has never changed from what we see in the scriptures. Mm -hmm. Second Corinthians chapter 9, it says, He who gives sparingly mm -hmm. yes. shall also reap sparingly yeah, in verse number 6. Yes. yes. But we won't read it. Mm -hmm. Second Corinthians 9, 6. You can read it in your own time. Mm -hmm. I want us to read chapter 6, verse 17. Mm -hmm. The book of First Timothy. We read it last time. Mm -hmm. So this scripture is addressing people like Nabal. Yes. Mm -hmm. They have something. They have, they have more than what they need. Mm -hmm. But they use their wealth to spite those that do not have. Yes. They can't honor God mm -hmm. with what they have been given by God. Mm -hmm. yes. 
And so if you are not a strong man of God, those who do not want to give, you will be uh, lured to try and persuade them. Mm -hmm. Lure them, seduce them to give. Mm -hmm. But David did not say just uh, Nabal to give. No. He said, give me. And when he refused, mm -hmm. David said, well, it's done. Mm -hmm. yeah. I can't manipulate you. I can't find the scriptures to tickle your, your greed and your lust yeah. to motivate you to give. Yeah. We will never do that. Mm -hmm. The bottom line is, if you are Nabal, you will not be rescued in the day of wrath oh, yes. by your wealth. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. But look at how safe Basilai became. Mm. Amen. 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 A man to the who, 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 to, to whom God owes. Yes. Mm. God owes yes. Basilai kindness. Mm. Yes. Mm. And so every son of David mm. who sits on the throne mm -hmm. must receive a charge. Be mm. kind Amen. to the sons of Basilai. Abanga Atofa Dara Basilai. History books say Basilai didn't live for more than a year. After okay. he met with David mm -hmm. in, in, in chapter 19 of, of, of Second Samuel. Hey. Mm. Hey. Charge them. Mm. Charge them that are rich in this world, that they be not high-minded, mm -hmm. nor trust in uncertain riches, mm -hmm. but in the living God, mm. who gives us richly all things to enjoy. Mm. Whatever David was asking from Nabal mm. could not stop Nabal from enjoying no. his money. No and throwing his mm. endless parties. Mm -hmm. Pastor. Amen. Charge Nabal, mm -hmm. who is rich in this world. <laughs> yeah. Don't be high-minded, Nabal. Mm -hmm. Do not trust in your uncertain mm -hmm. riches. Yes. Mm -hmm. Money mm -hmm. is regarded in the Bible mm -hmm. as uncertain riches. riches. Mm -hmm. But trust in the living God, mm -hmm. who gives you all things that you have to enjoy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do good, Nabal. Yes. Mm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yes. Remember Proverbs chapter 19, verse 17. 17. Yes. God will repay you mm -hmm. for your good, good deeds. Amen. Amen. Do good, Nabal, mm -hmm. that you be rich in good, good works, works. Yes. ready to give, yes. oh, yeah. mm -hmm. laying up mm -hmm. in store yes. for themselves mm -hmm. a, a good, good foundation yes. against the time, time to, to come, come. Mm. that they may lay hold on eternal, eternal life. life. Look at this scripture. Mm. Did you know that what mm. you have in your hands mm -hmm. is connected to eternal life? Hey. Your yes. Amen. Yes. So yes. in conclusion, yes. in conclusion, after showing you that these matters were not ended with the ending of the law. Mm -hmm. And this is why we saw apostles teaching them even in scriptures, we have cited 2 mm. Corinthians chapter 9. Mm. You can go to 1 Corinthians chapter, chapter 9, 9, Romans chapter 15, mm -hmm. as well as the scripture we have just read now, 1 Timothy 6, 16 to 19. Mm. Charge them mm. that are rich yes. in money. Mm -hmm. Don't be high-minded. Mm. Verse 19 is so powerful. Yes. You must know that the target that God wants you to focus on is for you to establish a good foundation mm -hmm. against the day of wrath yes. mm -hmm. so that you may not lose eternal life. Mm -hmm. Do not allow money to deny you of eternal life. Mm -hmm. When you become to be high-minded to denounce the teachings of God yes. because you do not want to honor God mm -hmm. with what you have. Mm. So this doctrine or this principle of the poor man mm -hmm. is going to end with the, the following construction. Listen to me carefully. God planted empathy and pity and sympathy inside of our body. So that when we meet someone who is in need, yes. we pull from the resources of sympathy mm -hmm. to feel their pain, mm -hmm. their misfortune, their deprivations, and their needs. Yes. This woman is suffering. Let me give you whatever I can afford right mm -hmm. now. 
I wish I had more mm -hmm. to those who don't have. Mm -hmm. To those who have, they can go all out, buy them houses, make them feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. Those are called acts of kindness. kindness. Yes. When we speak, philanthropically speaking, that's charity work. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to the poor man's doctrine, mm -hmm. the Lord simplifying, humbling himself mm -hmm. to live in a body so that he can execute the ministry of the gospel mm -hmm. to rescue sinners, to bring them to God. Even though the Lord is coming with such great humility, mm. appearing in our eyes like a God who can't survive without us. Mm. And yet, we are the ones who can't survive without God him. God. Mm. God wants us to prove that we have now learned and understood God that he is as powerful as the gospel Depict him to yes. be. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. Despite the reality on the ground, mm -hmm. he is the son of Mary and Joseph, mm -hmm. but the scriptures prove he is the son of the almighty God. Mm -hmm. Those who bow down to worship him mm -hmm. are not bowing down to the poor man who is described by those who are outside as the son of Mary and Joseph. Mm -hmm. They are bowing down to the reality that has been presented in the gospel. Yes. He is the son of the almighty God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. So faith teaches us the reality of who he truly is. Yes. Mm -hmm. And what we have truly received from yes. him. Mm -hmm. That is so great and so valuable. That whatever we have can never be uh, too big and too good mm -hmm. to honor God with. So the devil is elevating our sympathies mm. towards our needful people in mm. the society yes. mm -hmm. so that it sounds sensible. Mm. Instead of giving money to church, mm. we decide to give to the poor. Mm. Mm -hmm. And we meet people who say that is the right way to give to God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we all know that they gave him an expensive perfume mm -hmm. And those who did not understand God suggested mm -hmm. that the oil that Jesus was given by Mary mm -hmm. could have been sold and the money be given to the poor. Mm -hmm. And Jesus refused that offer. <laughs> he said, you can't value the poor ahead of me. You can't prioritize the no. poor against me. No. <laughs> Hey. And yet we still have believers mm -hmm. who think that giving to the poor, poor. is the same as giving to the, the church, mm -hmm. to the ministry of the gospel. Mm -hmm. hey. Actually, Jesus said, you shall always have the poor with you, yes. but in me you don't have always. Yes. Mm -hmm. While Jesus is still being preached, honor him with what God has given him. Yes. Whatever that your hand lays upon. Yes. David. Yes. Mm. Honor God with your substance. Mm. So when we give to the poor, we give them based on pitying them. Yes. But when we give to Jesus, we are honoring him. Yes. Amen. It yes. is admiration yes. Yes. that yes. inspires yes. us to give. Yes. yes. It is gratefulness mm -hmm. that motivates our giving. We give to Jesus because we owe him our lives. Mm -hmm. He rescued us yes. with such a great rescue. Mm -hmm. From the mouth of the lion, he rescued us. So when you give to a poor man, you are expressing your sympathy. Yes. When you give to Jesus, you are expressing your gratitude. Amen. How can these two givings be the same? <laughs> they are not. Can you sympathize with your own Savior? No. Can you pity your own Creator? No, no. not at no. all. No. So I may not, I may not give like this one who is more. I cannot give like Basilai. Mm. I don't have as much as Basilai give, mm. gives. Mm. 
But I am a child of God. Amen. I will give be within my capacity. Yes. And I can never give to the poor and say I am giving to God. Mm -hmm. I don't give to God out of pity. Mm. I give to God out of out of understanding, yes. out of love, yes. and but honor. out of reverence. Yes. This is why Abigail fell down on her face. Amen. Yes. Amen. And this is the Zagawisa Abigail Pasi Patsoka Za David. Pastor, Abigail fell on David's feet. Yes. And yet, Acts chapter 4 says, when they sold their houses, they yes. brought the money to the feet of the apostles. Yes. I need my basket and a uchi. Abigail Akawira Pass. Yes. With a million dollars in your hands, mm. yes. are you going to fall down mm. in reverence mm -hmm. to the Lord? Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Despite the poor man that he presents himself with, mm -hmm. he is still the Lord. Mm -hmm. Yes. He is still what? The Lord. The Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. This is the message, brethren. Yes. Basilai Gesture. It's actually a kingdom doctrine. Amen. Yes. Amen. He is a king yes. and is pursuing a rescue operation. Mm. Yes. He is poor because of the rescue operation. Mm. Be gracious to the poor man, mm. for God will repay you. Amen. We want also, when we do a review, to look at the New Testament examples mm. of Gilead, mm. Basilai the Gileadite. Yes. Okay. We have so many buzz like the Gileadites mm. in the New Testament scriptures. Yes. So many of them. Oh, mm. yes. yes. We would want you to, to look at them. Dear mm -hmm. New Testament, Akangaka Fanana Basilai, the Gileadite. Mm. Mm. Imagine, men of God calling you, brethren, we saw the money that you sent. Can we meet so that I can pray for you? And you say, man of God, there's nothing to pray for. Mm -hmm. I'm happy as I am. Yes. What the Lord has done is enough yes. in my life. Yes. Yes. Let me just learn the yes. word of God yes. Yes. until I take my flight. Yes. Yes. The Lord, will, whatever he will give me, yes. it is for that yes. against yes. that day. Mm -hmm. That's why 1 Timothy 6, 19, mm -hmm. it says, laying mm -hmm. themselves a good foundation against the time to come. Mm. It's from verse 18. Yes. Huh? Mm. That they do good, that they be rich in good works. Be rich in good works. Ready mm. to distribute, mm -hmm. willing to communicate. Why? Laying up in store for themselves. That was verse 19. Verse yes. 20. It's verse 19. A good foundation mm -hmm. ah, yes. against the time to come. Yes. Mm -hmm. That they may lay hold. hold. Mm -hmm. On, On eternal, eternal life. life. Yes. Mm -hmm. So verse 17 says, charge them that are rich mm -hmm. in this world. Yes. Mm -hmm. But verse 18 says, that they may be rich in yes. good works. Mm -hmm. Yes. Basilai the Gileadite was both rich in this world and rich in good works. Yes. Mm -hmm. But Naba was only rich in this world. <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> <laughs> ah. yeah, yeah, <laughs> wow. Naba was wow. rich in this world, in this world. Mm -hmm. but poor oh, in good works. Yes. But Basilai, like, on the oh, contrary, contrary, he was rich, rich. in mm -hmm. this world yes. and rich, rich in good works. Hallelujah. So the good works now, do you don't do much. them on the poor people of the world. Mm -hmm. The good works are only on Christ. Amen. Yes. A good works are not going to cheat the pana Christ. Saka muka sanga na nemu nemu naruko pe ma pa street. Mucha mu ba tira nemu da kwe tsiti. Asika na ma kupa kuna mngari. A mu pe nemu da kwe tsiti. A kuna mu na ngai tira tsiti akam sika. Azite, azite. Uno gona kuto zifira izozo. Shukuti ndani kwa tsiti kuti basara mngari risiku famba. God can kill you. For being proud. Yes. Mm. You can't have pity on God. Mm -hmm. It's a blasphemy to 
to, to sympathize with God, mm -hmm. to pity God. Mm -hmm. yes. So Proverbs 19, 17 is a proverb. Yes, it is. And this is why it needed a sermon <laughs> to tell you that you can't pity this poor man. Okay. He is your yes. king. Right. You honor him Amen. with your substance, right. according to Proverbs chapter 3, verse 9 and 10. Mm. Oh, right. <laughs> Ah. Hallelujah! Amen. Amen. It was a long flight. Amen. Yes, learning Amen. to say that it is of the household of faith. Yes. Only no. believers mm. are required to honor the Lord oh, with yes. their substance. Yes. And believers should actually be deterred from mm. doing such. Mm. How can you honor a king that is not your king? Yes. When yes. Paul was exhorting Timothy in, in First Timothy chapter five, mm. verse eight, he says, "But if any provide not for his own, mm. and especially for those of his own house, mm. yes, he has denied the faith." Unengo siri bokare the why? Unengo siri and. Mm. Wherever so, the gospel work yes, is done, yes. Yes. make sure there's something you are doing. Mm -hmm. You For don't that. have to be asked to do so. Yes. Are you a stranger? Mm -hmm. Are you are you are you neighbor of the Gileadite? Yes. Why can't you learn from Basilai? Mm -hmm. No one sent a scripture to Basilai. No. Mm -hmm. no one sent a dream to Basilai. Yes. No one prophesied to Basilai. The mere fact that David is my king, yes. mm -hmm. I make sure wherever he is, mm -hmm. I partake, I participate, I join him. Mm -hmm. yes. I can't run with him. Mm -hmm. I don't have that mandate from God. Mm -hmm. But I have to be gracious yes. to the Lord. Yes. Amen. He is in a rescue operation. Amen. He's in a rescue operation. Amen. We do not want to end up with embarrassing announcements in the house of God. Mm. We want to raise money to pay rentals mm. for the church buildings we are using. Mm. No, that's embarrassing. Mm. Yes. It embarrasses the kingdom. Mm. Yes. Where are the kingdom people mm. who understand these buildings are not rented mm -hmm. By men of God who are just lazy to work for themselves. Mm -hmm. Work, important work of God is being yeah. done in these buildings. Yes. We actually must go to the level where we buy our own buildings mm -hmm. so that we don't have to pay anyone rent. Yes. You understand? Yes. yes. Among the things that Basilai brought were beds and bases. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So this was the message. I would like to give you a charge mm. to find out are you Nabal <laughs> or you are <laughs> Abigail? <laughs> Mama na bari mune mbuzi ne guai same house. There is a sheep and a goat in Mount Kame. Na ba is a goat, Abigail is a sheep. Predestination. Iyo iripa apa jena jena. So I want you to uh, to give something today. As we spoke since the on Sunday, we, we have always been showing you that this is the rescue operation. Yes. Mm -hmm. There is no other rescue operation mm -hmm. that Jesus is doing mm -hmm. under the sun mm -hmm. than the preaching of the gospel. Mm -hmm. Jesus never sent prophets to rescue people out of poverty. Yes. There is no such scripture in the Bible. <laughs> we have showed you since we started the preaching. Yes. It's a scam. Mm -hmm. Those who give money to church, they are thanking God for the rescue operation mm -hmm. because they are members of the kingdom. Mm -hmm. For David to send 10 men to you, <laughs> it's an ominous <laughs> sign. <laughs> huh? Pastor Irene. Uh, <laughs> if Nabal was wise, 
Mm. Even though he was hard-hearted, that day mm. he could have chosen to do, to do things differently. Mm. This is not a good sign. Mm. What is bread mm. concerning comparing the credentials of this man called David? Mm -hmm. It's not good to send you endless messages, endless reminders. You are a believer. You must not forget to give offerings to the work of the gospel. Mm -hmm. huh? How many men have we sent to you? <laughs> are you Basley or you are Naba? Mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. So you are going to give towards the Naba, the, the, the Basley gesture okay. message. Mm -hmm. You are just expressing that you have understood this teaching yes. and that from today onwards, you are not going to forget mm -hmm. that it's a rescue operation. Mm -hmm. It works with the poor man's principle. Mm -hmm. yes. And that's where the buzz-like gesture applies. Yes. Yeah. The same David. Because buzz-like, you can't teach Same David. <laughs> David. Solomon, don't eat without the sons of Basilai yes. on your table. Same matter, the poverty of David. Yes. If you go to Matthew 25, there's the lake of fire, there's yes. heaven. Mm -hmm. It's the same matter, oh, yeah. the poverty oh, yeah. of Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. yes. oh, yeah. You can never find a fluid message than this one. No. Oh, yes. no. A yes. very consistent message. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A message that is based on rich understanding Amen. of oh, scriptures. scriptures. Yes. Amazing. Yes. Mm -hmm. We thank God, believers, mm -hmm. for our midweek service. Let's meet again on Sundays. Bye for now. Zimbabwe, South Africa, get together. The gospel doesn't kill the witch. Mm. The gospel takes witchcraft and leaves the person. Yeah. It is time to get together as children of the household of the almighty God. It is time to fellowship in the bond of God's love. It is time to receive yet another benefit from the prison of Jesus Christ, Apostle T.F. Chiwenga. Believers all over the world are invited to come to the Revelation Gathering 1 of 2024, Houghton Province, South Africa. An opportunity too good to miss. See you there. We hope that you have been blessed by the word. Continue listening to the gospel for the benefit of your spirit. Join us in our next service. Goodbye.